Hey everybody, how is it going? Sorry, I was trying to finish my drink. So I hung on the on the loading screen for a second there. <laughs> Hope you're all doing good. It's time for some fortune cookie. And I kind of racked my brain on what I wanted to start the cookie with. Usually I pick the game like maybe an hour before we go live. Uh, and I don't even remember why, but Hollow Knight popped back in my mind. So I just felt like playing some Hollow Knight. So let's let's just play some Hollow Knight. We're gonna start a new file here, because I think my actual progress file's on Steam. Yep, there we go, that confirms that. Now, I really like this game, but I've also notably said a lot in the past that it starts slow. So I apologize if this does not fully hook you on the game. In wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret, for none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch, you taught we changed, based instincts were redeemed, a world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy from, for Hallowness by Monomon the Teacher. <clears throat> Fine by you, you want to go into it mostly blind one day? That's fair. Uh, like I said, it it's a slow burn at the beginning. I, In my opinion, it takes a little bit to get good, maybe an hour. I think that's roughly how long it took for me to be like, I'm hooked. But it's still, like, that's one hour out of, like, what? A 20-hour game with all the DLC? That's not that bad, all things considered. 40 hours? Oh, is it actually 40? You know what? 45 minutes to an hour before we get to a certain boss. 60 hours with the DLC. Please share a boba. No, my boba tea. My pink lady. Oh, Hollow Knight's one of the default options that comes up on uh, on Halloween B. That saved me some trouble. Main story 26, completionist 58. Main and extra 40. So yeah, now that checks. <laughs> Is this the third game in the trilogy after Shovel Knight and Plague Knight? Well, you forgot about the other two nights. Uh oh, hang on. Oh, no control yet. I'm okay. Spectre Knight and King Knight? Oh, okay, those were the two. Actually, I don't think I can do anything with that just yet. Smash, smash, smash! Smash, smash, smash! Smash the bugs. Smash, smash. It's been so long, I have to kind of get back into the groove of this. Gotta get that money. <sighs> Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. <laughs> Caught me off guard. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold A to focus soul and heal. So, you know, a soul style mechanic. Oh. 
Didn't Gerard just do a video on this? Uh, somewhat recently. Something like that. If you've played any Metroid Manias, the combat's gonna seem pretty similar. It's, it's you know, up, to up, left, right, down. Ignore the fact I did left and right backwards. B to jump. We don't really have any other moves at the moment. It's gonna take a little bit. I actually don't even think we have a map yet, technically, do we? Uh... Yeah, we have our old nail, a traditional weapon of hollowness. Its blade is blunt with age and wear. We have the focus ability. And that's really about it right now. <clears throat> I was under the impression it's somewhere between Metroidvania and a Soulsborne entry. Yeah, that's exactly it. It's a fusion of both. There's Souls mechanics to it. Um, using your, uh, your soul meter to recharge your health but it takes a bit to activate. And if you die, you have your container is cut in half until you go pick up the rest of your soul. Or something akin to that. Butterflies. We got some fake hearts. That one gets to live. I'd describe it as the most charming punch in the face you'll ever experience. I didn't really find it a punch in the face, but I also didn't finish it, so... Maybe I just never got to the actual face punching. Oh, there you go. There's a face punch. Nope. Can't get that. I don't think I can even do the rest of this yet, right? Yeah, because I don't have a dash. And our spikes insta-kill? Let's find out together! Oh no, I can still do this already. I didn't think I could do that yet. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Within our lands, do not hide your true form. Let's let all bask in your majesty, for only this kingdom could produce one such as you. Selected a charm. Fury of the Fallen. Equip a charm to activate its powerful abilities. To equip a charm, open the charms menu while resting at a bench. Oh, right, it needs a bench for that. I got the charmed charm! This is a present from me to you. Look at your Fury life. of the Fallen. Embodies the fear and heroism that comes upon those who are about to die. When close to death, well, the friends, bearer's strength will increase. Ooh, but it costs again. two notches. Oh, it looped us all the way back here. Oh, wow. Yeah, so as you notice there, you can pogo off spikes, which is actually a mechanic they want you to do a couple times. You had to get a little used to it. It is cool when you get to do it, though. Oh, I can get this, too. Excellent. Give me the money. Can't make it over there. Hey, we made it over there. Hooray! Let's break more shit. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hallow Nest. Well, I guess I'll just smash it open. Hi. Water and water and water, 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 no, there was no water. There was no water here. But there are street lights.
Dirtmouth, the fading town. Hey. Hello. <clears> Hello, <throat> oh traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen uh, quiet, as you see. <clears throat> the other residents, they've all disappeared, headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. It used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you two seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills this place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm gonna sit at this bench. All right, since we've got a charm, let's put on the Fury of the Fallen. That was a good sit. Many used to, many used to come hoping the kingdom would fulfill their desires. Hallow Nest, it was once called. Supposedly the greatest kingdom there ever was, full of treasures and secrets. Hmm. Now it's nothing more than a poisonous tomb full of monsters and madness. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. You're cheery. I like you. Feeling tired? The ben that bench may be iron, but I assure you it's quite comfortable. There's no better place to collect your thoughts before heading below. Plus, I enjoy the company. Not that you seem the talkative sort. And I think he just repeats that from here on out. A nice little sit at a bench. Benches are save points, and as you saw, or where you basically equip your, your extra stuff. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Zelda and Cornifer. Soon? I can wait. Stone door with a simple lock. Well, we're not going in here yet. <laughs> Are they open now? Let's go back and check. You're right. Let's find out. Hello? Is it soon yet? No. It's never soon enough. There's extra dialogue if you do not talk to Elderbug the first time in Dirtmouth. He, rem he remarks that he thought he had seen a ghost when you arrived. Oh, that's neat. That's actually really cool. This game has such personality. It's honestly super impressive. I think, I think we have to go to the right, or sorry, to the left first, but I'm trying to remember what's over here that we can reach. No, we can go in here, right. Temple of the Black Egg! Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. This is a present from me to you. Look at your left. King Mani, thank you so much for the gift sub on. Well, friends. You're a short one. You've got a strong look about you. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. For so long, I felt drawn here. So many tales full of wonders and horrors. No longer could I resist. I just had to see it for myself. And what a time I chose to arrive! This dead world has sprung to life. The creatures are riled up and the earth rumbles. The air is thick. I wonder what could have brought it all about. Nah, me no to persevere in this ruin, that old nail alone just won't be enough. Though that's no problem. Only one has to look around. Or one only has to look around. Plenty have come before us, and most have met their grisly end. Many more equipped than you and I. I'm sure they wouldn't mind were a fellow explorer to relieve them of their tools. It's kindness, really. The dead shouldn't be burdened with such things. You're a treasure hunter. Did you pass that town above? What a gloomy little place, and such majesty hidden right beneath. I suppose that's why they've all headed down here. Who could resist such possibilities? Hmm. Truly a marvel. Well, we've got the big egg room. 
We can't do much in right now. Let's go see what else we can find. Oh, we actually got the hidden. Damn it. Oh, did I? Did I do three damage just then, or did I not have my extra hearts anymore? No, I just didn't have my extra hearts anymore. I wonder if I lost them when I sat at the bench. You did. You lost your blue hearts by sitting at the bench. Ah, that's a bummer. I didn't remember that being a mechanic. Ooh, am I equipped to deal with you yet? I was getting a good rhythm too. All right, one hit, not that bad. Hello, you're free. Well, just murdered a dude. I'm out. I think if anything, I probably should have gone left at the start just to get the map, but. I guess we're gonna get to see a bit more variety in the area we're in. Because I didn't. Ah, dirty, dirty! Damn it. It's hoping those things couldn't actually damage me. They were just for looks. Nope, not that lucky. He's not paying attention to me. Do we have... Yeah, you can't even draw a regular map until I get the one, huh? Well, then I should probably at least get the map first and foremost, then. reach you yet. Nope. Can't yet. I think that one needs double jump. Double jump or dash or something. Just dash? Okay. Alright, and this should be the room we actually want. For a couple reasons. Let's go up here first. Oh, does he not talk? Or is it because I already say when he doesn't say anything? I thought, for some reason I thought he said something first. Nope, guess not. Hello. Goodbye. He doesn't talk, no? Okay.
All right, let's find him. Where is he? He's in this room somewhere, I believe. Just don't fall too far. That's a side secret I think I can do now. Oh no, it's the room down. It's not this one at all, is it? I'll do that side path here in a minute. I just want to get the map first. There we go. Mm -hmm. uh, hello there! Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins? Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? 30 bucks. The map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, uh, Ezelda. She's just now opening her new map shop in Dirtmouth. Why are you here, Ryu? Selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. Here's what we got so far for our map. Atrium Persona kills Ryu with kindness and bullets and says, Well, it be my hearth day and I got enough money to kill Ryu. Not asking for luck or anything, just keep doing your thing. Wacky glitch man, glad to be part of the egg farm. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday, Atrian. Okay, let's go back to town for a second, because now the shop's... F I should actually be open now that I've met, uh, Cornifer. So we'll get a compass so we can at least see where we are on the map. And I think there's some other stuff we can get there, too. Or maybe not. I forget how expensive things are at the start. Eventually, money's not as major as an issue as it can be at the beginning, but... Might as well just loop it all together. What page are we supposed to go to for donations? Stream Elements or Stream Labs? Stream Elements. The link is in the is below the stream. Just click on the uh, the bagel panel that shows all the different alerts, and that's all you need. Uh oh. First time playing? No, no, no. Uh, I never finished the game, but I got uh, 10 hours. Actually, how far did I, how long did I get in there? I got sidetracked doing a bunch of DLC and then kind of forgot to finish the game. Hollow Knight, I played for 26 and a half, or yeah, 26.2 hours. That doesn't show on mobile? Oh, on mobile, uh, it does. You have to go to the about page. So that's a no on game clearing. Uh, it could come up on game clearing eventually. It's just, it's not on the priority list at the moment. Probably because it's too long. Do you remember reaching the graveyard? I... Mm, I think I had most of the map unlocked, from what I remember. I just got sidetracked by the circus thing. Ah, <sighs> Ah, Bafanada. Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise. He's headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I've not much interest in retail myself. Let's see what's here for me to sell. Wayward Compass, 220 bucks. We got just enough for it. Highly recommended. If you're having trouble finding your way in the maze of ruins below us, try this charm. It'll pinpoint your location on your map. Incredibly helpful for finding your bearings in unfamiliar locations. Quill, you'll need this if you want to update your map with new areas as you explore. It's essential for anyone serious about mapping. We desperately need that. So we're just gonna buy that now. So now our map will actually update automatically when we move around. 
Bench pin. These pins will mark benches and other rest spots on your map. Useful if you're exhausted and you need to find somewhere to sit. Cocoon pin. Have you seen those beautiful blue cocoons? I made these pins so you can keep track of them. The cocoons are pretty but very delicate. Please be careful around them. Vendor pins. Use these pins to mark shopkeeps or any other interesting bugs you find on your travels. Every so often you should pass by and see how they're doing. I'm sure they'd like that. Hot spring pin. I designed these pins to keep track of the kingdom's hot springs. I haven't visited any myself. I wonder if Cornifer might take me sometime. I'm sure you'd make better use of these pins till then. Scarab marker. These markers are new additions to the shop. You can use them to mark interesting spots on your map. The color is quite soothing, don't you think? And a shell marker. These markers... Oh. Ah, uh, okay. You can use this color to remind yourself of a hard-won battle. Okay, so they're like pins you can just kind of put wherever. Neat. And the rest of these are just... They'll mark where you've seen things on the map. But I'm going to hang on to these for now. I can just chat with her, too, if I go hide behind the, uh... Ah, <sighs> Of all the places to end up, we'd pick this dreary town. I thought, if it, I thought it was a temporary stop, but then my husband became obsessed with that old ruin. Now he's spending all his time down there. He argues cartography is serious business, or sound business, but other than you, who's buying? Oh, home, Sanjo. Are you enjoying yourself down in the ruins? At times, my husband makes Hallow Nest sound like a wonder. But sometimes it seems like a ghastly, dangerous place. Maps only update when you're sitting at benches. Okay, thank you for the reminder. Oh, home, Sanjo. Are you enjoying yourself down in the ruins? At times, my husband makes hollow nest sound of... Well, oh, that's just the same bit. Oh, home, Sanjo. Okay, she's, she's good. How am I doing today? I'm doing all right. It's been an all right day so far today. Spent most of it just working on video stuff kind of chilling otherwise, so didn't have to worry about recording. And I was lucky that last night I got the editing done for Sunday's video, so Sunday is going to be a Let's Play video. Another one shot. Okay, where's that path I remember always doing a little too early? I think it's the one below this. Well, let's see where this leads. The Pilgrim's Way. Travelers of Hallow Nest descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at the Kingdom's Heart. There all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. Oh yeah, I don't think I can deal with you yet, right? Nope, can't deal with you yet. Okay. Out of curiosity, did you get Neo The World Ends With You? Yes, I did. It is actually right there. Uh, but I haven't had a chance to play it yet because I'm currently playing through an RPG in my spare time. So can't really dictate or put any time towards... Shit, that was the room I needed. Can't put any time towards it at the moment. Which RPG? Uh, Final Fantasy X. I'm playing through Final Fantasy X. Damn it. Have I ever thought of making my own game? Uh, I would love to, but... I don't have the skill set. I am not... I was not the best programmer, even when I was actually a programmer. But I think that would be fun to do... <sighs> Goddamn stalactites. Probably should have healed first before I hit that. RPG Maker, if we can't, yeah, I mean, I could do RPG Maker. I already sort of know how to use it because of Colise or Coliseum, because of uh, throwing controllers. Oh boy, here we go. Nope, already forgot how to do it. There we go.
Motherfucker. Well, let's heal up now. This is gonna get gross here in a bit, because I'm pretty sure there's a boss fight over here. Oh, now you tell me about that. For some reason, I thought that wasn't in this game. I'm sad because the one time you collab with Brain Scratch comms, I can't watch it as is a game I want to play. That is fair. That is entirely fair. Yeah, no, so uh, for those who didn't see, I'm on Brain Scratch comms Blaster Master 03 Let's Play. So um, I am going to eventually do 02 and 03, but those are quite a ways away. So if you guys want to check though that out and you are caught up on the story or you've caught up on 3, that's over on Brain Scratch comms channel. What was this again? Oh. For some reason I thought it was different than that. I thought the big one was a, a warp to something. If you press the right control, control stick, you can instantly look down. Holy shit, I actually was not aware of that. Oh, that's very helpful, thank you. John and Johnny? No, no Johnny, I'm the replacement John. It was, it was everyone else but Johnny. Which I think they said, uh, Johnny actually hadn't been on any of their Blaster Master Zero playthroughs so far, and they've done one and two already. Alright, this is gonna suck. I remember this messed me up for a while the first time I played this. Brooding Malek! Oh, what? Oh. Oh, well, that was smart. Alright, I gotta find time to heal while well, he's busy jumping around. Well, this is going great so far! Out. Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, crap, we're so dead. Yeah, damn it. I had hope. I didn't remember its pattern. I'm a bit surprised you're fighting this early. Fun fact, this is when I fought it on my actual playthrough. Because <laughs> I explored my way in there. So I struggled with it. And I was like, man, this seems really hard. I wonder if I'm supposed to come here later. Still kept doing it till I won. Wanna try it again? Well, I gotta go back there anyways, because I don't have my, uh, notice how my soul canister is broken? I had to at least go there, like, pretty far in there to get it back, and at that point, I might as well just fight the guy again. Of course you did. Since you don't like backseating, I won't tell you a trick I learned. I mean, you can go for it. I, I've already played like 20 plus hours of this game. You're not gonna teach me anything I probably haven't heard. You're just gonna remind me of something I forgot. Almost. Thought I had it off of memory alone.
Yeah, I know I can just just load the save and go back to the bench. That just didn't bother. Didn't feel like it. All right, so this here is the rest of our soul and most of our money back. I think we still lose a little bit of it. Recharge most of our health and let's try again. Oh, it is all? I, I thought you lose some of it. Weird. I thought you lost like 10%. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I know if I die before I've picked up my soul and everything, it's it's gone, gone. But for some reason, I thought you lost part of it no matter what. I think you're thinking of a bank. <laughs> Touche. I could just duck that part. No, there's no ducking. What am I thinking? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, just take all the hits, John, while you're at it. Don't bother block, or don't bother dodging. Who would do something like that, huh? Uh oh. Ah, fuck! We're dead. Blocking is for cowards. Trust me, I wish I could block. What kind of ramen do you like? I don't like ramen, actually. I'm not a fan. You monster. And if I don't like something, I don't like something. I'm sorry. Didn't realize I needed a more detailed reason. But also, I don't like soup. <laughs> so, ramen is basically noodle soup. More detailed soup. Okay, hash brown man. Yo, I'm not the one who kept bringing it up constantly. That was Steven. What's it about soup then? I don't like warm drinks. <laughs> That's why I don't like tea. You're noticing how this is this is a pattern. It's linking into something else. It's a it's a, a weaved web. Mother fricker, you don't like tea? Nah, not my thing. If I have like a super sore throat, I'll take like a throat coat tea or something like that, but I need it to cool down. I don't like it hot. I just, I've never liked warm drinks. Stew, not a fan. You're not gonna give me a chance. Maybe you are. Are you my brother, Rex Racer? You are his brother. I can see the resemblance even under fuck. that mask. Ag. Oh fuck. Weren't you I thought you were gonna do the big shot. What are, you're what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, do that! Fuck. I miss my dash. I really want dash. I think that's when you're actually supposed to be here is with dash. Uh oh. Fuck. Because we are technically doing this fight early. Oh, fuck. Almost. Ugh! 
Drink, drink, drink! Yep, we're doing this way too soon. We should have more health. We should have an ability or two. But this is how I did it on my actual playthrough, and that's how we're fucking doing it here. I could just parry this damn slash, too. And I probably should have been... I knew we were going for it that time. Fuck you! Third try, not terrible. I'll have for a piece of heart. Or a piece of mask. Fun fact, I was gonna do a prediction after the third attempt, of course. Of course. Smash, smash, smash. Smash. And hey, look where we are. Yeah, I killed the big thing. Well, I haven't introduced myself, have I? Yes, I should apologize for that. When you spend a lot of time by yourself with just your own thoughts, you forget the niceties of conversation. My name is Cornifer, and I've always loved exploring the world. Why, when I was first hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters and poor mother behind. That's why as soon as I could, I moved to Dirtmouth with my wife, a huge unending kingdom to explore right on our doorstep. Who could resist? Anyways, I'll let you return to your travels. With a little luck, we'll meet again. Be safe and farewell. How are you finding my map? I try to fill out as much as I can, but every map is a work of, in progress. If you'd like to fill out some of the map yourself, you can purchase some mapping supplies for, uh, for my wife. We've set up a little store to help make ends meet. How are we doing on time? Where's my timer? Uh, yeah, I figured as much. I figured going for that boss fight over and over was going to eat up most of the time. I just got to figure out where the nearest bench is. I don't think he tells me that. Bench is to the right, which is why I went to the left. Let's turn around. Oh yeah, there's like the signs for, for a place to go and everything. Secret! Let's go check that in a minute once I pick up the rest of the money I dropped. There we go. Plenty of cash. Oh, right, they explode. Or was that just a, a last second projectile? No, I think it was just a last second projectile. And a bench. And for some reason I thought there was a secret past this, but maybe that's a different one. There we go. Have a nice sit. Look at what we got on our map. It's a very nice map. There we go. We've got Dirt Mouth and Forgotten Crossroads so far, and there's plenty more zones to go, but... It'll have to be some other time, because now we're going to go to the cookie. Maybe, maybe don't do the early fight like I did, but apparently someone in chat said a lot of people fight him early, so do what you, do what you want. I'll just say, like, one of the first abilities you get makes him way easier. It's definitely an out-of-order fight. Oh, is it soul, not that masks? No. Yeah, never mind. Thought it was both for some reason. You'd be surprised how many people fight him early. 
It is both. Okay, it is both mass and soul. Never mind. You can do so much out of order in this game. That's what I liked about it. I liked how out of order I was doing things. But that's actually how I broke one of the fights, too. Like, there's a... The Circus DLC, which I think is that red mask in the bottom left there. Uh, that messed up a fight with a recurring character. And it got them stuck in the ceiling. <laughs> and I had to reboot the damn fight because of it. All right, let's go to the cookie. If you folks are new here, here's how fortune cookie works. Oh, we pick five random games from my game collection and you guys vote on a straw poll link. No, oh, wait, no, that's the old bit. You guys vote on a link I drop and the mods will also be repeating as well from Stream Tech to vote and see what game we play next. Uh, it could be Hollow Knight again. We'll continue it if we do, but uh, who knows? Let me make sure this is up to date. Yep, all right. Red Mask is the Grim Troop? Okay, so I was right. I don't think it should have been open world concept because some bosses are not able to be fought until later points. Uh, but that's like, that's the souls part of thing. And that's the also partly the metro of anything, doing things out of, out of order. If you go to a part and find it too hard, like that's the beauty of it. You can go explore another area. That's what's so smart about the game and why I like it. It's a pretty well balanced in that aspect of exploration, Metroidvania. All right, game number one, Spawn for the Super Nintendo. Do I remember when my first stream was? On Twitch, uh, someone said it was July, like, 2nd, 2012. So, uh, we just missed the nine-year anniversary. Yeah, July 2nd, 2012. So, we just missed nine years of streaming on Twitch. Which means next year is going to be ten years. God. Been doing this too much. Been doing this for too long. Game number two. Silent Assault for the NES. It's very sneaky. Game number three. Sure. Fire Emblem Warriors for Switch. I was like, eh, fire. Oh, it's the Warriors game. Never mind. We're good. Game number four. Gran Turismo 2 for the PlayStation 1. And last but not least for this first round of cookie, this is this is quite the list we've got so far. Rolling Thunder, the Famicom version for the NES. I think I think Skitch gave me this because it had a better sound chip. I, that sounds right in my head. All right, five games. Let's see what we're playing next. Isn't Famicom a separate system? At the time, it was not. On Backloggery, anyways. That's the distinction. Backlogger at the time did not have just Famicom. Or I was just too fucking lazy to use it. It was it might be it might also be that. It has the Namco 163 chip, then yes, that would be exactly why Sketch gave it to me then. So it has a different sound chip than the uh, Tengen version. Do you know what you will do to celebrate your 10th year anniversary? Sleep. I, 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 I legitimately, I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't thought about it. To be fair, I skipped my 10 year anniversary on YouTube, but I also took huge breaks so I can get why that, that would kind of not have the weight you'd think it would carry. I looked up July 2nd, 2022, and it is actually on a Saturday. Well, shit. Well, maybe. I might not even be home. We have, like, we're talking a year in advance. I might not even be, a, a, like, here. I could be at a con for all I know. Or vacation. Since that is just right after Canada Day. Uh, all right. Fire Emblem Warriors. 
currently in the lead. 256 votes. 46% of the vote. Wow. All right. Gran Turismo 2 in second place. 123 votes. 21% of the vote. Rolling Thunder. 117 votes. 19% of the vote. Spawn for Super Nintendo. 57 votes. 9%. And Silent Assault. 19 votes. 3%. 615 votes clocked so far. Fire Emblem Warriors leads 283 to 138, which, folks, that is what we call a mercy kill. Fire Emblem Warriors is up next. All right, let's drop some eggs. Is that the minecart cutscene? No, they're uh, they're on an elevator, I think, or they're locked in a room. I think it's an actual elevator. I don't remember. I haven't seen all the episodes of the cartoon. Bramnet, Spoke Tulip, King Mani, Dusk the Hedgehog, and Cure Caster. Thank you all for the gift sub bombs. Everyone else, woo. This is a little too long to read, but thank you all for subbing and resubbing. Okay, people, Evil J. Bryan says they got their hoodie. Excellent. I'm glad it looks like people are getting those all in. Heck yeah. All right. Thank you, everybody, for subbing, resubbing, and hanging out tonight. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Let me quickly refresh the carton. Oh! Well, I was about to introduce the egg, and then... Ryu showed up. He's staring at this fridge. Deep Dragon kills Ryu with kindness and bullets and says, Hi, John. As always, thanks for using Stream Tech. I'm working right now on finishing auto posting. Is there any chance you have some time later in the week to test to make sure it's all working and makes sense? If not, I'll throw a DM at you on how later. Uh, yeah, well, obviously the week's about to start. Uh, yeah, try hitting me. Oh, not Wednesday. Shit. Uh,. Maybe try hitting me up Monday. Because I was about to say Tuesday, but Tuesday might be uh, might be busy. I might actually get to see some of my friends I haven't seen in a while. We shall see. All right. From Arizona, how to egg two. Disc only, son of a this bitch! This is filthy, but just three shots from Gitching Gun... Hang on, I need to text my friend and tell them maybe not Tuesday. Thank you, Ari, for how to egg. 
Uh, I'm just going to just fire off a warning now. Let's not get too crazy with how to egg videos. Because uh, since they don't really have relevance to the stream other than the fact that you use an egg in, in making stuff. Just, just want to make sure we don't go too off the rails with this. Because we're also trying to not waste food. That was not a food waste, but also wasn't relevant to the stream otherwise. So just keep keeping it in line. Don't worry, that's my last one. All right, cool. Thank you, Ari. Negative Pro with a collab between negative and casual Philip. Mankind knew that they cannot change the genreverse. Oh, you so did it. Reflecting on their art, they blamed the breasts. Heaven or booze. So about that poll? Ah, uh, just get it over with, Jen. John versus Jen. Glitch one. Pancakes! <laughs> Alright, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I would- I, I like the Guilty Gear Strive style fight intros. It's good. Well done on that. I feel like if someone's yelling pancakes, it should be Rosa screaming pancakes, though. All right, well, this is labeled uh, Donkey Kong Country LP spoilers. So I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> but I guess the thumbnail also kind of gives it away, huh? The minigame. That, that only got posted yesterday, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Silenok with thanks for the advice, John. Again, immune to batarangs. So the just uh, was always yours. Punch. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Punch always works. Batarangs are pretty useless. I love I love when characters that shouldn't see it coming just pick up the battering like, huh? Eh? The fuck through this. Cobalt the Fox with breakfast for dinner. Okay, dinner time. So got eggs for Wesker. And pancakes for Rosa John. Yay! Yeah, I don't know if food eggs are not appropriate yet, but... <laughs> I feel bad! The key Literally to said it right before! The stack is putting the burnt ones on the bottom. Well, I mean, don't burn your pancakes! <laughs> Thanks, Cobalt. I feel bad. I feel bad. Literally, the, the egg before it. Still, with John is somewhat adverse to sharing. Boba, no, my Boba tag. It's true, I'm not gonna mail it. Pantera with Egg Factory. You will give me an egg, egg. Nice. Egg, 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 egg. Egg, egg. I love that song, that song is criminally underused. Uh, and we've looped. All right, we're gonna go to break. I'll grab some co-coms, and when we come back, Fire Emblem Warriors for the Switch. Well, the real challenge is gonna be, do I remember what case I put that in? See you guys in a bit. I forgot it was two stages. Yeah, so when I was practicing for the LP, I'm like, wait, it's only in two stages? I legit thought I'd admit it was in more, too. Also, I'm gonna have to start the next episode showing off that Rambi I apparently missed, because I had no fucking idea there was a Rambi in Oil Drum Alley. Because it's in a stupid spot.
Uh, piano, yours went through. Alright, I got three Switch game cases on my desk. Is it in any of these? My god, it actually was. It was in the first one I grabbed. It was in my main one, the one I always carry when I travel. Or did. Yeah, so my carry case for my Switch has room for one, uh, one of these little mini game cases. So I usually put it with games I either want to play or have intended to play or multiplayer games. So it's like one of three potential games in there. Let's, or game types in there. Let's see what's in here. One, two, Switch. Blade Strangers. Ultra Street Fighter 2, Smash Brothers, Mario Maker 2, Penguin Wars, Dragon Mark for Death, Super Bomberman R, Splatoon 2, Clubhouse Games, Kirby Star Allies, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Breath of the Wild, Puyo Puyo Tetris 1, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, that would be a game I intended to play, uh, Fireman Warriors, which I just removed, Momodora, Reverie in the Moonlight, or Under the Moonlight, rather. Doom 2016, Axiom Verge, Cave Story, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, Arms, and Bloodstained. That's an interesting list. I should probably shuffle that around a little bit. We still need to save Pyre at some point. That's when the bonus stream happens. We'll start planning those once we do disc only. Tuesday disc only is when I get to start planning things again. Have you looked at the Steam Deck? The Steam Desk? Oh, I assume you mean Steam Deck. Uh, yeah, I ordered one. Because honestly... That's the only way I'm going to work through my Steam library, is going to be if it's portable. Do you think you have the world record for most games played in a year? Not even close, dude. I can guarantee there are people that actually, like, sit down and play, like, ten games a day. Minimum. Also, I now that you've said it, I'm actually curious if that is actually a record already.
What about streaming? Uh, mm, maybe, maybe. I don't know for sure. That could be the case. How many games have we actually streamed? Give me a second. Tenmar actually has that info. Where is it? The archive says. But what would count as played in that context? 30 seconds an hour? See, that's the thing. That's the that's the restriction on it. Uh. Oh, actually, does he not have written down how many games I've played? That's weird. I thought he did. He has a number of streams. Well, okay. Well, let's do it this way. Um... Raw math, this is, this is not counting repeats, or like this is rather counting repeats, so this isn't 100% accurate. But as of Wednesday, we've apparently played 3,252 games on stream over the span of nine years and one month. Now keep in mind, that is counting repeats, so like, any game clearing games take up multiple slots based on their streams. Could be other things there too, in that case. So, there you go. That's just rough math there, so. I'm doing good, Rexnator. My day was alright. How was yours? Apparently there is a record for world's largest video game collection with 20,139 games. That number seems low, to be perfectly honest. I would have thought there was someone with about 30 thou. I would have thought that. You're halfway there. Yeah, no, no. No, I'm good. I don't think we're breaking any records with our with our collection. I don't think that's really the plan, nor do we have the room for it. That number was two years ago? Then, yeah, there's no way that person's only at 21,000 or whatever the number was. 20,139. Does that include or exclude digital games? That's another thing, too. I'm gonna assume that is physical only, which if that's the case, then yeah, my number is actually way lower. Because with rough math, if we're taking out digital, my collection's more like... Alright, that's minus a thousand. It's minus three hundred and sixty. Uh... Three eighty. Damn it, just got a message. Four fifty... Fourteen fifty... Yeah, like, let's let's say we take off, like, 15, 1,600 off my game total. So my collection's more like 8,500, like, physical. It's probably actually even lower than that. That's just, I just didn't want to keep wasting all my time just scanning my backlog and doing quick math. Hey. Hey. It's been a bit. Yeah, how you doing? I'm good. Just, uh, working on some stuff. My coworker tried to make the case that Guy has a bigger collection than you, John. I pointed out that he only collects physical, you collect everything from digital to physical. Yeah, so by that comparison, though, like, I'm behind. Because, yeah. But, because that, by that same logic, I could say, I have ROM sets, therefore I have more games! Like, that would be super cheating at that point. I have an SD to SNES! I've got the entire SNES collection! Hooray! 
How'd you know? <laughs> Hello, chat. How, how are you guys? Apparently, we we're uh, breaking Trey's streak. Yeah, Trey had, was on for the last, like, three streams, four streams. He was trying to break your streak. Oh. I think I've been to five in a row. I think you're at five or six. Get wrecked, Trey. <laughs> That's just gonna make it worse now. Hello. Hello. Been a while. Yeah. How you doing? It's disc I... lonely tonight. Yes, sir. Pop, I'm getting a bit of feedback off of your mic, and Mitch, you sound a little far away from yours. I sound far away? Second. You're getting feedback from mine? Yeah, I'm getting a... Well, I didn't just then. Last time we talked, I got buzzing. Weird. Here, chat, just tell me if I'm crazy or not. Uh, talk again for a second, Popsky? Uh, mic check, one, two, one, two. It's like getting some background noise that's high-pitched. Hmm. Is that any better for me? Yeah, it's a bit better. All right, well, let me turn up a little more. It almost sounds like you're using the wrong mic, chat said, so. Oh, maybe I... Oh, crap, maybe I am. Hang on. That's weird, because I'm not hearing any. Weird. All right, give me a, give me a sec, I'll be right back. I'm gonna okay. check a couple things. Well, while you're checking that, I'm gonna go through Donos and get our block ready. I'm gonna try to fix this, I guess. So lonely. Uh, lots of people with the bits. Okay, so I was curious about this one. I saw this from KGK1818. Hey, John, can we confirm that Emil may lose his innocence again if Lady Luck gets drunk again? Uh... Probably not. I don't think he's got in that much innocence left to lose at this point. Lady Luck would have to get absolutely, absolutely schnackered at that point. Fox Gamer says, Hey there, John. How are you doing tonight? In any case, I'm sorry about the script delivery with 100 volt pixels and firestones, especially if they cause a delay in the Donkey Kong Country video. I'll do my best not to make the same mistake next time. Thank you, Fox Gamer. Emil's lost and is pretending he hasn't. Emil, from what I have heard from his viewers, uh, <laughs> he, he's, he's channeling some interesting energy there uh, during Xenoblade. But then again, that that's that series also has got some boobies, so I'm not shocked. Terra G says hydrate. Can do. He's made some choices. Some boobies. Look, man, I'm not forcing the, the Dolly Parton based character. I'm not forcing him to use that that blade. Don't blame me. Oh yeah, and the candle boobs. That LP is also rather long, too. Wonder if that's gotten to him. Probably. Playful Piano says, HK is one of my favorite games. It's Hollow Knight. Glad you're playing it. Gonna be heading back to college in like two weeks, which is an experience. Also, I've just posted a new piano arrangement today if you want to check it out. I'll check that later. Piano, if that's all right. Let's see what it is. Amori127, remember to be patient. What? If you're cool with it, you know, I'll play it while I'm reading the rest of the donuts. I don't know Amori that well, so. Well, Mitsu says, John, I've been attending a Comic Con this weekend, and today I found someone cosplaying Secret Agent Kermit the Frog. Fuck yeah. Tell me you took pictures with him. Hell yeah. Edrin Persona, thank you for the Ryu. Philip J. Fry called me out again. I can't interrupt the music with it. I don't want to be rude. Because I, I feel bad because I'm about to interrupt the song. Uh, yeah, the buzzing was still there when you talked for a second there. 
Really? Yeah, it's only when you talk. I'm sure I'm thinking it's just a background noise or something there. Well, yeah, Philip J. Fry says... All right. It's Saturday night. I have no date. A two-liter bottle of Shasta and my all-rush mixtape. Let's rock. Clockwork Ain't just intensifies. Uh, Zillanox says, Mr. Jonathan, sir, why don't you like things that others like? <laughs> God damn it. Bob, I think it'll be okay. It, it gets hidden up by the background music for the most part. It's just my, my headset's pretty loud, so that's probably why I pick it up. Okay. That's, that's weird. You probably have me on blast, like ultra I'm pretty sure I have you at max volume, because I have most co-coms at max volume. Do I sound any better? Uh, you quieter, bizarrely enough. Are you serious? What the hell? Ugh. Hang on here. Fine, I'm gonna just ditch this mic. Yeah, and Pop, I've got you at max volume. Yeah, that would that would probably do it because I messed around with my settings when I moved. Okay, that would probably do it. Uh, where's my music? There it is. Just shout a lot, Mitch. Uh, the rest of Zelnox message. Uh, Mr. Jonathan, sir, why don't you like things that others like? Why are there personal opinions and preferences on this video game stream instead of a collective unified hive mind with no conversation or debate? I'm telling mom. To be fair, my right. mom would probably be like, why do you not like tea as well? But she also raised me, so she's like, yeah, I know he doesn't like that. How do I sound now? Definitely loud now, yeah. You're good. Okay, well, just gonna have to ditch my normal microphone for now and use my headset one. I was gonna say, you can definitely tell it's a headset now, but I can hear you better. Have I fixed it? No. Bitch! Don't, don't sweat it, dude. Like I said, don't worry about it. <laughs> Thief Dragon, thank you for the Ryu as well. Rio 9. Or sorry, oh, you correct me on this. It's Ryo 9. Uh, you talked about game dev earlier, and I remembered a question I wanted to ask for a while. Since you've probably played a lot of deck building roguelites, what new setting or gameplay add ons do you think would fit that genre? Really sell the idea to us. Honestly, I haven't played that many deck building roguelites. I played Slay the Spire, uh, and there's another one that I am blanking on, but I've only played like two. Really, so I'm definitely not a uh, definitely not a master of the genre. But there's always space. There's always space. Although I'm sure they've already been to space with deck building road lights. One step from Eden would technically be yeah. Uh, and by that proxy, Mega Man Battle Network, technically loop hero, but not really. Dicey Dungeons would be... Yeah, you're right. That's a deck-building roguelite. Sort of. Do you have a link to that amazing piano music that was played just then? Yeah, hang on. I meant to actually link that earlier. My bad. I didn't put a space in. Shit. There we go. That links to Playful Pianos... Playful Pianos YouTube page. I have fixed it. Yeah, I don't hear it. <laughs> you are quieter now, though, by by trade-off. Well, then you could blast me again. You're at max volume. Son of a bitch. <laughs> False Robot says, Hi there, I just wanted to say that the Rosa John is awesome and very comfortable. Well, she is very comfortable, but I'm assuming you're talking about the hoodie. Also, I decided to become a part-time streamer, so have all of my good luck so I can make mistakes and unknown amounts of success to learn from, though I am still setting up. Well, good luck, False Robot. And again, I'm glad you're enjoying the hoodie. Uh, I have been told that every hoodie has shipped officially now. Everyone should either have their hoodie or they should be in the mail. Finally. Finally, we can say that. I got one of the three hoodies I have coming to the house. I got the- so I ordered one for myself, one for Rosa John, and one for Reese. And it turns out, the one that arrived was the one for Rosa. Uh... But I might actually have to wait for the one that's my size. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll wait and see how the other sizes show up before I start planning out when she comes back to run the stream again. Any word on the hoodie restock? We are going to wait a week. 
We want everyone to get their hoodies before uh, we restock. So likely we'll start planning it next Friday, but we'll probably announce an actual date at that point more than anything. So likely next cookie next week, we'll actually say when the restock's happening. You didn't get one for Bagel? Monster. They didn't make him in his size. Size, he claims our hoodies anyways. All right, how do I sound now? There we go. Okay, well, everything's cranked to 100, so at least I'm I'm loud enough now. There you go, we're good. And Rednexella says, By the way, hoodie arrived and is super comfy. Hooray! I'm glad everyone seems to be liking the hoodie. The only downside seems to be we ran a little bigger than everyone expected. That's about it. Have you heard of this indie game called Brock the Investigator? No, I have not. Ooh, 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 what's that? Not me. Ooh, Mitch, I don't know what's going on, but I'm getting a bunch of static off of you now. Oh, are you? Yeah. Hang on, let me let me try turning down. Do you have a, a do you have now. a fan blowing into your microphone or? No, no, I do not. Weird. Um, uh, so my voice mod in? software is crashing like crazy, so it's probably that. I'm just gonna have to bail and get on my headset mic, I guess. Oh, I mean, keep just keep running for a bit. We'll see if it goes. Because you're just because okay. like when you're talking, it's perfectly fine. Okay. Play with settings while I'm sitting here. Yeah. Might have to switch to push to talk or something. God, I hope not. <laughs> I'd rather Tink just use my headset. Tinker with it, I guess. And meanwhile, I'll load yeah. up the art block. Art block. <laughs> Got a preview of things here. Hang on. Art block starts. Oh wow, on page three. Okay. Just barely on page three, though. Our block starts with a piece that we missed from uh, Wednesday's stream. Of Rosa Morgan. Or I guess John again, I think, was the name we officially came up with. I really enjoy Morgan's design, probably because I've always admired female characters who are powerful and flaunt their sex appeal. Well, a succubus is going to do that, so it makes sense. Anyways, this is my personal take on Bengus's official art of Morgan. Oops. Oh, by the way, Cocom feed just went up. Sorry about that. Realize it didn't. Realize it did not have that on till just then. It's very nice. Thank you, Rosie. Yeah, Morgan's one of those characters I always kind of had like the, like the high school crush on. Because I hadn't at the time, there weren't that many succubus characters, so I thought that was really cool. And also boobs. So. Next up, Paint Pen. With some John... Was it, what did it come with a name for this? Was it John Cooper or just... Oh, it's Wolf John as Sly Cooper, I guess, technically. I saw the game clearing VOD from this week and I was ecstatic. Sly Cooper was my childhood, so I had to celebrate somehow. And, I, and it made the most sense to dress my boy Wolf as Sly. He even tied up his tail to look like a raccoon tail. Oh, that's cute. Thank you, Paint Pen. And I guess Wolf John as well. I can never hear the name Morrigan without thinking of the spooky crow goddess. Uh, it kept throwing me off when we were... Uh, it, yeah, the Dragon Age Morrigan also always threw me off, too. I kept thinking of that Morrigan. Next up, from Junko. Too lewd to post it here, so go to my Twitter for the full image. Basically based on a certain Darkstalkers 3 artwork of Morrigan and Lilith. Yeah, uh, I couldn't retweet that one. <laughs> Absolutely couldn't. It's very well done, but I also, to be fair, couldn't retweet the original art it's based off of either. Uh, let's just say very nude. Very nude, but, you know, the tasteful, like, covering up of the bits. Based off of actual Darkstalkers art, too. Well done, Junko, on this. It showed up on my feed anyways because fuck Twitter. Well, for fuck's sake. The link, the, I think the link's there on the post. Yeah, link's right here if you want to go check that one yourself. What was John's favorite bubble tea again? Uh, it's called the Pink Lady. It's strawberry banana with green apple jelly. It's the bagel with a sword. Who gave him a sword? From BLT General, I've been creating more John slash Chrono Trigger art and bagel was up next. While uh, Alia could have worked, I feel that frog fit better. Here's to more. Honestly, yeah, no. Good choice with Frog. Very cartoony mascot, I love it. Thanks, BLT.
Next up from Junko as well, July 29th marks International Tiger Day. So I decided to draw Tiger Brows with Tiger Pixie. Team Tiger. Cool. I also didn't know International Tiger Day was a thing. Guess I can't say I'm surprised, though. Thank you, Junko. Masei could be Alia because she moved a half-ton pool table recently. They had a pool table? Huh. Next up from Mika. I wanted to draw the Alolan Vulpix Pertune design that Tiger Brows made since I really liked it. Well done on this. The big floofy tail. Nicely done, Mika. I'm sure also that uh, Andy is enjoying this as well. Next up from Storm, some recolors of Shantae sprites again. Well, I guess we're at the end of this rather long road, aren't we? I really don't have too much to say other than commenting on the elephant in the room, and by elephant I mean spider, because, you know, the spider has a completely different look in other games, so I compromised by keeping the OG game design while coloring it like her later designs. Yeah, it doesn't really work based on the sprite. Sorry to disappoint with the fact that I didn't do the mayor, but maybe in the future, as you know, I'm kind of busy and I don't even know who the Squid Smith is. I have got the Shantae series on my to-be played list. Oh, yeah, Squid Smith is essentially how you get your health extensions in the later games. But, like, we're talking, like, the last two, basically. It's Girl with Giant Sledgehammer. Thank you, Storm. Next up, more merch ideas for Beefru, but this time from J2. Inspired by Rosie's backpack ideas, here are some lunch boxes. Is my brew a curse just to copy and modify other people's ideas? Well, these are cute ideas, to be fair. Most basic, patent just pending. a stamp. Yeah, patent pending, exactly. We gotta see if we're gonna do this. <laughs> I wanna do the backpack idea that Rosie pitched. I really like it, but I, I don't know what the financial basics of, or like planning of doing that would be. That's the thing we gotta figure out. Most basic with just a stamp on sticker, a little more customized, adding a mouth flap, ears and horn. Fully customized, expensive, more of a pencil case. Stamped metal or plastic, probably cheap. Are, why are you here again, Ryu? Stop getting shot! My That's god, buy like a bulletproof see. vest or something! He'd be full of horse. <laughs> Last week was just, Ryu just got murdered non-stop. I heard. I should have loaded in the variants that I've just had sitting around because I haven't gotten permission from the people who gave them to me yet. <laughs> Shiny Misty kills Ryu with kindness and bullets and says, Seeing as it's now August 1st here where I live, it's officially my 25th birthday. So I'm donating my money to kill Ryu because why not? Thank you for all the laughs you have given us and here to more laughs in the future. Good night, friends. Happy birthday, Misty. Thank you. God, everyone's birthdays. So many birthdays. It's a beaver. Candela is a toolbox, old-fashioned, less likely to sell. I mean, I like I like the old metal-style lunchbox idea. And then there's just a, a bento box. Catacomb on the top lid. Why did I make this one? I don't know. If I was going to make any of these, uh, I kind of like five. I like three, but you're right. It's not going to work as a lunchbox. That's more of a pencil case. And this one's kind of cute, too, because it's got the little pockets on the side. Oh, they all could work. Thank you, J2. Uh, where were we? Helicopter! From TBG Hunter. The newest edition of the Proton John Nation, the Attack Helicopter, flown by our very own Robert Cop. Those monuments, uh, I mean, enemy forces don't stand a chance. Also finally came up with a name for the nation, and I'm currently working on their CO. I decided to call this nation the Celestial Star Bits. Couldn't really go for a color theme for it due to the fact I'm not restricting myself to one color for these sprites, so I went with Celestial Star Bits because it fits the CO. <laughs> cough, cough. I've tried over a dozen times, but for some reason the top rotor blades keep messing up when I convert the frames into a GIF. It'll, it'll look more... I'll look more into it and see if I can have it fixed up in the near future. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, that is weird. Yes, if you're wondering about the white spot dancing in the front of the cockpit, uh, it's the dice that hang in the countermeasures video! Oh, what a nice touch! Hell yeah! Nicely done, TBG. Followed up, of course, with the light infantry tank. So when it came to the Starbits armor, I thought to myself, what would fit a design of a beefy tank unit? Wait, beef, that's it. Design after everyone's favorite cow bub, the B33F Mark I light tank is ready to roll onto the scene. Piloted by everyone's favorite pun master, Emil, he takes great care to make sure his shots land on target, even if most of those targets are copies of Sticker Star. 
Thanks, TBG. It's a good looking beef tank. Powerful beef tank. And it looks like uh, the CO has also showed up as well. Here she is, the leader of the Celestial Starbits Nation and the commander of their armed forces, CO Rosa John. Well, this version of Rosa, I don't know why it says a Zed there, uh, maybe lacking in the chest size as the other Alt Johns, she makes up for it in admiration from her nation. You might wonder why she wears such a long coat, though. It's because she still can't find pants. Of course. Her CO Athlete's power. Pants. Yeah, pants are very complicated for Rosa, apparently. <laughs> Her CO power allows one unit of her side to move double its spaces for one turn. I see what you did there. Uh, while her super CO power causes a hail of star bits to rain down on any enemy cities for one third of their damage. Wow. Nice. Cool. Well done, TBG. Thank you so much for all of these. I've enjoyed all of these. And followed up with from J2 with Rosa just yelling slash checking on them. You okay? Exhausted glitch noises. All right, for my 100% completing Mario Galaxy 2, again, fuck the perfect run in this game. Fair enough. Sorry, but the original holds a lot of good memories for me, and Galaxy 2's linear railroading of the game just doesn't sit well with me. Also, the green stars just felt like padding. One per galaxy would have been fine, but as many stars as the main story? So I've thought about this, because yeah, all the stars are backtracking in new zones, but I think I actually do prefer that over Galaxy 1. Because Galaxy 1 stops at 120, and then you just unlock this everything again, but with a different character. I kind of prefer there being new things to get, even if it is backtracking to old areas, so... That was... I still prefer Galaxy 2. But I can also see why you wouldn't like the green stars. There, there A lot of people have not liked that idea. I can understand. Uh, and my alarm is going off, so we'll end on this picture here from Arsene. Ooh, that crunchy's coming through again, Mitch. Big sounds, crunch. Sounds like you're eating something. Sorry, I hit my I hit my mute button just a tad too early. I was. Oh, okay. Uh, decided to use the Make a Web Warrior website to create the, this new member of the Johnniverse, as well as possibly the Spiderverse. Hopefully, a certain merc with a mouth won't try to use the continuity stone to mess with the timeline again. Please, this timeline's plenty messed up. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you, Arsene, for the Rosa John Spider... Spider Rosa, I guess, in this case. We've got plenty more art to go, but we'll grab it later, because now it's time for Fire Emblem. But first, I need to turn off my heater. It's actually finally warm down here. It's my first stream on with that new song. Sorry if you said something right as I stepped away. I did. I said, uh, it's my first stream with that new song. What do you think? Guy who made it was pretty cool. <laughs> it fits. I think, anyway. Alright, Fire Emblem Warriors is what we're playing next. And I have not played this yet. So I have no idea how this is going to be. I have heard people kind of sort of complain about this game. Okay. Why does her voice sound really familiar? It's not well, it from Fire like Emblem that I recognize it from, though. Sakura from Naruto, I think, for me. Update contents, version 1.5.0, Fire Emblem Awakening. Oh, there's 12 notes. <laughs> oh, boy. Level cap's been increased to 150. Yay! Level cap's been increased to 130! Oh. I'm going backwards. That's a Level nerf. cap's been increased to 110! They're getting weaker! Oh no! <laughs> Level cap at 15! Level cap at Space. 1! <laughs> the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Fire Emblem. Everyone flies slowly through the air as they swing their swords. Sword, 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 spear. Sword, 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 spear. 
Spear. I guess that's a great axe, actually. Mm-hmm. Spear. Electricity. Yeah. <laughs> I like magic. Sword. Sword. Bow. Oh, there's a bow. Oh, there's some bows. I love Lord of the Rings. This is the insight <laughs> to John picking a character for D&D. &D. To be fair, I have this the one archetype I always like picking in D&D, &D, so it's not shocking. <laughs> sword and sword. Together at last. Eat your heart out, Smash Bros. Fire Emblem Warriors. People complain so much about sword users, we put them all in one game. <laughs> What's my preferred archetype in D&D? &D? Rogue. Charisma Rogue. Rogues are so good. Charisma Rogues to absolutely no one's surprise. Choose your main character. Rowan or Liana? Flip a coin. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I care about either of these characters. <laughs> but I also have only seen them once, so that's a that's a pretty immediate reaction. Not good if you're already annoyed. Liana. The first thing I see in chat is Rowan is annoying. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well. The design's kind of eh. Rowan can be grating. They both look very annoying. No one cares about these two. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yikes. Rowan is not annoying. There's no difference between the two. Pick Liana because she resembles Rosa. And that's a good point. They're very interesting in the card game. All right, you know what? Let's, let's go with normal. Please choose a game style. More casual style in which fallen allies will return. Oh my God, fallen allies can actually die in this game? That's pretty harsh. That's rough considering usually your, your uh, assistants in Dynasty Warriors games you usually get the ass handed to them. Ooh! Ooh! Maybe it plays like a... Uh, oh, Calamity of Ganon. Like, people, I people don't think I ever lost anybody in that. You can resurrect them, but it costs a lot. Hmm. I mean, I'm just playing for funsies, so I'm cool with keeping it on casual. Go for it. Slow and steady. Take more time to examine... These are a lot of starting choices for a Warriors game. Uh, take more time to examine strategic information like level up stats, mission briefs, and mid-battle guide windows. Quick and efficient. Keep the action flowing, turning off level up windows and mission briefs. Only important guides will... Yeah, I'll go slow and steady. How's this? Choose your save data. What the fuck do I recognize her voice from? I have no idea. Yeah, Mitch, you're, you're crackling again, bud. Oh my god, okay. Sounds like you're in a bag of sun chips. Karen Strassman, Igis, slash Nanako, Persona 3. Same VAs, Rouge the Bat? What? Erica Mendez. I've seen two different names. Is it Karen Strassman or Erica Mendez? I'm seeing both thrown around here. She's Sky from Shantae. That might actually be it. Oh, Liana is Mendez. Anna is Strassman. Okay. Darkness. I won't let you defeat us. Your power is nothing compared to the bonds that connect us. Your madness ends here and now. Our friends. Shit, I was kidding. Our world's counting yep. on us. We won't let it be destroyed. Just that predictable of a plot. It was then destroyed five minutes later. 
Oh, are they doing? Oh, they're doing the setup at the beginning again. Okay. Make a strong dodge warrior special. Okay. Excess. It was one guy. Of course, that one guy was an option. asshole. So we had to make sure he died. <laughs> Sometimes more characters will become playable over the course of a battle. Switching between playable characters by pressing down or up on the D-pad. You cannot change to characters whose face icons are dimmed. And then we switched to Marth and never went back. <laughs> yeah, don't blame me. Marth, this is a little excessive, my dude. Nothing compared to the bonds we forged. Yeah. Oh, hi, Marth. Krom is now playable. Where the fuck was Krom? There he is. I know it's the weakness ability we're doing, but it's just that's it's so excessive over anything, because it just goes on for so long already. Because it should end, like, before the close-up. Although, Krom's was probably one of the more properly paced ones, I think. All right, Corrin's playable. Nope, that's not Corrin. That's not Corrin. That's Corrin. Good lord. If you think that was excessive, wait until you see dual attack specials. Oh my god. I'm excited. Oh, geez. Hell yeah, let's fucking go. Money. It's actually it actually is doing warrior specials. Oh, for dramatic effect. We can take on anything. Everything we've lost. We're going to take it all back. Here's all the story we skipped because we did a, a last chapter thing again in a Fire Emblem game. I hate when they do that. Prologue. Crumbling piece. No way am I sitting on the throne. Let Leanna take it instead. I'm gonna be Aetolus' most powerful knight. Well, I don't want an evil. I hate him. You could be a knight hmm? and a king. You know I don't want to be both. I'm not taking the crown. <laughs> you want to be both. But, ma'am, I don't want to be both. What would he think of it if your father saw you acting like this? Prince Darius of Bristone has arrived. Darius is here? All right. I hate no one. Bye, Mom. No sparring today. <laughs> I now understand why people say they're not really into these characters. Yeah, swing those Minecraft swords. You wait. You're gonna lose to me again. Whenever you're ready, Rowan. You say you'll beat him again, but Darius has never lost to you to begin with. Are you all right? Now then, let's see what Liana can do. If you meant to sit and watch, then you are very much mistaken. I don't normally wield a sword when I'm so outmatched. But if it means that I'll get better, then... I'm happy to oblige. I'm also fighting in heels, so I have a severe disadvantage. Both in equal measure. The sky! What the heck? Language. Mother's safety to me. But no, I'm coming with you. You can't. The enemy is already inside the castle. If you're captured, Prince Rowan, Princess Liana, we've been looking everywhere. 
It isn't safe here. We have to get you to the secret passage at once. What are you talking about? An emergency escape route, my lord. The queen is already on her way there. All right. Let's hurry to join her. We're coming, mother. I do like the fact that there was autoplay just ready to go on that. Focus, both of you, and make for the exit. She's probably on her way there. Let's go. Remember your training. Cut through them like so many blades of grass. I mean, the gameplay is Dynasty Warriors, so at this point, if you haven't played a, a Warriors game because of all the ones they've done with Nintendo IPs, I feel like there's not really much else I can tell you. Yeah. They're fun. They're fun hack and slashes that are great because you just cut through groups of enemies like butter. That's the satisfying thing about it. Mmm, butter. <laughs> Speaking of butter. There it goes. Hot. Yep. Hot butter. That doesn't seem like the right time for a tutorial window, but maybe that's just me. <laughs> I feel like I should have gotten to at least enjoy the explosion. Large HP recovery! Green does not mean magic in this one. Oh, that's gonna be confusing. Yep, I no, well, I mean that's just the case when you play through different games anyway, so it's not that surprising. But my Zelda brain can't handle that. Zelda brain, no! Why must you betray <laughs> me, Zelda brain? Mission start! Defeat the monster blocking the escape point! Okay. I'm here to help. When in battle, you'll occasionally see a stun gauge appear above an enemy's head. Attack to deplete the gauge and execute a critical hit. I assume I have to let him attack for it's like the other games for the most part. Oh, let him open up his, his guard a little bit. Yeah, likely. Yep. I defeated Monster! Mission complete. We did it. It has the, uh... The DLC for Calamity again dropped yet? The first part I thought did. I think it, yeah, it did. Wasn't sure if it had yet or not. Don't relax just yet. Looks like we've got company closing in. Mother, are you okay? Yes, but I can't make it through. The two of you must go without me. No, we can't. Take the fire emblem. Take this shield. That hole got a lot smaller when it was just her arm. Yeah, I noticed that. Like this thing is bigger than my head, but we can turn it sideways. I can't turn mine. Yeah. Please watch over my children. You have my word. Come on, we have to go. No way. Mother, you're coming with us. This whole passage is coming down around us. We have to go. I'm sure we'll find another way out of the castle. Now, get going. Come on! Use a sword. Hmm? <laughs> Jesus! Never mind. That was brutal. I'm sure what she's it, fine. What? It, yeah, the way they like reveal the end, like, yeah, she just turned around and screamed, but she actually was like with the bad guys or something silly like that. <laughs> it looks like we've come out beyond the castle walls. How could we let this happen? We shouldn't have left her behind. Don't let her sacrifice be in vain. You have to think carefully about what you'll do next. Your mother wanted you to have that shield, right? You need to take it to the temple. Mother knew what to do without her. We're worse than helpless. 
Doctor. There's no time for tears. Ready your blades. We're doomed if we don't fight. <laughs> Just have some tea. You don't like tea, though. Yeah, but she does. Enemies are red or yellow, and allies are blue. Partners who cannot be controlled or receive orders are green. Places you should go are marked on the map with an X. Enemies you should defeat are marked with a circle. It's learning shapes and colors with a fire emblem. I should have known the pause menu was also going to have a, a tutorial. All right, let's see here. Where is... Uh, let's see if I can... What my combo list currently is. So, by itself, X can be done three times. Regular and strong in midair. For strong attack, one repeatedly for continued strikes. Cool. I mean that works. <laughs> the market gates are closed. We're blocked off. You have to defeat the monsters in your way if you want to open that gate. I'm here to help. Probably the gates can be opened by defeating a gatekeeper. The mission started. Who I'm already fighting. Triggering the stun gauge. <laughs> as long as I don't let him land on the ground, I should be able to actually trigger that whole thing. There we go. The gate's open. Let's go. Hang on, I gotta drink more tea. Which monsters am I taking out? Thank you. Defeat the monsters in the plaza! You're running low on HP. You can recover some by vitality pressing Z, R, and A to use the vulnerary or other medicines. The number of uses will be replenished after battle. We gotta save that villager! He's got a pan on his head! There's a pot at Well, we gotta go save the dude with the pot on his head. I'm here to help, sir! These missions are optional and not required victory, but they can offer tremendous rewards! It's my favorite pot. I'm here to help. Warrior tonic. Pick up a yellow warrior tonic to replenish your warrior gauge. Well, except for the fact that I already have one full, so. But it's delicious! I promise I didn't waste it! Where are the guns at? I don't think we're getting any guns in this game. No oh. dueling crossbows. Hell, I think archers were pretty rare even in these games. Yeah, pretty much. Like, well, this isn't Samurai Warriors where they're like, we're just gonna fit whatever the fuck we can fit in. There were some bows on the intro. Yeah, there's definitely bow characters. So there will be projectiles eventually. This is gonna take us a bit. But I want them now. Well, too bad, I gotta go through the story first. It's taking too much time. Monsters would have appeared though. 
Just blast them all. I'm working on it. I was until they decided to play a cutscene. <laughs> You'll think there's no bow enemies until you play as a flying character, then they're everywhere. That's a good point. <laughs> You're fat. Get out of here. Neither are you gonna move? Okay. Oh, it's definitely Marth! Thanks, Marth! You're my favorite fire emblem. Thanks for the help. And you are? Marth. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Marth, what's with the butterfly mask? He can now plays Marth. Cool. All right. Well, that works. Marth, tell me about yourself. Oh, I actually can't. I actually can't look at their profile. Totally Marth and not somebody else. Yeah, I actually. Yeah, no, I actually. I'm playing as Marth, but I can't look at Marth. Please tell me they don't keep this going for very long. Probably through the most of this mission. Oh, I imagine this mission ends with them being like, "You're not Marth." No, Firebug says, Firebug says he dis he she disappears as soon as this mission is over. I have somewhere to be. My planet <laughs> needs me. Tuxedo Marth has to leave. <laughs> Tuxedo Marth. That's all I can think of whenever I see the masked kit version. Yeah, it's yeah. just like, "Yep, Tuxedo Marth yeah, is, is here." That is totally it too. I'm also sad they didn't do definitely, definitely is Marth is fighting monsters. I wish they'd done something like that. Just a little more tongue in cheek. But they are playing it otherwise straight, so I can't, I can't say I'm surprised. Is she as useless as Tuxedo Mask is though? No, she's, she's very fun to play as right now, if I'm being perfectly honest. She's very quick. She's probably not level one. That's why. Mm-hmm. Yep, there you go, Marth left. <laughs> My planet needs me! I was having fun! Out. That needs to stop right now, young man! No fun! Kinda wish I had a question mark after the name. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Marth? I wish I wish they had said Marth or definitely is Marth on it. Huh? Tuxedo Marth, John Ambos very upset and impressed. That's a terrible good one. Thank you. I can definitely guarantee I'm not the first person who have ever said that about Lucina, ever. It's probably Mark. Yep. We're, we're pretty sure. We checked their ID. Are there hidden collectibles like there are the Skulltillas? Should I have worried about any like that, or should I just move on with story? Although I say that we're almost at a half hour, so. I was gonna say, are you gonna get that far enough for that to matter? But who is Marth? Only in certain maps, gotcha. I did it. So much money. Chapter two, Woodland's encounter. Heeding their mother's last words, the twins head for the temple, but a chance encounter and a trial awaits them in the forest. Ah, okay, I'm guessing Anna's mementos are the thing? Yeah, because there wasn't one in the previous one. Chapter 2. Woodlands Encounter. Do I have any of the DLC for this game? Considering this is the first time I booted it up, I'm going to assume no. Our poor mother. Stay strong. Queen Yelena entrusted your kingdom's future to the two of you. I know. I'm just not sure if we can do it. I'll be at your side. <sighs> Try not to worry. And then her brother just kind of fucking wanders off into the woods. Find the temple. Eaten by a wild bear. My god. Come on, 
prom. I mean, we've got to do something. What do you propose? Huh? How should I know? Lissa, you're a mage. You're a healer. That was a nasty cleric, wasn't she? Can Something like that. Thanks a lot. But who are you guys? The Shepherds, a militia from the Haladim of Elise. The Haladim of what? That's Her Matt Mercer. Huh? But how is that even possible? My lord, my lady. Frederick! Guard. He was not alone. Oh, too fast, too fast! You! Don't just run off like that. Do you have any idea... Rowan, do you know these people or something? Huh? Just met him now. I don't recognize your clothes. From where do the two of you hail? He doesn't know us then. Hell. I welcome you to the kingdom of Aetolis, of which we are the princess and prince. Uh -huh. Weird. I see. Why? Why is Frederick not on his wish. horse? <laughs> You're clearly capable fighters. Will you lend us your strength? Please. Oh, Kron, Was he a horseman? Yeah. You're right. God, I haven't played that one in a while. In Forgot that he, I couldn't remember that one. It's dangerous to trust mysterious strangers outright. If we are to join them, he was picking up pebbles. To provide a test. <laughs> you mean like, I'm Frederick, and you'll have to defeat me to earn my help. Exactly. Wait, really? Not a fight to the death, but I'll learn all I need by facing them on the battlefield. You may need convincing, Frederick, but I will fight alongside these strangers. Me too. We will follow any We're very trusting. That's why we keep getting in trouble. To command us. <clears throat> it looks like we don't have a choice. Prepare for battle, you two. I love Matt Mercer so much. Mm -hmm. I have He's been like binging Critical mind. Role lately. He can be brash, but he has the strength and can do attitude to pull through any situation. His father died when he was young, so now he longs to be a knight. He uses sword techniques inherited from both uh, Aetolus and Griston. It's a Griston. And wields his shield equally as well. He excels at knocking back his enemies. If everything is in order, which is why we're not playing as him. <laughs> First, you need to take out the soldiers surrounding the area. I'm here to help. Oh, materials for crafting. Oh. God. It is a warrior's the... game. That was the bane of my existence in Calamity again. And... I actually do need to finish Hyrule Warriors 2. I really enjoyed that. The, the post-game stuff was pretty fun. Ooh, that was a good level up. Are the level up stats random like they are in Fire Emblem? Okay, okay. I'm here to help. Yes. Not random? Nope. Pretty sure they're fixed. Okay. Characters max HP, power of physical attacks, defense against physical attacks, map power of magic attacks, resistance defense against magic attacks, power of critical hits and warrior special attacks. Rate the awakening gauge depletes and lengths of the awakening state. Drop rate of recovery items, how quickly the character dashes. Interesting. I think there's a setting to change the frame rate to 60 in the game? Is it not running at 60? It looks like you had it, it on quality, quality mode and yeah. Oh, Performance weird. is 60. Neat that they didn't even remotely mention that. Explain that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh! oh ah! Wow. Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> ah! You all right there, champ? <laughs> yeah, that jump, that jump and frame rate. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Now take that and go to 240. Oh no. That's what my monitor is. 
I oh don't my. like this. I want to go oh, back. Very smooth. I want to go Hush back. You. I want to go home. I want to go home. Now it looks like it's covered in Vaseline. It's so slippery. John, clean your switch. It's grimy. Yeah, I'm going back. Enhanced. Sorry. Aw, <laughs> oh, gross. There we go. I actually prefer this. Sorry, guys. I'm here to help. I took my first hit of the game's like, you have HP! I didn't notice a difference. You might not notice it through the capture card and just online on Twitch. On my TV, it was very noticeable as you gathered by the reaction I gave. Some people can't see it. Mission started. This guy's spear is serious business. Your sword won't be as effective against a spear user. All right, well, that's not going to stop me. Yeah, really. Uh, that didn't take long. Nope. I'm getting stronger. Well, there's the uh, the balance from the last level we got. <laughs> we got one point in every other stat, but skipped strength, and this time we just got strength. Yes, the rock, paper, scissor rule. Yep, swords are strong as axes, axes are strong as lances, lances are strong as swords. Enemies with advantage you get are marked with upward arrows, enemies with disadvantage are marked downward. While you're at weapon triangle, advantage the damage dealt is increased, the stun gauge appears more often, the strength of critical hits are boosted. While you're at a disadvantage, enemy guard more easily and deal increased damage, and the stun gauge will not appear. Ooh. Weapon advantages and disadvantages affect everyone, including characters you are not controlling. Oh, she's an axe user. Well, that works. So chat, tell me, is Gaius in this game, yes or no? Alright, broken game, unplayable, don't want it. <laughs> I have heard people complain about the roster of this game a lot, so. Check her stat. Nope, still can't. Warrior info. I. Oh wait, nope, I can. You guys are going to catch up with you. Yeah. Her Lissa-sized axe sends foes flying. Strong attack one raises spirits temporarily, boosting all stats. Ooh. What about you, Krom? Charge strong attack one for a powerful strike. He's no longer Krom. He's Matt Mercer. <laughs> Rosters and bandits is plagued by recent game bloat, if that makes sense. That does. I, I know some people were very upset. Know your enemy. Predict their actions and crush them. Like, Ike isn't in this game, right? He got added as DLC at, at most, right? Ooh, wow, really? 
I figured he was like a shoe in for this. Ike is not in the game at all. He was never added. That wow. seems like a waste. No Roy. Yeah, so I did, like I said, people did complain a lot about there being like recent game bloat. Like a lot of characters from, uh, shit, what was the one, Birthright, I guess? Uh, the one with yeah. Conquest and... Corrin. Thank yeah, that yeah, was Cor Birthright. Yeah, Corrin's game, there's a lot of characters and I think there's a lot from Awakening as well. Fates and Awakening have a lot of representation. Well, clearly they don't, they don't have Gaius, so no. Mm. Let's go. Leave that to me. Lisa, that's too far. You're surrounded by enemies. I'm fine. What are you talking about? Lynn and Cecilia were added as DLC. That was the amiibo duo, wasn't it? Halt, oh, villains. oh my god. It included him? I'm your uh, uh it doesn't matter who I am. My origin story is kind of a mess. You know what? I'm just gonna take it again. <laughs> my origin story is kind of a mess. I He's right. No, man. <laughs> oh no, you he is. <laughs> <you're doing? laughs> no, I am sworn to defend you. I don't no matter how dire the odds. Oh, Lynn and Cecilia weren't DLC, they were unlockable through challenges. What? That's a different game. My sword hand. <laughs> it's got a mind of its own. What the heck is up with this guy? Our allies are on their way. Wait. Owain's in the story, but he's a DLC character? What? Why I'm here to help is for me to know. Oh. Join the fray or don't. One more ally won't make much of a difference. Oh boy. Yeah, that's weird. How's everyone feeling? He's also a moveset clone of another character. Wow. Weak. Characters with the ability to use staves can heal nearby allies by pressing Z, R, and A. However, they cannot heal themselves. Staves can only use a limit number of times, and each battle the uses will be restored after battle. Let's go. So they don't even get vulnerary? No, I guess not. One must direct allies wisely. All right, fine, fine. I'll actually direct the. I'll direct Liana. Yes. So she's not doing anything. She's just sitting there. Oh boy. Okay. That's a quick way to lose. Let's go. I mean, she's the one ain't not doing shit. Not that. However. I see enemy reinforcements. The mission started. Defeat the Myrmidons. Keep in mind that your opponent won't always be such a pushover. Stand against our dark power. Tremble before our might. I can't believe Owain's in I'm here. here to help. When your awakening gauge is full, you can press R to enter awakening mode, which will last until the gauge is empty. Blue gauge on the top of the corner of the screen. It fills when you pick up blue tonics or attack while at advantage. Awakening mode grants advantage against all weapon types as if a weapon triangle advantage. Oh, as if at weapon triangle advantage and gives bonus rewards for large KO cans. So it's magic mode from Hyrule Let's Warriors. Go. Use awakening mode and defeat the enemy. Anna is also here. You can buy one of Anna's mementos. And mementos are each a single piece of an illustration. Collect them all to form a reward illustration, which in turn unlocks a new scenario in history mode. To collect mementos, your options at camp will increase. The pop-up shop will appear for only under certain conditions. For specifics, check Anna's conditions. Well, let's turn that off. Anna's more important. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, where the fuck is her shop? Is it where's it actually where I was going? Is it in the fort? Nope. 
Where, where is her shop? Or were they just telling me in advance? Bottom uh, Oh, there she is. Okay, I see her sprite. There she is. She's a level three trickster. Here's you've gotten even stronger, Lissa. Time to run away! I was in such a good mood that I wanted to show off. I wasn't expecting her actual sprite. I was looking around for like a dot or something like everyone else. <laughs> Hi, Anna. Oh, I bought it for free. Or did it actually cost me in the bottom there? You've got excellent taste. I love it. I bought it for free. Back soon. They're free. Well, Anna's really bad at business then. I thought she was the savvy businesswoman. She's supposed to be. I am powerful! Mission complete. Hey, Frederick, I'd say we're doing pretty well, wouldn't you? Alright, the guitar solo fire emblem theme is actually pretty sick. Lissa was low-key a pretty good character. How about acknowledging our For the most part, yeah. She was kind of annoying at times, but she actually was also pretty great. However, the greatest trial is still ahead of you. Pass all clear. Prepare to face me. Prepare to face me. Mission started. Did he turn into Walford Brimley? He had a really deep tone to his voice just then, which I couldn't ignore. <laughs> you can't break through by yourself. Join up with an ally for help. Let's go. I'm here to help. Oh wow, I didn't even notice that. I like that the Super Gauge gives you a character's full moveset for a time before you actually unlock it. Makes it more worth activating it. That's actually a really smart decision they made. Wow. When a pair up, the Vanguard gets a stat boost from the support and you can perform special moves like Dual Strike, Dual Guard, and Dual Special. You can also order characters that you are not currently controlling to pair up. I probably should have seen this coming. Neat. Everyone, prepare yourselves. Yeah, let's pair up. Follow Krom's lead. Got your back. We're friends now, despite being brother and sister. Oh, I can't play as Krom when he's like that. Okay. Character work together during battle, their bonds will strengthen. When this occurs, those characters will have hearts displayed above their heads. Strengthen their bond, have characters heal allies, fulfill requests. Why is there screaming? Or use pair up and attack the enemy. I didn't even see the level up because of the pop up. This is an improvement. I'm going to there we go. When both the Vanguard and Supports Warrior Gauges are full, press A to activate Dual Special! Using Dual Special will deplete both the Vanguard and Supports Unit's Warrior Gauges, but exchange the attack you perform will devastate a large area. Alright, let's go beat up Frederick and then let's get the hell out of here. Damn it, it looks like it was open on the map. Okay, yeah, now they tell me. Now they've already done it. Hey, Frederick, we're here. 
Oh my god. There's his horse. Ride that horse, Frederick. So long as I draw breath. Know that Frederick will hold the line. Hi, Frederick. And Frederick is almost dead. <laughs> you're attacked by the enemy when your shield gauge is full. Dual guard will automatically activate and your support will appear and guard you. Shield gauge fills up when you attack enemies while in pair up. Neat. Do not expect me to hold back. Too bad. You would do well not to let your guard down around me. I'm here to help. That's a weapon? Weapons drawn battle, the automatically picked up. Weapons you acquire in one battle can be equipped afterwards for the next one. Is it just like wrapped in a tapestry or something? Yes, I guess. Even weapons seem the same, can have different abilities, including special attributes. You know, blah, blah, blah. Some enemies have a hidden weapon. Some enemies have a hidden weapon that they will drop when defeated. If you find an enemy with a weapon you want, be sure to defeat them. I assume that's what the green mark is. Yeah, that's from straight out of Fire Emblem. Mission complete. Well, Frederick, feeling their resolve. Even though they didn't do anything? A bit too much. <laughs> Power is one thing, but strength of one's heart is another matter. Yeah. But did you see how much I helped out? I think Lissa did the most killing out of the three. Yep. But Krom gets to pose. It was an honor to help. You've proven enough, at least for now. Meaning... We can work together. I still hold some doubts, but I'll put them aside. You did kill a thousand you plus people that we that. knew, so thank you for it doing my that. Duty to always be vigilant. It was definitely Please worth testing perfect. your trust. If that's settled, why don't we make camp for the night? For supper, how does bear sound? <laughs> I bear. during a lull in the battle, and it shouldn't be <laughs> I fucked off during the battle and killed a bear. Bear? <laughs> Again, it's too tough and gamey for my tastes. You've eaten it before? What good fortune! A chance to absorb that proud, ferocious spirit once more. Oh yeah, I oh, forgot Owen was does there. Does that mean have you also eaten it before? More than once. All right, I'm in. If this dinner is our next challenge, I'm game. A true knight must face any obstacle with enthusiasm. Everyone else may partake first. I'll be content with the leftovers, if any remains. You can't avoid bear that easily. I'll share <laughs> with you. You can't get away from bear. MVP! The best? No way! I'll see if I can keep up the streak. Burr, 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 burr. Armor Slayer. Oh my god. Well, Captain's Lance, Captain's Sword, Axe Fighter's Helmet, Axe Fighter's Glove, Soldier's Waist Guard, Myrmidon's Head Guard, Myrmidon's Breach Cloth, and Frederick's Pebbles! Oh god. Jesus Christ, of course they put that in there. Something new has been added. I'm a mighty warrior, defeating a thousand or more enemies in a single battle. Krom's playable. This is playable. Wise decision. Frederick's playable. Crest market open within your camp. Convoys added. Everyone is here. Golden princess was added to Liana's costumes. Presence was added to extras. Acquired new weapons. Hero sword, hero lance, hero axe, hero bow, hero tome, and hero stone. Okay, they're done. Oh my. I think that last one was a DLC thing, to be fair. All right. Equip weapon. If the character's weapon proficiency is low, they can, can't equip a high rank weapon. You can make skill crest at the crest market to raise weapon proficiency. Yes. So Liana, give her a weapon. Give her an armor slayer. Despite the fact that there's this S rank hero sword. <laughs> could also take the falchion. 
No, but it's extremely effective against armored units. Give it a try in your next battle. No, oh, that'll have to be sometime in the future. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, actually. Hell yeah, let's go. Oh, and then it doesn't, of course, reflect here, because why would it? All right. Something new has been added. Golden Prince was added to Rowan's costumes. There we go. Look at all these characters we definitely didn't get to play. What's the present? Oh, amiibo. Do I even have an amiibo nearby? I do, but it's still Please in the package. Your amiibo now. So we'll worry about that later. Alright, let's go to the cookie. Because we were on that one for quite a while. Yeah, that one took a bit, but it seemed fun. Yeah, no, it seems it seems fine. I just I can see why people weren't into it compared to say Hyrule Warriors, but it seems all right. Right. Seems like a Warriors game. Uh, let's go to the cookie, gentlemen. No. You each get to suggest a game for Cookie. Did you even think about what you wanted to put on? Yes. A couple of things, yeah. Okay. Go ahead, would, Mitch. Would you consider a well, Warriors game for game clearing? Fuck no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, truthfully, even before you had said it, I was considering throwing Hollow Knight in, but I've also been like heavily reading the uh, IDW Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles lately, so if you got a good TMNT game, I'd say throw that up there. Uh, there's not really a shortage of them. You want me to pick Turtles in Time, or do you want me to pick something I haven't played in a while? Pick something I haven't played in a while. <laughs> I got an idea. TMNT, follow the Foot Clan for the Game Boy. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Uh, back from the Sewers. That's what I'm looking for. Team NT2, Back from the Sewers for the Game Boy. Bossy, what do you got? BPM bullets per minute. BPM bullets per minute On for Steam. Steam. And the following five games. Game number one. Door kickers on Steam. Kick all the doors. Game number two. Panzer Dragoon 2 Zwei for the Sega Saturn. Game number three. Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash for the PlayStation 4. Game number four. Space Channel 5 Special Edition for the PlayStation 2. What the fuck is this list? I have no idea. It is bonkers. And last but not least, something disappointing. <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> no, this is a good game. <laughs> Prince of Persia, Warrior Within for the original Xbox. It's actually a good game. It's just. Is it's this just, the third one? That's the second one. That's the Shadow the Hedgehog ah. one. The one with I oh. stand alone over Oof. and over. It's super edgy. Still a good game, but it's edgy as fuck. It's up its own ass. All right, poll is up. Here's the link. Is Senra Kagura even allowed on Twitch? Yes, it is. Shockingly enough. Uh, God, out of this list, I actually kind of want to play all of these. If I'm being real, I think I'm okay with any of these winning. All right, you heard it, everybody. No more cookies tonight. John's just going to play through this list. But I'm voting for that anyways. Currently in the lead! Oh, yeah, that's pretty much where I saw it starting. Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash is currently in the lead. 143 votes, 30% of the vote. Space Channel 5 Special Edition in second place, 122 votes and rising, 23% of the vote. Turtles 2, back from the sewers for the Game Boy, 77 votes, 13% of the vote. BPM, bullets per minute, 67 votes, 10% of the vote. Door Kickers, 51 votes, 8%. Prince of Persia Warrior Within, 38 votes, 6%. And Panzer Dragoon 2, Zwei in last place, sadly, 32 votes, 5%. 645 votes clock so far. Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash leads 197 to 178. It is actually pretty close. Let's put a timer on then. 
One minute on the clock. Whatever game is in the lead when that race is done, that's the game we play next. If for some reason the game in second place is 1% away or less from the leader, it'll get added on as an extra option in the next poll. That actually is not adjusting itself, huh? Weird. Two seventeen to one ninety-eight right now. Senra Kagra is keeping its lead. Spaced out pretty well there. I'm seeing people say push SC five, and I read that as Soul Caliber five. Yeah, no, nope, it's Space Channel five. All about ooh la la, fighting aliens with the power of dance, and a really good soundtrack. However, it does not look like the power of dance is going to save us today because it looks like Senra Kagura runs away with it. 2% gap as well between the games as well. Senra Kagura Peach Beach Splash is the winner. People wanted Splatoon more than they wanted Space Channel 5. All right, let's drop some eggs. Yeah, Mitch, it's still doing that crackling, dude. That? It's like you're, uh, you know what it is? It's, yeah, it's more like, it either sounds like you're rubbing the microphone or it's something with your noise gate is not covering it up. Say, so it might be my mouse wheel, it's just picking up my mouse wheel. Maybe, try it again. Not doing it now? No. Hmm. I don't know, I probably gotta shorten a wire or something. The online for Senra Kagura is fun, but empty nowadays. Maybe we can try if enough people have the, in the chat have the game. Oh my god. I actually haven't played it, so I don't know. Uh, Blue Flame Mage and Alopex, thank you for the gift subs. Everyone else. Bank Shade for 35. Nessa's, yeah, Nessa Zora 123 for 35. It's Andrew for 31. Mad the Sane for 51. The Trolling Shuckle for 24. Blazing Mike Z for 10. Zillanog for 55. Besadant for 30. Uh-oh, shit. I'm sorry about that. It'll hopefully show up soon. With Squill for 23. The Thrill Up for 51. Garthon 6 for 15. Pyro Muffin 5 for 49. Ariel N for 25. Darchi for 16. Sandman Slim 122 for 26. X370 for 69. Nice. Majora Curse for 10. Is there any, speaking of the hoodies, is there any specific way to wash the hoodies? I don't want to ruin the amazing, this amazing work of art. Uh, I don't know. Uh, just check up. There should be like symbols on the back for like the recommended wash, but like just look up the, uh, whatever the mix is of the uh, materials. I don't have my hoodie on me, so I can't double check that right now. Jiggler Joggler for 67. I'm a Spoon 73 for 51. Origami Gamer for 54. Electric Pickle for 34, VCAT 113 for 40, Proof Gold for 85, Gohan Skywalker for 43. Tag says to wash cold. Well, there you go. Makes sense. Chris Gold. Gohan Skywalker for 43, Gijon Ketchup for 23, Dullahan of Light for 38, Mothra Man 54 for 72, and Brew 12 for 32. Thanks for seven, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. What's in the carton tonight? We got four in here right now. One audio and three video. Pantero starts us off with Egg Wireless. You will give me an Who Wireless. What? You will give me an Who Wireless. Who's wireless? Master Wabbit with You Dare Insult T. Oh no. Oh, I don't insult it, I just don't like it. Uh oh. He's teabagging. Really, John? There's a mic. Really? Not a fan of this? Fair enough. I mean, <laughs> I mean everyone's got their own taste and everything, and, you know, it's not everyone's cup of, um, cup of, ah, shoot, what's the word? Um, I want to say Americano? <clears throat> I appreciate that. Wow, but you have a good voice, too, by the way. You got a good radio voice. Nice on you. Crystallizer with a very worth it minigame. Is this literally the same video again? <laughs> Into the wall? 
they we're just we're just spoiling in. Friday's episode. It doesn't matter how uh, it doesn't matter that you broke it down. You can't get back in there because the original Donkey Kong Country does not let you redo mini games. This is this is just the episode. What you actually need to do, and you can do it as both Donkey Kong or Diddy. Is you pick up the barrel and jump and slide into the wall. You jump over where the wall would break and then slide. This in. is just the episode. Your reward for doing all of that is access to another minigame. Unfortunately, the minigame you unlock for all that work is the worst one in the game. That's it. Game's over. Now, that was, you could have shortened that down a lot, Crystallizer, I'm gonna be real. You could have shortened that down a lot. Also, yeah, maybe don't do, video, specifically for this LP, don't do eggs of the episodes right after. Maybe, maybe wait a couple streams. Princess Skyler with Buru Crab, Crab, Crab. Please. Crab, scare. Crab, Crab. Frighten. Crab 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 all right, we're gonna go to break. When we come back, we're coming back with Senran Kagura, Peach Beach Splash. Get ready for pseudo Splatoon. See you guys in a bit. Hey chat, how's it going? In case anybody was unaware, Popsky dropped a new album. I would definitely check it out. It's on a pre-order. Comes out on my birthday. Ooh, nice. Is that why it's called 28? Yep. Ooh, the birthday Name's probably album. gonna change though. To boot up the PS4 as it's not been on in a while. Let's hope my controller has a charge. I'll be right back. I also have to look at the game. That sounds good. I'm gonna link it up for you guys. The uh, art block theme is on it. And if you pre order it, you get it immediately so you don't have to wait for it. I didn't make anybody wait for it. Ain't you just a good old man? Oh no. I could find it. Uh -oh. Sounds like a dead controller. Or a massive update that the PS4 needs. So then it's not a pre-order? No, it's a pre-order. If you pre-order it, you get a couple songs immediately. You don't get the whole album. You will when the pre-order's up on September 2nd. Ryan, I'm gonna fight you. Just real quick. Don't 
Twitch Prime. <laughs> Twitch Prime. Everybody used it. Twitch Prime. It's free. As long as you pay for Prime. Which, good God, I got my bill for that the other day. I didn't realize it had gotten so flippin' expensive. What? Amazon Prime? <laughs> Amazon Prime. <laughs> yeah, it's like 14 bucks or something now. Oh, well, I paid $129 for the year. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't remember being that expensive. I thought it was like 80 bucks for the year. Shit, I remember when I first signed up for it, it was like 45. Mon fight? No, no, no. I don't, I don't fight my fellow disc lonely. Ah. Ah, okay. If you wanna, you wanna drop hands, go for it. <laughs> put out a physical release of your music. Yes, I have. Uh, I believe they're on Amazon. <laughs> Twitch Prime. <laughs> wonder if they're still in there. Link, if you mean ramen, that'd probably be uh, beef. I have no idea what that even is then. Oh, that's the, isn't that like the marble soda or whatever? I think I've only had a strawberry one. <clears throat> All right, so how goes it? Uh, we have to go. Broken. We have to do my favorite segment, which is we open a package that has not been opened before. Oh. Ooh. So let me turn off the music for a second. Oh, it's ASMR time. Yep. This is the Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash No Shirt, No Shoes, All Service Edition. Includes art book, music CD, Blu-ray, compilation of opening animations from previous games, and bonus DLC content. If you do not know <laughs> what this game is, uh, my first off, my apologies. Because this is, this is very boob. Because it's Senra Kagra. Hey, I'm just going to use my knife to make this easier. I can't show that on stream, technically. He's got a knife! Shoot him up, soak him up. The Senra Kagura series enters a wet and wild new arena. Let the busty water gun battles begin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. There's the plastic being removed. And now we open the cardboard box to be greeted with Heba Rock Party, Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash Art Book 2017. Nara Rock Festival, Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash Original Soundtrack and Opening Animations that are still sealed. And the game itself also still sealed inside the box. If you start making mouth noises, I'm out of here. Can't take this ASMR stuff. I'll knock it off. <laughs> I'll turn the music back on. Well, actually, no. I have to open the actual game now. So I believe this was uh, actually... Uh-oh. <coughs> so 
sorry. And that's why I can't do ASMR. I'm apparently allergic to it. it oh. Hey, so we need a sneezing ASMR. Well, I don't know how loud that was, but my face was definitely at the floor. Not very. Okay, good. Oh, the A and A ASMR is for allergy. I knew it. Ooh. Not very loud? Good, because I got actually away from the microphone in time. And that's the important thing. Ah, uh, it's one of these games where the damn seal is stuck to the spine. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. Leaves a bunch of plastic residue all over it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Sorry, but you need a VTuber avatar to qualify for VTuber sneezes? Well, that's fine. Alright. Well, first off, let's install the game. And make sure we don't get stuck waiting for it to finish. And I guess I'll start downloading- oh, that's some tits. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Becky Star. Appreciate that. There was a DLC code for the game I pulled out, and then the manual for the game was underneath the DLC code, and is literally someone's bikini falling off. Nice. Which was the uh -oh. perfect thing to say as Tom Fox rated that someone's bikini was falling off. Hi, Tom. You've rated for the best game possible. Oh, yes. <laughs> is your audience ready for Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash? Well, they've got 10 minutes because we got to do art block yet, but buckle up. Let's shoot Tom. Oh, Thank you for the raid, Tom. Hopefully your stream was good. We're doing fortune cookie tonight. And we have landed on Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash. It's currently installing, so which means we're gonna go to Art Block here in a bit. I know it's been probably almost two years since this change, but was Tom's raid video changed due to copyright? Correct, it was. Tom, do you know if we're on for disc only on Tuesday? Because I apparently keep forgetting it's on Tuesday. <sighs> He's not in chat? Okay, I figured. And I still asked anyways. Just in case. Just in case I was wrong. There he is. <clears throat> I'm good to do Tuesday. I usually wait for Dan to say something. Fair enough. Let's quickly read Donos, go to Art Block, and then let's 
well, actually, let's name maybe not quickly because it's gonna take a while to install by the looks. Yami Florence says, Hey John, got in a fight earlier with a friend over the vaccine. He was complaining because he was forced to get the vaccine by his school, and I was berating him for not getting it sooner. I'm still angry and need some cute, so have a beefaroo. Well, thank you, Yami. I don't like that the vaccine's being a point that people have to fight over. I hate that that's a thing that's come around from society, but mm. apparently the same thing happened in the 19 in the early 1900s with the the Spanish flu or whatever it was that the last major vaccine was needed for back then. So history repeats itself. And don't be mad at people if they're just now getting it. I mean, to be fair, sometimes the availability just isn't there, or the opportunity to go get it done isn't there. So. Yeah, some people actually can't for various reasons, and if their reasons are valid, then that's fine. But at the same time, I I, I hate anti-vaxxers. I really do. Amen, brother. Amen. Amen. Yeehaw, brother. But this is also not the stream to have that conversation, so I'm not going to yes. have that discussion with people if it comes up. But just know my stance is that. If you can get the vaccine, please get it. It has been tested. All right, Feral Bite says, uh, John, will you be doing the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles later in the year? On stream, no. Uh, and Reese is probably not gonna do it till she actually gets closer to that, because she's still gotta do the other Phoenix Wright game she hasn't touched yet, so. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Ryo9 says, I'm sure you have lots of ideas for video games that haven't been done yet, so let's hear them. If you wanted to get into game dev, it's because you had an idea for a video game that you wanted to make. So let us know. Excite us with your ideas. I mean, I haven't really focused on it in a while, so I, I want to do like a Ninja Gaiden-like. Which shocks no one. It is Ryo. Okay, so I was doing it right, then I started correcting myself. Okay. Because I I was saying Ryo for a while because of, like, Ryo Sakazaki. And then, uh, I thought you corrected me on that, so that's why I've been saying Ryo. I usually say Ryo. So, sorry about that. Warrior Fire says, One thing I have to say is this game and the original Hyrule Warriors have their own strengths. For one, Hyrule Warriors is better at series representation, but Fire Emblem Warriors has the better AI, as your allies can actually do stuff on their own. Yeah, they really didn't have that in the original Hyrule Warriors release. They kind of, they pseudo-added it in when they gave you control over all your AI partners. That was about it. Exactly, the art of fighting dude. Yeah, yeah. That's usually what I, that's why I also say Kyo as well. Or maybe it was someone who said Kyo when I got, and that was what I got corrected on. It was something weird like that. Sorry, Ryo. I immediately said it wrong again. Sorry, sorry, Ryo. Uh, Home Run 1500 says, since it's now 12.30 a.m., my time is officially my 23rd birthday. Time for a celebratory beefaroo for good luck, and thank you for always making my day brighter. Happy birthday, Home Run. Man, everyone's birthday has been these last two weeks. Feels like it. So many birthdays. Speaking of, the real LL64 says, it just hit midnight here in Central Standard Time, so it's now my birthday. Might as well start my first birthday active in this community by following the trend of donating on birthdays. Happy birthday, real LL64. Is it my birthday? No, mine's November 8th. It's nowhere near my birthday. <laughs> Night of Void says, since you won't be streaming tomorrow, now is my chance to get my birthday bits in. <laughs> Happy early birthday, Night of Void. Popsky.bandcamp.com says Twitch Prime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and Insight MSG says, nice to see you playing a bit of Fire Emblem Warriors on stream. It's definitely the best one in the series when it comes to short streams for variety streamers. Even though I love the game, I wound up making a, a pastiche, I think is how you say that, of everything wrong with about said game. It's funny how badly they handle some things. I haven't released it yet, but I'm putting the final touches on it now. Cool. Yeah, no, I heard like, I knew people who liked it. I knew people who were kind of hated it. And generally, I think it's kind of considered like meh on the Fire Emblem list. Or sorry, on the Warriors spinoff list, from what I've heard. I've heard the strongest ones are usually considered Hyrule Warriors 1 and uh, one of the One Piece ones. 
that's usually what I hear thrown around for best Warriors games, but I also don't know how well Age of Calamity was received. So, we'll see. I liked it. Yeah, One Piece Pirate Warriors 3, that's the one I keep hearing about. <coughs> Alright, let's get Art Block all queued up and ready to go, because we are still stalling for time anyways. Age is real good. I played a bit of it. What I played, I liked. I just, you know, never got around to finishing it. You know how it goes. Speaking of goes, let's go to Art Block. And Art Block starts here. Proton Toad. Hear me out on this. John, me, and John's a blue toad is nothing new, but what if it was also an alt? Feel free to correct me if this has always been done, because I just might be an oblivious idiot who doesn't pay attention. I don't think it was done. Hey, John, don't know how far ahead you did 100% orange juice, but why wasn't Chugga's Beaten Sprite a Sticker Star reference? Uh, because I'm not the one who made all the references in the in the sprites. That would be the, the group that made them. Also, uh, I think they held back on purpose because they showed me other pictures. <laughs> and you'll be pleased if that actually gets released. Yeah, no, I don't think there's any alts of Blue Toad, John, so I think you're good there, nerd. But I noticed you also made a essentially a Toadette art alt as well. Rosa Toad. Nice. Rosette? Rosie? Rosa Toadette? I don't know. I would have said Rosette. It works. Thank you, nerd. Next up. <laughs> Next up. Yo, what if I gave Beefaroo a shoe? He seems very confused by the croc you put on his head. Based on this image. Here, let's show the image. I looked at this earlier, so I know it's safe. Cat with croc. Cat with croc on head. Beef with croc on head. <laughs> Was not ready for that. He's very confused. Next up. Hey, John. Sorry I haven't been posting art as of late. I've been working on something on my own stories and projects. Nah, don't be sorry. You shouldn't, you should prioritize, you shouldn't prioritize me over your own works. Thanks, but, but I was in the middle of writing an outline when this happened. Is this a Rosa? Yep, a pixie Rosa. Uh, congrats, John. You now have a half insect Rosa John in the Johniverse. How did this even happen? I don't know. Hey there, it's been a few months since I last posted. The comic above says it all. I do plan to post some more uh, on the Buru a little more frequently, though probably at least once a month. I'll explain more about Rosa pixie in the reference sheet. Also, forgot to mention, I don't know how much of your beard has grown back, so I just kept you clean shaven. I'm back to normal on my beard, but it is getting shaven soon because Rosa needs to reappear at some point, so. It's it's on that threatening chop block. Thank you, Ruh -roh. Lena. Rot row. And the follow-up picture for that. It's actually a really cute design, too. In my own story, people and animals have been cursed into hybrid species called fae. Pixies are specifically half insect, uh, examples like butterflies, ladybugs, grasshoppers, etc. Average head of a pixie is the palm of a human hand, and their diet is similar to most bugs. Despite her size, Rosa Pixie still does have her astronomical cosmic powers. So anyone who tries to mess with her because she's crushing size is in for a rude awakening. Cool. It's a cool design, Lena. Thank you. Don't forget to charge the battery for the makeup drill. Oh, you're right. I gotta go get that done, too. What happens if Rosette pulls on the Super Crown? Wouldn't that just be Rosa John at that point? I feel that's just exactly what that leads to. Thank you, Lena. These are super cute. Next up from Arsene. A dark corruption is spreading throughout the Minecraft verse, and it's up to TRG to beat them down. TRG Corruption Wars is never going to be a movie anyhow. Nice dream. <laughs> Thanks, Arsene. Isn't Pon Pon the result of multiple crowns? Pon Pon's the result of me putting on seven super crowns. It might have been eight, and them short circuiting. So yes, technically. But as long as she doesn't put on eight super crowns, we're fine. Next up, from Princess Skylar. Being the queen of Booba is exhausting. I need a nap. I haven't drawn Rosa for a bit, so here's a small little doodle that I managed to muster up since it's the only thing I had time for. It's been a weird week. A tornado hit my state. Oh, God. During the last stream, too, I was watching it while taking shelter. 
Thankfully, nobody was hurt, but a lot of trees and trash were scattered about. I finished a new song. My brain argued with me to write a song about Rose's boobs, which I'm still arguing with it about. So that's cool. You don't have to do that. Having some emotional issues again out of crippling fear and paranoia, though, so I might take a break from my main media so I can take care of myself. That's a good idea. August Definitely. is going to be a wild time, most likely. I'm going to be 23 on the 15th. And on the 19th, I'm getting my wisdom teeth pulled. Wild events, yep. Now we're having fun stream and also stay hydrated, please. Uh, well, I'm going to warn you now, uh, you're really going to want to rest for getting your wisdom teeth pulled. Because that's what I had to do. Mm-hmm. Same. Mine came in straight. Smile. Mm. Six tornadoes. Jesus Christ, that's insane. Wow. I'm glad you're safe, though, Skylar. Holy shit. From Game Fan. Uh, hello, John. Allow me to present you this drawing of you and the boys. No. If you don't know what this is a reference to, it's a reference <laughs> to that meme of the Spider Man villains side by side. Oh, no. I think I recognize it. I was wondering why this looked familiar. Yeah. Don't know why Emil looks like some punk rock teenager from King of the Hill, but at least it came out kind of close. Also, I drew Beefaroo as the Pigeon logo. Yes, the Diva logo from Overwatch. <laughs> Thanks, game fan. I love it. <laughs> punk from King of the Hill. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> when I think King of the Hill, I think punk rock. Oh, jeez. Next up, from Noir. Beefaroo munching on a candy apple. That's it. I thought it was going to load a little faster. Sorry. Hang on, my 56k modem struggling today. You can hear it winding up. There's a cute little Beefaroo eating the candy apple. That's adorable. Thank you, Noir. Next up from Wolfboy. Super Sentai Space Princess of Glitches, Rosa John. Silver Blaze decided to host an Alt John swap, and I got Rhyme Super Sentai version of Rosa John. The font in the corner is from a Pro Mare font generator. I think Rosa John's Sentai suit came out great. I spent all of Aelita's art stream the other day working on it. It looks good. Good copy of it. Rhyme must really ex be excited about this too if she's seen it. Good shit. Thank you, Wolf Boy. Next up from Game Fan, Beefaroo. Decided to draw Beefaroo in the style of the D.Va logo from Overwatch. I drew it just for fun. Tell me what you think of it. Well, let me look at my chair. Uh, actually, not a bad mimicry of it. Well done. Next up from Modthorn. John, Tim, and, uh, John, Emil, Tim, and Tom. Fighting Jules and a mermaid, which I assume is Adriana. I wanted yeah. to give a shout out to my friend who goes under the pseudonym of Gerald Mountain Dew, who has decided to make special sprite work for Jules and potentially all the music-oriented bosses within the game. I thought it was super cool and I wanted an excuse to show it off, so here it is. Also, I finally finished the final boss music. I've got a link to it if anyone wants to listen to it. I've finally been able to catch an entire John stream today, so I'm happy to finally see a full fortune cookie. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you, Eevee Breeder. Appreciate it. So yeah, so Eevee Breeder has been, or Modthorn really, has been uh, working on an RPG for TRG. Is it, it was a TRPG, I think is what you dubbed it? Yeah, there you go, the tag says TRPG. Nice. And um, there's the team, John, Emil, Tim, and Tom, and there's a nice custom boss spread of jewels. So real quick, just had an idea pop in my head. You ever thought about calling your, uh, like putting clips of your, your fortune cookie on your YouTube channel and calling them crumbs? That's really clever, actually. But we already do uh, weekly real weekly like teasers on Twitter, monthly ones on YouTube, and then the whole vods also go up on the other YouTube channel. So there are already highlights. But crumbs is not is actually a pretty clever idea. Well, now you have a name for the weekly ones. That's I, yeah, that's not a bad idea, honestly. I'll have to keep that in mind. Cheers. From Wolf Boy. Uh, are you okay, Rhyme? You're acting like something's out of the ordinary. She's glowing red. After I showed her the meme, I knew Rhyme was going to try to her try herself with Buff Tan John. I also wanted to try the meme, but I didn't want to use Buff Tan John because she was going to use him. When I asked her who I should use for the meme instead, she said negative. So blame Rhyme for swole negative. The out of the ordinary is the Rhyme was unaware that negative regularly goes to the Buff Tan cave, though he's been going more and more more often and longer than I have been as of late. Buff. Man boob. Buff man boob. Thank you, Wolf Boy. 
What will the pace for the Twitter highlight compilation be, if there are any, of course? Uh, there are two already, if you mean like the Twitter highlight reels on YouTube. It's every three months we put one up, and there's two already up on uh, on the YouTube channel. And the Twitter ones are weekly. I just, because Cole was gone for a week on vacation and I forgot about posting the old one, we're a week behind. Tomorrow I'm putting up the next one, so. Thank you, Wolf Boy. Oh, Rob Leefield. From Yoke the Joke, so idea, disc only but paranormal investigator. Here's ghost hunting only. Can't think of a good name. I mean, that works. Ghosts only? No ghosts only? I'm not fun on the design that I gave Steven. I'll redesign him, but I like how this turned out. This AU is living rent free in my brain. Help. I think I would associate Steven more with green. I think that's why he looks a little off. But uh, everyone else seems fine. You can definitely tell, like, Tom, myself, and Jared. Those work. Also, the, the Vaporeon hoodie is a really nice touch. Well done, Yoke. Uh... Hi, everyone! My bones hurt from drinking some juice and it's bumming me out. Ah, ow, my bones! Bone hurting juice, enough said. Okay, maybe a little more said. You said the why am I here gag has been getting uncreative lately and repetitive, etc. Well, you never said we actually had to try to be funny, so anti-jokes away. <laughs> Well, technically, he's got a point. <laughs> Thanks, Mega Nerd. And we'll end on this one here from Flowery. Flowery, I swear if you start adding your John of Verso season to your main shit, Johannes, Flower with boobs. Cat John has a knife. Flowery seems concerned. Wanted to do something a little self indulgent this time. My years as a Proton Buru artist have made me create eye candy OCs. Johannes is one of them, sadly. Yo, man. You do you, man. Whatever you're, whatever you find you're into, go for it. Fucking go wild. If I could art, I would. Oh no, John, you have bonitis? No, but my only regret is that I do, in fact, have bonitis. We'll get to art block, the rest of the art block later, because now it's time oh, for no. this. Oh boy. All right. So first and foremost, the manual I was talking about, it's that picture. Ooh. It is that picture. <laughs> That one there in the bottom. That was the manual I opened up to, and then I also didn't expect this background. This has PSVR support? <laughs> Fire wow! Up. Okay. I don't have a PSVR. Oh. All right, game's been swapped. Boy, howdy, if you don't like boobs, you might want to leave for the next, like, 40 minutes. Because <laughs> it's time for boobs. Marvelous. Senri Kagreg knows, knows exactly what it's about, and it's boobs with surprisingly good gameplay, usually. Normally, Senri Kagreg games are very comparable to uh, Warriors games. But uh, this is a spin-off. Where it's essentially, I think, is this, is this a 4v4 team-based water gun combat game that's kind of like Splatoon, but more focused on KOs? That's what I remember hearing when the game was originally originally talked about. Let's go to the Peach menu. This is some pretty funky music. Human beings, says the moon. All of our lives will eventually come to an end. Wow, this is not the direction I expected. No matter what steps one takes, there is no way to avoid the fated day. But hope persists. And there comes a long and peaceful silence. Shinobi. Shinobi. With their superhuman training, do they still accept the coming of that silence? Or will they refuse to give in? PBS. PBS. Peach Beach. I just wanted him to say it. Peach Beach Splash. Since ancient times, the Shinomi world has held this mysterious sacred water gun competition. The rules are simple. Rule one. All shinobi may enter. The good, the evil, the renegades, even the dead. Wow. 
Rule two. Victory or defeat depends on only one thing, the Shinobi's skill with tournament approved water guns. Rule three, Shinobi are strictly prohibited from using their special skills. Apparently this series has five timelines, wow. The story you were about to witness is a record of young Shinobi students having fun in the water. The white beach extends into infinity. What kind of trail will these girls leave behind? That is still yet to be known. I assume it is a water trail based on the water guns. These are exactly the hosts I would expect for a water gun tournament. All right, here we go. Peach Beach Splash. Let's shorten it down. PB Splash. Or we could even shorten it down to PBS. So many mountains, so many peaches. All the crossfire will get everybody sopping wet. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, we're starting off the lewd jokes already. Come on, though, they'll help you relax. You can't win if you're not gonna be all if you're gonna be all stiff. Unless you're watching through the monitor right now, because then you're gonna be get all stiff for sure. Wow. Of course, we don't want the event to be too hard on our students, but. You're overthinking, Mr. K. Now, due to the abnormal weather we've been having, it's still the height of summer, and our girls are ready to have a little fun. So let's bring them on. Oh, I love new tube. All right, team, fire off those messages. There they go. So now live, let's peek into the girls' everyday lives. Here we go. <laughs> Fuck off. The show is brought to you by Marvelous Inc. Creating new entertainment by delivering surprising emotions to the whole world. Miranda Sponsono. <laughs> All right, there is single splash, multi splash, training, shop, library, dressing room, and showers and settings. Well, something tells me I may want to practice. I know some people said they wanted to see if we could play online if we had enough players, but I don't know how many people actually own this game. So we get pet cards, car This is just Gundam, isn't it? There's cost per character. Oh my god, I think that's exactly what it is. Holy shit. Is this just Big Titty Water Gun Gundam? If you play the story mode, I'll tell you how to play. All right, well then I'll jump to I'll jump to that then. Enjoy your kitty pool. Oh boy. And censored. Everybody seems to be having fun. Not that we can enjoy a pool on the roof in midwinter. Oh, it's winter? Okay, I figured that was. I figured they were talking like mid fall or something. These peaceful days are what we shinobi should protect. Yes, I believe the same way. But... 
Something wrong? Not that I find this peace and tranquility dissatisfying. But just a bit. Just a tiny bit. Kind of bit? I think, wouldn't it be nice to have a few thrills again? And then... An arrow appeared. <laughs> Fuck your barbecue! Fuck your nap. <laughs> Fuck your carnival. <laughs> Dramatic grandma look. Tall guessing girls Academy Shinobi students. At this rate, these strangely hot days will eventually wake the sleeping mountains. So it is a shinobi's duty to cool them down. I cordially invite you all to PBS. You will all be watching Sesame Street. <laughs> I sense a thrill waiting for us, or so I feel at least. Let's go, everyone! Despite the appearance, this is actually a pretty deep team shooter if you're willing to put in the hours. This is gonna actually get the VOD muted! La 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 la! Where the fuck is my screen? There it is! La 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 la! Sorry. We should be fine now. I think the song- I think it's the song that's the issue and not the actual cutscene, I forget. Marvelous is- I've had to remove Senran Kagura stuff before, I believe. I think, uh, Peach Ball had some issues, so I'm just going to assume- Just enjoy all this- you know what, Popsky here, I'm gonna put on your Eurobeat. This, this is definitely Eurobeat Sweet. music. Here's hoping it's the music and not the, um... Video. The visuals, yeah, the video. Fitting! You smirk while you pretend not to see anything. That's what I like about you. <laughs> Never seen a sun this hot until now, these lyrics, Jesus Christ. That feeling when you want to meet that special someone. Change to love, keep on changing, aiming straight for your heart. My heart's bursting right out of my chest, that's not what's bursting out. Please accept it with both hands. Get a better tailor. Chasing after the bright rainbow, my darling. My devotion to you is burning hot. My devotion to you is burning hot. And then they posed. Oh, look who's back. Sorry, it looks like our mics picked up a little chatter just now. Apologies for that. You have to be the host, I'm sorry. They're riding the rainbow to the beach! <laughs> Ninja rainbow! Yes, zoom in there, please. Thank you. Ugh. Pretty sure that youthful aroma was already here, right next to you. <laughs> She's really fucking jealous. Ooh! Maybe, but it might have been a little ripe. <laughs> Let's get back on topic. Your broken ribs. What are the girls up to in the arena? Hey, 
Was that the arena? Oh, they're they're standing on the beach, looking at their phones. Wondering why they all wore the exact same bikini, apparently. So where exactly are we? Are we just over by the riverbed? Yeah, we don't know either. Do we know who sent that arrow? Someone powerful enough to teleport this many people. So no ordinary person, obviously. I'm not really seeing still images. Is there something wrong with the monitors? Come on, staff, get on it! Alrighty, we're having some technical difficulties. I hope nobody splashed the equipment. Seriously, though, why aren't I competing? Anyone else hear voices? Yeah, who are those being? Why are there cameras? Are we being filmed? So many questions. Welcome to the next PBS Drive. Because Roger, explain what PBS is all about. Make sure to clean those ears out and listen. Welcome to PBS. I'm your MC, Mr. K. That was a good mister. Damn. Held that one real well. It's Master Kiria. Yeah, I'm and that's Master Suzune alongside him. Our identities are rule compliant, so no comment. <laughs> Incidentally, anyone who questions our identities again will be issued a smaller swimsuit. That will be an issue. I guess that's one way to get them to shut up. Alright then, Mr. K, explain PBS to our contestants. Ladies, you're the new stars of PBS, also known as... Also known as Peach Beach Splash. Simply put, it's a water gun tournament. To go into more detail, it's a water gun tournament. <laughs> squirt away, squirt away, and squirt away some more. A water gun tournament? Why do we need to bother with that? It's super fun for contestants and viewers alike. Doesn't that get you all motivated? We were summoned here by force. We deserve at least one good reason. Well, there are other reasons, but let's get to those bit by bit. <laughs> Anyways, nobody can leave this island until PBS is over. Whatever happens, you gotta make it happen. <sighs> I see. I guess we don't have a choice, do we? But if Master Kiria is involved, this must be at least kind of educational, right? Yeah, very educational. Yes, I would think so. Wow, they've they just accept it. Thanks, Ikaruga. While you're on this island, you can only fight with water guns! This is a water gun tournament, so no secret ninja arts. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> the staff is saying to wrap it up, because we're already what? We've been on this game for 17 minutes! Oh my god. Let's go ahead and start our opening match. Check it out! Check it out! On the deck edit screen, highlight a card and press X to sw Okay, cool. Opening battle episode one. Grip softly to squirt. Ooh. Here we go. 
Press R2 to fire your water gun. Shoot down the training dummy. So I'm remembering, this isn't the first time we've played this, is it? This is the first time we've played this. Hang on, I gotta reload. I feel like I've been on stream with you playing this before. We have played Senran Kagura uh, Peach Ball a couple times. But not uh, not this game. I, Mitch, I literally opened this on mic. <laughs> that's true, that's right. I'm, I'm half asleep. <laughs> you are absolutely right. I have no idea what's going on. Well, I'm reloading my water gun, obviously. This is how you reload water guns. Uh-huh. Yeah, you just go faster and faster until the gun explodes from friction burn. <laughs> right. Don't read into that. Oh, dear God. No, I can't read, so. <laughs> to be fair, I read that in chat. Press and hold okay. X in the air to use the jet. And uncircle for a jet dash. You almost need to play like Mario Sunshine music on this game. Yeah, it feels like it. Press square <laughs> to perform a melee attack! Oh, I thought we weren't allowed to use ninja arts. How can I use my fan? Is that regulation? Come on, is that fan regulation? Apparently it is. In PBS, cards take the place of ninja arts. There are many types of cards. Try using the D-pad. Used accuracy down. Use power wave. Use shot damage down. Use barrier break. Mission complete. <laughs> Evil is destined to perish. Melee attacks aren't really ninja arts? I mean, I guess. I'm still summoning tornadoes with my fan, though. If we have the fight, I'm sticking to swords. Like I said, that's a no-no. Only water guns can decide a match. That's the rule. Technically, you can sometimes get away with other kinds of attacks. We know you've been trained to fall back on certain reflexes, but there are penalties for overdoing it. See, Homura? If you want to win, you gotta hold it in. Alright, fine. Look, don't think about it too hard. Just go with it and have some fun. Y'all excited for a little summer fun! You almost made me spit take. <laughs> Total of 100 tips appear on these loading screens. Hey, like it so far, ladies? Not exactly what you're used to, but not that tough, right? I mean, I've only done one tutorial so far, so... It's surprisingly agreeable, once you loosen up for it. As we go through PBS, we'll find out who's the strongest and the wettest. Ah, strongest and wettest? Just hearing that makes me wet. It would be Riona. It would be her. Shut up, dumb bitch! <laughs> We're talking! Ooh, that's some spicy oh. language, jeez. Wow, okay. Anime. Of course, there is a prize at the end. A prize? The team who becomes number one. Batman. <laughs> ba -na 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 Batman. You'll win the one thing you want most of all in the world! Actual clothing? Oh, so this is Twisted Metal, got it. So amazing! <laughs> yeah, this is Twisted Metal Gundam Splatoon! Jesus! <laughs> the one thing I want most of all? Does that mean anything I want? Of course, anything is A-OK! -okay. They're all very gullible, aren't they? 
Rosa can finally win pants. Finally. You name it. New house, new car, fame, real estate. I don't know if this is real or not, but it's sure getting crazy. Twisted gun splitty. Yeah, that's that works. Did that say squirmy finish? Opening battle, episode two, wet hype. That's the name of my next album. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now she's got swords. Jeez. Turn auto aim on and off with L1. Interesting. Press R1 to change your firing mode. Use any method to defeat the moving training dummies. Oh shit! Okay, so I've got a three shot burst now. So I've got spread shot, full automatic. I. Yeah, there's a, actually like a lot of mechanics here. This game is secretly good. Hmm, I hadn't thought this all a game, but it may be more than that. Yeah, the rules are plain and simple, but the strategy is actually pretty deep. <laughs> PBS is actually very deep. See, now it's getting good, right? But then, why must the game be played in swimsuits? What are you even asking? That's the most important part. Uh huh. Swimsuit, soaking wet, tension max. Do you? I'm glad he said all that in English. I didn't realize it. Mr. Kiria is really cutting loose, isn't he? I imagine he's been holding it all in for quite some time. Let, let's let him have this. Okay. If the bikinis are getting to be too much, there's always the dressing room. There's a fair amount of actual clothing you can buy in the shop. The girls also have their usual default outfits unlocked by default. Oh, well, cool. Do you understand? <laughs> Without me. All the girls contribute to the shop. This turn is being streamed live on YouTube. You mean that Shinobi exclusive video streaming service? <laughs> exactly, this is your chance to showcase your skills to Shinobi around the world. I'm streaming in a streaming. I'm streaming on another streaming site. I think I might get in trouble. OMG, we're live? I guess that's why there's like cameras all over and stuff. Doesn't that make the water steam right off you? It's okay, it's okay. It's fine to get all fired up. Just cool yourself off with those water guns. Fired up or not, I'm not sure about this being filmed live. Indeed, but nonetheless, you must represent the name of Gessen. Gotta represent their school. Shop 1. Up until now, Ayame's been the only one running the shop, but since the merchandise expanded, she's been... Opening Battle Episode 3, live via NewTube. Complete the tutorial. Go! 
Oh shit, I got a teammate, and she's got a fucking bazooka! Nice. If you get hit with enough water attacks, you'll enter soaking wet power-up mode. You will then have unlimited water in your tank for a little while. Approach a KO'd ally and hold square to rescue them. Dude, I actually kind of hate how this actually seems really competent. It actually seems like it has solid mechanics. <laughs> Wait. Wait just a minute. If the world's watching, then they're seeing us all in our swimsuits. Of course, it'll be streamed to its fullest in 4K. They'll see your skin so clearly they can make out the pores. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, no, 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 that's too embarrassing. 4K, so they'll even see the little wrinkles on my face. <laughs> Camera team, do not zoom in on my face. You got that? Never. If you ever dare to try, your life will be in danger. <laughs> Master Suzune looks ready to kill. Jump on the default settings. Oh, I almost had it. Well, you sure know how to handle a water gun. Is this really your first time, young maidens? Yeah, just leave it sit there for a while. <laughs> What's up all of a sudden, Miss R? Why are you splashing me? It's my first time too. Look how well I handle it. So that means I'm still a young maiden, right? Isn't she like only in her 20s? She does not seem that old, but again, anime. Mm. Yeah, she's 27! <laughs> yeah, someone said 27, someone said 29. I am a young maiden, right? <laughs> yes, you're the youngest maidenest! <laughs> so that's all forgiven, let's move on to the next match! Ready, go! Get me out of here, please! <laughs> Advanced accessory settings. On the dress-up screen, highlight an accessory and press triangle. Opening battle episode 4, a young 27-year-old. Well, I guess that answers that question. She's, in fact, 27. When your HP in the upper left corner drops by half, a barrier will appear automatically, making you briefly invulnerable. Take advantage of it. When your HP drops to zero, you'll automatically use a heart on yourself. No hearts, no coming back. So we have lives. Roach enemy to perform a squirmy finish! If you succeed, your card gauge will fill up faster for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I 
This is one of those times where I wish my camera oh. was on so you could just see the slow turn towards the camera I just did. Yeah, uh, I was like, I, I'm this whole time, like, I wish you could see my face because my face has just been like, what in the fuck is going on? <laughs> Okay, what the hell is he leaning on? Is his scarf like holding him he, up? He, no, he's just really flexible. He's a JoJo, basically. He's got some good core muscles there, then. What's holding his scarf up, then? Because it's sitting under his arm. Uh, pure spite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drench you, get ready. It is I who will drench you. Your face will run with tears. Sorry, but nope, I'm gonna get drenched. Everybody, give me everything you've got. Do we need to go over the rules again? Don't even waste your breath, Mirai. She's a slave to her own desires, and there's no talking her out of it. Splish, splash, smush, smash. I'm not reading that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> She's actually kind of terrifying if you look at it, right? Yeah, no, she's she's a, a masochist because we saw her in uh, the pinball game. She was like that. The battle will soon begin in earnest. Does everyone fully understand the rules? Uh, I do have one fairly important question. Sorry, I didn't see you there. You want to know more about my relationship with Mr. K, right? <laughs> no, I want to know the purpose of PBS. Please explain to these girls exactly what our relationship is. What? No, I asked about... Well, when you put it that way, aren't we just two fellow commentators? Uh-uh, they want to know more about us than that. I want to know, too. <laughs> now, spell it out already. We can't wait forever, you know. Uh, let's quickly move on, shall we? <laughs> that didn't answer my question at all. Of course. Switching characters. When you highlight a character during customization, press X to switch to that character. I read a full tip! Oh my god! You did it! I finally got oh through shit. one! Opening battle, episode 5. The point of it all. Defeat the training enemies. Oh, we got a full team now. Oh, there's our remaining target. Shit. Fucking I'm manual aiming. Oh, I can move and charge. Hell yeah. There you go. <laughs> Let me use my six katanas. She did it. She normally has seven. All right, so let's see. There's dualies. There's the splatter shot. There's a silence pistol and there's a bazooka.
And I think we j yeah, we just finished the tutorial because we got the trophy for it. The higher you stack your up your wins, the more you're guaranteed to grow. In what contexts, please? Yeah, I can get behind that. Guess we're moving on to the main event. All right, we won't lose. I'm afraid you'll have to, seeing as how you're competing against us. We have no choice but to face the competition and our own anxieties. Let's see which team gets the last laugh. Let's all have a fair fight. You have no idea. <laughs> well, we got a lot of illustrations. Jumni, I have to ask, have you played this before? I know it's on Steam as well. At least I think someone in chat was saying that earlier. We have been playing this for 38 minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> Since you're already wet and ready to go, we'll have to you squirt it out in Peach Beach Splash. And this tournament is called P1 Grand Prix. As preliminaries and finals, win as a team and claim your prize. Feel free to run wild with or without your tops or bottoms. Down, boy. Down. You're a teacher. No, keep your bottoms on. In fact, protect them with your life. Mr. K, try not to get carried away. I would slap him with the hand at this point. Don't look at me like that. I can't have a PBS if you're gonna make me shrivel up in fear, you know, shrivel. Ugh. I didn't mean to actually skip that, I was hoping pause would bring up the menu to go back here. So I think I just skipped the cutscene, fuck. Oh well. That's as far as we we're gonna get anyways, so. Alright, well that was the thing. Sure yeah. was. Damn it. Now I can't say it too. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Oh, Jummy said. What did Jummy actually say? I didn't see Jummy's message. Yeah. I have on Steam and yes, some might, someone might grow at some point. My God. All right. And with that, Let's go to the cookie. I can't believe that actually had good gameplay. I know Senra Kagura is known for, was it, they're, they're like, we want to make a horny game, but with actually good gameplay, but I didn't expect them to make a basically wet t-shirt game and have it actually play well. I'm still confused. I just wish we'd actually had gotten to play some multiplayer of it. But tutorials. All right, back to the cookie. What are your game choices, guys? Mitch, take it away first. I'm sticking with my previous choice, which was uh, TMNT on Game Boy. All right, TMNT 2, back from the sewers. For the Game Boy. Popsky. All right, so I asked the general chat in Discord if anybody would like one of their games to be picked, because I'm gonna give them a choice. Okay. I Blue Revolver on Steam. Ooh. That's a good shmup from what I've heard. That is a Riptide's choice. Or Shadow War in on Twitch. Okay. So we've got Team T2, Back from the Sewers, Blue Revolver, and the following five games. Starting with game number one. I actually can't do that at the moment. I am sorry. Unless someone can send well, me an man. ISO very quickly. Looks at Juker. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not because of DMCA. It's because I, when I actually streamed Pepsi Man originally, I uh, actually had someone else's PS2 to do that. Oh, actually I'm being told we might actually be able to do this. So I'll throw it on there. 
Game number two. Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition on Steam. Oh yeah. Game number three. Metal Arms glitch in the system for the GameCube. I was about to comment that the last two games are both games we've beaten on stream before, but this one bucked the trend. <laughs> Game number four. Spy Hunter for the 3DS. And was that? So that's four. Okay, so last game. Vert. <laughs> Please tell me that's not another anime game. I, I can't do Virtue's Last Reward. It's the second game in the series. It's the second game in the series. Should I just make it 999? Should I just change it to 999? I'm seeing a ton of yeses. Yeah, I'm not surprised. All right. What's the full title? Is it 999, nine doors, nine hours, nine lives, or something like that? Nine persons, That's a nine, lot of nine doors, nine, nine lives. Nine hours, Cats nine persons, nine them. doors. 99 nights. Sorry, right. I actually typed in the word nine instead of typing, just hitting the nine key. Uh, all right, so nine, 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 nine hours, nine persons, nine doors for the DS, also known as the, oh shit, what is the actual series called? Is the series called Virtue's Last Reward or is the series called, um, no, Zero Time Dilemma is the third game. What is the actual name of the Zero Escape series? Thank you. All right. This is a stacked list. I have a feeling I know what's gonna win, but I've been surprised eight, before. Here, let me let me throw that off screen because we're not using that one. Eight. Eight. Pulls eight, up. Eight, I. You know what? I'm not voting on this one because I have no eight, fucking eight, clue which one of these eight, I want to play. These are again all pretty good games. Blue revolver. All right. Pulls up. Currently in the lead. Exploit, you wanna you wanna jump over there? These have been I'm not gonna lie, the cookies tonight have been exceptionally stacked. Yes, they have. Insert joke about Senran Kagura here. Uh yeah, no, these have actually been like all really good games tonight. I'm legitimately surprised. Pepsi Man, currently in the lead, 181 votes, 43% of the vote. 999, nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. 121 votes, 27% of the vote. Blue Revolver, 40 votes, 8% of the vote. Team and T2, back from the sewers, 40 votes, 8% of the vote. Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition, 30 votes, 6%. Metal Arms, Glitch in the System, 20 votes, 4%. Spy Hunter for 3DS, 10 votes, 2%. 505 votes clock so far. Pepsi Man currently leads 217 to 143. It is not a mercy kill yet. So we're actually gonna run the timer. One minute. I hate that both Blue Revolver and Metal Arms were on this list because both of them I really like, says Shadow War. They were sabotaged by the cookie. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> All right, Pepsi Man currently 228 to 150. It's a pretty strong lead, to be honest. It could be beaten if there's a push for 999, if there's any Zero Escape fans. But Pepsi Man is a pretty strong choice. Is there one more game after this? Correct, that we are doing a fifth uh, a fifth game tonight, don't worry. I paused for a second because I forgot what game two was already. <laughs> it's been one of those nights, folks. It has. When will you play Wheel of Fortune for the DS on YouTube? Isn't it the same game as the Wii one? Probably not gonna happen. Sorry, Morgan. But what is gonna happen is we're about to play Pepsi Man. For the PS1. Pepsi Man. Pep Pepsi Man. A game that has no right being as fun as it is and as stupid as it is. <laughs> Pepsi for TV game. Pepsi for TV game. My Pepsi. My choice. 
All right, let's drop some eggs. Pepsi for pizza. Messaged me with Pepsi. Blue Flame Mage and A Lopex, thank you for the gift subs. Bank Shade for 35. Nessa's. Wait, isn't this the last list? Yeah, Zillanox on there. Didn't I? I did read this list. Did I click the wrong one? No, this is the wrong list. Blaze 1013 for 47, Faded Soul Joker for new, Polka Dude 14 for 82, Kirby War 18675 for 3, Freeze! Caesar 24 for 50, Random Guy 5850 for 34, Egg Love for 12, Cool Al for 60, Caesar 24 gifting out a sub to Dang It Bobby, Flawnberry for 15, Pretty Pink One for 58, Afro Blade Master for 88, Neko, Neko Hotaru for 7, Spo Tulip gifting a sub to Purple Fire Kitty 12, Gentleman Lucas for 13. Thanks for seven, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. What do we got in the carton? Corona played this game, but the VODs are gone. That's weird, because Pepsi Man is definitely not... It's VOD safe. We've streamed it before, and it's still on YouTube, too. And Corona mainly streams on YouTube, right? Uh, and of course I dropped the lid for my water. Uh, cool out with Shantae drops in on John. Boss. And well, I guess I don't need the the weight this time. You know, normal stuff. Ta-da! Uh, still with what is even this stream? You will. G what? Wait! What? Ho! What? Hey! Ho! Ha! <laughs> so many reuse being shot tonight. That's what I'm talking about. Chaos Eater 66 kills Ryu with kindness and bullets. This is actually a double Ryu. Uh, hi, John. Remember how a few months ago I was a contractor at my job? Well, now I'm a full-time employee, which means more pay and better benefits. Here's to your community to be so awesome and supportive. Yo, congrats, Chaos Eater. Holy shit. Indeed. Congratulations. Full-time from contractor. That's always a good bump. Hell yeah. Glad to know you enjoy your job, too, if you're willing to take that, that pay increase. Thank you for the double Ryu. Uh, still with, what is even this stream? You will give me a Something disappointing. <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> no, this is a good game. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Egg. I have no idea. Uh, Nico says the VODs that are gone. That was quick. That was quick. It still works fast. The VODs are gone because of HoloLive panicking over a copyright strike last year. They went and privatized everything, or privated everything from before a certain date, and are, if I still remember correctly, still manually getting copyright for each game before unprivating them. Ooh. Fair enough. Oof, though. Cole with... Hi. This is horrifying, Cole. I Cole, this, this is horrifying. <laughs> Absolutely horrifying. Good, he just says in chat, good. <laughs> Princess Skyler with how many do I gotta bonk? All right. How many people am I got to bonk into horny jail? Not with an aluminum bat, please. Ouch. That's more like wh horny did. HB Bouncy 64 with Senran Cogger experience in a nutshell. 
All right. So according to today's fortune cookie, we're now playing Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash, which is apparently a game that has a lot of emphasis on big honker dunkers. All right, well, uh, just to see how ridiculous this game is with its showing of boobs, and just as a fun challenge, I'm just gonna grab my water bottle here. Oh no, and not a every drinking time challenge. I feel uncomfortable, I'm gonna take a sip of water. That bottle's empty. How bad could this possibly be? <laughs> We're not even five minutes in! <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't do drinking games with chat. <laughs> Uh, oops. And we've looped. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go to break. When we come back, Pepsi Man for the PS1. See you guys in a bit. Alright, I hate to do this, but I have to dip. That's fair. Okay. Go get some rest. I'm sleeping like a regular human, so might as well what? keep doing that. Yeah, I hate it too. Go get some rest, buddy. Take it easy. Later. Thanks for having me on. No worries. Bye, chat. Alright, so let me get Pepsi Man ready. Well, the real question is, do I have a PS1 emulator that can that is set up right now? Because I don't normally emulate. I would, I would normally just use my actual copy. Actually, a better question. Where the fuck did I put my controller? Oh, I put it back on the turtles machine. Burb. You're right back. Husky. <laughs> you mean overclocked console? Technically, if we're arguing the gray area of emulation, I can actually say I can legally play this game because I have a copy of Pepsi Man and I definitely made a legal backup that I somehow misplaced and have now refound. <laughs> what the fuck? How do I have a port taken up by that? Oh, it's because of Rosa. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Would Pepsi Man work on a 60 gigabyte PS3? I already tried that. Uh, unfortunately, it's region locked. PS3 games aren't, re well, no, actually no, PS3 games are region locked, technically. Uh, but PS1 and PS2 games are still region locked. So it knows it's not a Japanese PS3. Trust me, that's the first thing I tried. I'm sorry, why is this happening? That's a big well, bomb. I look forward to meeting you people again. That's a very big bomb. Thank you! I I'm eating like an almond bar. <laughs> Thank you, Shy Arctic Fox, for the fucking 50 gift sub bomb. Holy shit. What kind of almond bar do you buy? Uh, Nature Valley. They taste different. So here's the thing. It's I, I've tried the American brand and I've tried the Canadian brand. There's a definite difference. And I like the Canadian one more. The American one tastes drier, for lack of a better term.
like the let's go hype over Nature Valley branded almond bars. Okay, let's see here. Oh, yeah, what did I use for... That should be set up. Controller. I just realized Canada is playing the U.S. in women's beach volleyball right now. Wow. We did it. We brought everything together. It all makes sense now. Fine, jeez. <laughs> Can't get rid of me that easily. Well, chat, since I'm the only one here at the moment, how are y'all doing tonight? Oh, well, good luck with the job interview. Horror movie. Horror movie. Yeah, horror movies aren't really my bag. I'm not really like into that intense stuff. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? The streak lives. The streak I can't, lives. You got saved by Popsky leaving, of course. <laughs> of course yeah. So okay, I need an explanation about this. What what is this streak? Uh, uh, Trey has been on for the past like three streams. This is I think stream four for him now in a row. Holy hell. Yeah, and the current streak, I think, for Cocom is five in a row? It's six. It is six? Okay, we actually established it's six. Yes, I looked. I crushed the numbers, looked, looked at the data. <laughs> I've done the math. <laughs> oh, God, this is so silly. All right, well, I need to buy a minute here, so let's quickly read the donos we haven't hit. Uh, I think this is point five. No, this is four. I mean, we're getting technical with the halves, but I think even that happened with Popsky, too. Princess Amelia says, Good gameplay and boobs. What more could you want from a video game? That's a good point. Random guy says, What? <laughs> <laughs> Captain Joe says, Sup, John. After being on my wish list, I finally got myself a Switch, and it didn't take long for me to get the handle of it. Cool. 
Also clarify, Southern Wisconsin got hit up to 10 tornadoes last Wednesday night slash Thursday morning. Fortunately, no injuries. Holy shit. What the yeah, fuck? Ridiculous. Joking Mass says, the reason Suzune is sensitive about her age is due to the sexist as hell trope of Christmas cake, which means typically Japanese men would find a girl less desirable after she turns 25. Stupid as hell, honestly speaking. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. I definitely do not agree with that. Uh, nine, 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 nine. Tips eight, 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 and says, wait, wrong number. <laughs> Uh, Deep Dragon says, I made a game search feature for a reason, you know. <clears throat> it's literally the input below the roll slash add slash skip buttons. It's a fuzzy search, too, so you don't have to be exact. Made it for COCOM choices, but 999 would have been a super easy search with it. Yeah, I just couldn't remember the subtitle. I want, I could have just wrote 999 in there, Deep. Don't worry. And I got your message. You Don't sweat it. Vale Leaf says, how everyone doing with their, poke pro with their Proton John Bingo card? I, I am only missing six spaces to fill it up. What six are you missing? Uh, Don's Array says, John just used RetroArch. I'm trying to stay away from RetroArch at the moment. And the problem is, I was missing the, the uh, Japanese BIOS, so I actually have to get that set up. So RetroArch would have also still thrown that error. Why are you sticking away from RetroArch? There's a current controversy right now about the devs of RetroArch having uh, dealt someone to die from suicide. Or it, like, actively encouraging harassing them. So, kind of as a point of protest, I'm trying to stay away from using it. Which, uh... Unfortunately, I did have to use it for the video that's going up tomorrow, because I'd already pre-recorded it, but, yeah. Kinda... Kinda trying to stay away from that. So out of out of if I can help it, I'm gonna stay away from using RetroArch. But was that the thing with the Hegan Dev? I believe that is the same thing, Sly Guy. Yeah. Yeah, it was related to Bu aka Nier. That's that's the same thing. Apparently, I I haven't read up all of it, but there were a bunch of people specifically pointing out RetroArch devs were a part of it. So. I don't care if anyone else uses it, it's just a personal protest thing for me. You haven't owned a PS1 with a parallel port. I do have a PS1 with a parallel port. Uh, I have one that's actually modded, but it's not hooked up. Because the only thing I need it for is Pepsi Man. So... It, I haven't set it up for that very reason. Any chance of seeing you at Calgary Expo in September? I don't feel comfortable going to Calgary Expo yet. So, um, that's going to be a no for me. Sorry, Lunatic Fringe. I'm set here. I'll load up art block here in a minute. I just need to double check something. From what I heard, I'll be probably be locking down again real soon. Oh, they're gonna. They're gonna avoid that if they can. I'm not happy with my government at the moment. I don't, I don't want to keep bringing things down, so I'm not gonna dig, dig into it right now. Let's just say there's a lot of things I'm very upset about in real life that are out of my control. Which sucks. And neither are Americans! Bonding material! Hooray! No, no. <laughs> no, right now, I, I normally I don't mind complaining, but right now I feel like I want to just cheer you guys up. I don't want to bring the mood down. 
So let's have some fun. And that's why we're playing some motherfucking Pepsi Man. Then another Ryu show decided to show up. Shush, shush. <laughs> Is it gonna auto recognize or am I gonna have to do some finagling? I'm probably gonna do some finagling. Finagle away. Finagle in. As long as you don't finagle out, you're good. Perfect. Oh shit, which number is that supposed to be? Get a feeling something you want to do might have been a little too complicated for what you want to do. Life story. Life story. Just want to play a fun video game. Mmm, that sound. I did not grow up with a PS1. I grew up with one, but all I ever played on was Final Fantasy VII, and that's all I ever think of when I hear that sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to go to my cousin's place and play uh, Final Fantasy VII, so I also associate that sound with that game. All right, no, we got it. It's good. Sweet. Okay, so let's go to Art Block and then we can play some Pepsi Mon. Art Block starts with me shuffling everything around here. Last piece we showed last time we ended on was that. So let's start on this one from Shy Dispatch. Rosa hoodie, standalone. With glasses, hoodie pulled, with shorts, and tights underneath. Cool. Rosa hoodie, big fatties. You get big, size one, two, three, four. Busty, the rest aren't shown. Extra busty, the rest aren't shown. All bust, very shown. From Shy Dispatch. Wait, it's literally been a year since I first teased this. <laughs> Uh, complications working on the big mod aside, figured with everyone getting their own their hoodies that I'd work more on this and showcase what to expect. The standalone version of the mod that's just a purely normal and on its own, I just updated. Now with a hood and with and without glasses, as well as pants. For the outfit's exclusive to the update of my big mod that's still in the works, so not available yet and probably won't be for a while still. We'll feature plenty of sizes for those sad, uh, the real thing doesn't quite embiggen you. With five sizes for the clothing and four variations for the hoodie, resulting in 20 various hoodies to choose from. Hope you all enjoy. Link to the standalone normal version of the hoodie for Starbound is down here. Cool. Shy, holy shit, I forgot you were even doing this. I knew you were working on your mod, like the big mod, but like, I forgot you completely were working on porting this. This is awesome, holy shit, thank you so much. Well done on this, hell yeah. From Ditto, let me in, let me in! <laughs> How it felt when trying to get inside the map store. P.S. Forgive me for my bad handwriting. I can read what it is, you're fine. Thank you, Ditto. Next up, from Pantero. Inspired by the Jonagan recolor of Morrigan made in Darkstalkers, I was inspired to make a Lilith counterpart, Rosalith. For a few reasons, one being Morrigan and Lilith have their connection, and the other is a quite on brand. I should have known it was a gif. Yeah. I should have known it was a GIF. 
I thought. Weird that it's not actually like, I thought it was gonna be like an animation style on Idol Cycle. So I'm like, oh, then maybe it's, it can't just be a still image, right? No, it was a GIF. I thought my Discord had crashed. He went so quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, I got caught off guard, <laughs> as you can imagine. <laughs> He was, he was given that look again. And the other yeah. is quite an on-brand reason that should be made clear by the time John's read this part of the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Pantera. Clever, clever. Booba. For context, that is something that happens to Lilith in-game. That's true. Jedda, of Jedda and Jedda Law Services, has a move where he can pump his opponents full of too much blood, inflating them in some way. Fortunately, the character whose boobs get inflated happens to be linked to the character John messed with in the character creator, so it's a natural fit. Sprites taken from Darkstalkers 3 and recolored fittingly. Yes, these are actual sprites taken from Darkstalkers. This is not, other than the color change, not a modification. That is actually a thing that happens in Darkstalkers 3. God damn it. Well played, Pantaro. Holy shit. The worst part is, I was looking down, I didn't notice it. I'm like, wait, what? I see like a flashing of the corner of my- Oh, it's Big Titty. Well, as I say, for me, like, I looked off screen and all of a sudden you went dead silent. I was like, what's go- Oh. <laughs> I'm a master of timing in Booba. Well done, Pentaro. Well done. Next up, from Arsene, decided to make Hollow Rosa for you tonight, John. Love your work and hope you have a good stream. There's a pie crew for Hollow Knight characters? That's neat. Cool. Or pick crew. I keep saying pie crew. The crew. Next up from Grease Lightning. The largest beast in all the Hollow Nest. Its name is Rosa the Giant. She has laid waste to armies, carved the land, and tamed the stars. Though her sense of self is long gone, her purpose long beyond served, and her form grown to the sky, she still bears the dignity of a knight. Here's my take on a Rosa ult for Hollow Knight, a giant boss that is hidden away deep in Hollow Nest. I'd add more, but that's spoilers and would be too long. I Well, thank you for that, because I, like I said, I never finished the game, but I did get pretty far. This is a cool design, Grease. Hell yeah, look at this. That's I sick. Like it. Well done. I came in late. Did Hollow Knight come up? That's what we started the stream with, Afro. I picked it to start. Oh, it's a bagel. From Reserata Arcana. Finally got the plus one bravery to put up a drawing on here. I was making a Rosa John drawing, and while I was drawing, the stream started. I know nothing about this game, but immediately I want to make a little Hollow Knight bagel. So Rosa got shelled for another day, but I'm glad I made this little guy. I want to add a little crack in the head slip mask to look like an eye patch. Hope you enjoy. You did good. It's a solid look for that. P.S. Boy, boy, how did my black marker hate me by the end of this? I considered coloring him orange instead, but wanted to keep him black and white like in the game. Good choice. Well done, Res uh, Res that, that. Reserata. Reserata. I'll get it right one of these days. Thank you for the art, and welcome to the Buru proper. Next up from Rosie. Maybe I'm jumping the gun here, but please, I want the Beaveroo backpack. I'll look into it. Oh my gosh. I'll look into <laughs> it, because I like the idea, too. Front view. Beaveroo design on front. Flat colors only. Have zippers match the pouch color, if possible. Three-quarter side view. Uh, backpack uh, with design in front. Only the pouch will have 3D shape. 3-4 side view. Backpack color may be tinted, muted, so Beefaroo can stand out more. Base backpack design uh, in... Sorry, I can't read some of your handwriting, Rosie. Sorry. Design without character. Fabric pocket instead of mesh for durability. It's cute. I really want to see if I can make this happen. Although, man, Gerard, Gerard and crew are going to get mad at me if I keep being like, I want to make this weird thing. I want to make this weird thing. <laughs> I know I want. I just wanted to make shirts and hoodies at first, but now we're like pins, booby mouse pads, mascot backpacks. <laughs> Someone wanted me to sell bras. We're not doing that. But still, like <laughs> we're gonna keep we're keep coming back with like all these crazy merch ideas. They're gonna be like, John. What the fuck, dude? I didn't even think yes. Can somebody explain to me how the greatest, most unique character of all of Fire Emblem history is not in Warriors because Incy is full of cowards? 
Yes, I'm still salty about this year. This year's later. Yes, I do think Insis is full of cowards. Yes, I pulled 11 copies of Halloween Zane and Heroes last year to plus 10 him. I just want them to recognize my favorite character who has the ability to transform into literally any other character in the series. Tell me that wouldn't be sick in Warriors. That would be pretty cool, actually. Well, that would be a little too broken. I would buy those bras! <laughs> Hey, I told you people would buy them. I'm standing by my stance. I, I, if, if I was a girl and uh, I had someone like me offering to sell bras, I would not trust it. <laughs> I'd be like, what the fuck does he know about wearing bras? Apparently some of you are more trusting than I expected. Proton John Bland, brand flamethrower, we could do that. Probably can't do that actually for legal reasons. <laughs> Thank you, Tree. <laughs> I would buy it just to have it. <laughs> Ask Luca to do it. Uh, John, can I get beefaroo brass knuckles? Okay, I would kind of want that too, actually. It's a buff negative, and Cat John looks scared. Cat John has been fighting negative once again and had the upper hand. However, Cat was confused by negative smirk and tried to wipe it off. She then got hit by a growing mass that was revealed to have been negative. Cat was hanging from Negative's giant bicep like a kitten stuck in a tree. Uh, Wolf Boy rushed out of the BBA roof and was in awe to see the giant hedgehog leaning on the building. Negative seems to be enjoying himself while tormenting poor Cat John, and there doesn't seem to be any indication of him shrinking back to normal anytime soon. Perhaps he'll use his size to his advantage for the time being. This was a request I got from Mario Cap in exchange for a screenshot edit. This turned out amazing, and please go see the original drawing on his Twitter when it's up. Neat. Thank you, W. I'm a female and I would buy them. I trust you because of Lucas. She would keep you in shape on it. True, there's no fucking way I'd be able to do that without Reese's help. Would Reese sell bras as a compromise? Maybe. I like how this is the compromise, apparently. Would Beefaroo's brass knuckles be called beef bruisers? Yes. 100%. <laughs> Total Biscuits sold thongs back in the day? I'm sorry, what? I miss that. Wait, really? <laughs> that Holy sounds shit. exactly like something he would do, though. From Cryptic Creative, hey John, this year's been a bit depressing on, uh, a bit of a depressing one, especially July, having had to go to a funeral every weekend this month. Oh no, Cryptic, I'm so sorry. God, that Dang. must have been mentally taxing. But something that kept me going is, well, you. You play through a lot of things and inspire me to do my own game clearing this year, which has kept me going. This is all I've beaten this year so far. Got a few more months to knock out the year. Every time I think of being sad, I grab a game and immerse myself. You rock, keep being amazing. Cryptic, I'm so sorry you've had such a rough time, but... Glad you found at least something to kind of put your energy into and kind of cheer you up. Glad we can help in any ways, too. Let's see what you touched. Outer Worlds, Short Hike, Tetris Effect Connected, Ease, Memories of Celsetta, Final Fantasy IX, Gris, Donut County, Left 4 Dead 1 and 2, Star Ocean, Last Hope. Uh, I almost said The Last of Us. That's the that's TLOH. That's, uh, oh shit. The Legend of Heroes. Trails of Cold Steel 4, uh, Crossing Souls, Ease 9. Our world has ended, Spirit Fair. These are all really good games. Both Fam Club, Famicom Detective Club games, Horizon Zero Dawn, Dragon Ball Z Universe 2, and Scarlet Nexus. That's a strong list, dude. Good choices. All right, we'll finish this row, then we'll go to the next game. Uh, Flowery Dingus. I was drawing Giraffe Milf, John, just because I'm listening to the stream and she came out much chunkier than usual. I'm kind of digging it. May keep this as a change, but what do you think, John, of making Giraffe Milf John on the bigger side? Milfs tend to be bigger, so go for it. Do what you want. I'm not gonna stop you from it. I'm cool with everybody type, so go for it. And the last picture I've got here is from Aelita, and it's the Beefaroo. You didn't think I'd just make this mob without including Beefaroo, did you? Just need to tweak it two of his frames and he's good. I also may have completed the final boss sprites, but I'll keep that one a secret. Also, your 500th post. Damn. Hell Thank you, yeah. Aelita. You stay busy. Thank you, Aelita, for working on this Sonic Mania mod. I'm excited for the end results. Plenty more to go, but we'll get there uh, next break or in the last break at this rate, because it's time! To hope this works. <laughs> oh, hey! I didn't even do shit. It's just running. I say, I think it's working. Let me give us a quick reset. Mainly because I want that sound in again. God, that sound is so good. Mm hmm. 
Pepsi Man is what we're playing next. Uh-oh, I haven't been retweeting Twitter. Twitter's gonna be backed up. So if you've never seen Pepsi Man, uh, it is an experience, to say the least. Oh, I have to change the volume, though, because I don't... No, no, it's, it's set right. Never mind, we're good. That'd be very impressive if nobody's heard of Pepsi Man still. Uh, if you've been on the internet. You know what? You'd be surprised. They would be. Back before kids had wide mouth. Low key, this theme is actually really good too. <laughs> Wham! So if you've never seen Pepsi Man, it is um. What do I compare it to? Kind of Crash Bandicoot Endless Runner. Yeah. All right, where are the buttons? This has been a bit. Jump and sliding, and I think there's one for speed up and slow down, and I think that might just be the D-pad. Oops, no, I'll go back. Exactly that. Temple Run, you're thinking of Temple, thank you. Yeah, I couldn't remember Temple Run. All right, let's save to the memory card, and let's do it. So the main reason people remember Pepsi Man is A, the theme song, and B, these amazing cutscenes. Hey, let's start the game. Mike Butters is the dude's name. He's actually done interviews about Pepsi Man because people like people used to speed run this at GDQ. You got here just at the perfect time. I got a call that a vending machine ahead ran out of Pepsi, and I was just on my way there when I got a flat tire. There are a bunch of people gathered in front of the vending machine. They want Pepsi, and the word is that they're just about to riot. I plan to head over there. Over Pepsi. Yep. Yeah. Well, because like Pepsi's real important. That's why it has a, a superhero. Can't you do oh, he was in- Oh, Mike Butters in the ABGN episode, too. I forgot about that. And apparently he was in one of the Saw movies? I need to rewatch Saw to find him. Let's do it. It's Pepsi time. Oh yeah, so we have a health meter. It's Pepsi can. That's what's over in the in the left there. Or no, shit. No, it's the Pepsi logo. That's what it is. Every, every time the logo gets smaller, the more hits we take. I think three totals. How many we can take? Every ten cans of Pepsi we drink, we get a one heal. Oh, I also apparently forgot, what, he was. Which button is boost? Apparently, Butters was in the first Saw movie. He was the victim of the razor wire trap. Oh shit! Really? Oh fuck! That rules. That's hardcore. What button is... Ooh, it's square and up. That's why it's not working. Thank you. You just killed some old lady. Yeah, it should be fine. All right, controls are reversed because we have a garbage can on our head, as you do normally. So I know we don't have to worry too much about boosting to get through stages on stage one, but I know later on it becomes uh, very needed. Because the time limits get really strict. I got some health back. Oh, banana peel! Oh, fuck, too fast! 
Too much Pepsi. Bit too fast. I also, once again, have to remember Gerard's video on Pepsi Man. Yeah, crazy dude finished Pepsi Man. Like, it's not it's not that long of a game, but getting every can of Pepsi is a thing the game tracks. Oh my god. Yeah, I think you unlock, like, a wireframe model or something like that if you do it. Yeah, because I think beating the game gets you the classic Pepsi can, the red one. And I, and I think getting them all gets you a wireframe Pepsi Man. All right, that's stage one down. This game has an end. Yeah, it's actually really short. We've actually finished before. Yeah, look on my YouTube channel uh, to actually see an entire fucking playthrough of the game. We actually did it on stream back in like 2014? 2013, 2014, back when I originally got my copy of the game. No, 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 don't fall in the pit. Pepsi Man doesn't care about your walls. He cares about Pepsi. <laughs> and skateboarding. And I... Time for Pepsi. sick tricks in San Francisco. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Oh, no. <laughs> Pretty Got much. places to go. Have Pepsi to drink and... Whoa! Okay, we're good. Maybe we're not good. Come on. Get back up, Pepsi Man. We're almost on the stage. According to the Pepsi meter, we're almost there. Trust. Uh, Betrayed tr by Pepsi. Trusted Pepsi Man. My one true love, Pepsi. Alright. They're still writing about Pepsi, so we must give them. Pepsi. They're no longer riding, now they are cheering! <laughs> Alright, Pepsi Man's been hit by a truck, and now a giant Pepsi can is chasing after him! So now we must run! It's time for the Crash Bandicoot uh, avoiding minigame. It's like just substitute out a semi truck and you get the other half of the level. Exactly. The downside is um, it's really rude. You cannot destroy obstacles. You can only jump and you get three hits. That's it. And we've already fucked up twice. So next hit we're, we lose our life. And as you can see, reaction time is uh, pretty quick. Yep. Pretty close to the end too. Damn it. Can you boost? No. The slide Those button and the boost boosts. button are now just jump. So all you can do is jump. Oh shit. Alright, well here we go again. Two hits already. Why do I love Pepsi? All it does is try to kill me. Said every diabetic ever. <laughs> shit. Same spot pretty much. Actually might be a bit farther back. So these are the actually hard parts of the game, these stupid escape sequences, because there's no checkpoints, and like I said, there's no way to heal. One hit. I've been like, I should have just stuck with Dr. Pepper! <laughs> Why didn't I get my PhD like Dr. Pepper? There we go, we're good. Pepsi Man can only run on roads. No sidewalks allowed. No back alleys. Doing pretty good. Uh, 
Have a Pepsi. Next stage. Have a Pepsi. It better not be the one that he just drank out of. Well, don't have that Pepsi. He's clearly drinking it. Pepsi Man! Pepsi Man! There's a building on fire just ahead. We need to get there immediately, but look what's happened! According to reports I have heard, they got the fire under control, but there are some people that couldn't escape fast enough and are trapped on the roof. They are extremely exhausted, and it doesn't seem likely that we can get first aid to them in time. Can't you give them something to help revive them, Pepsi Man? Good yes, it's called God. Pepsi. <laughs> Alright, we have to go deliver some Pepsi to save people on a stranded on a burning building. Or I guess formerly burning building. Welcome to the city. The city is trying to murder itself. We went from Sonic Adventure 2 to Sonic 06. Pretty much. I was wondering where Biff Tannen is at his casino. Give me Pepsi! Ah, right, we, oh, we missed the checkpoint! Oh, Are you serious? It. Biffed Ooh. it, man. That's gonna suck. Don't biff this one. Gonna. I'm gonna. No, because it slows oh, me down. It slows me down. Lucky. I'm fine. I'm fine. You can't biff Pepsi Man. He does it on his own, anyways. <laughs> okay, good. So got some health back. God, it's so dirty with some of the shit they do in this game. Oh God. Nice yeah, boost. no. This game plays real dirty. Ooh, gotta be quick. So you can see how the I don't know how the fuck Gerard oh. got through this collecting every can. The fucking madman he is. Gotta wonder how many years that poor man is just burned off his life. Dude, oh, there's no good. there's no fucking way. I feel so bad for Gerard having to go through all this shit. Yeah. Oh no. What? Appar apparently all the guys in the cutscenes are voiced by one guy, Jack Evans. Voice Dr. Light, Otto, and Frostman in the infamous English dub of Mega Man 8. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, oh shit, I jumped too little. Oh. There's no Dr. W Wildry here. Who's raiding? It's uh, Kyle X five hundred. No, I'm. I just can't read. That's Kyle T. I read good. Do we Kyle text five hundred? Kyle T times five hundred. Either way, Kyle's raiding. So let's run some countermeasures. Or not. Countermeasures? You gonna show up today? No guns, only Pepsi. I think they
Kyle, TX500, thank you so much for the raid. You've raided for the video to stop. Okay, that's weird. You raided for Pepsi Man. Pepsi for TV game, as they say. Oh, okay, that, the video is done playing. It does not want to continue. But we are continuing Pepsi Man. If you've never seen Pepsi Man before, it is a trip. He says as he slams his face into a girder. Oh, right, because there's a cooldown on sliding. That's what I'm goofing up. Oh my god, there's actually a cooldown on the slide? Oh yeah, no. You can jump out of a slide, no problem, but there's a cooldown on doing a slide into another slide. Yikes. Or no. you just don't jump sometimes. That also happens. How many lives we got left? Four. Pepsi Man fall down the hole. Yeah, Pepsi Man don't enjoy that. Okay, break a little bit. You should have seen Ross rage at this game with Jimmy Wetzel. I believe I actually have seen that. Like, the game is not easy. The final stage is brutal. But as long as you're not going for every can, it's not terrible. What? How long is our YouTube playthrough of that? Like, an hour and a half? Might be two hours. But here's the thing. They're surprisingly forgiving with cut... Uh, with cutscenes. With checkpoints. And, uh... About an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, they're surprisingly forgiving with... Oh, don't trip, don't trip. Ah, there we go, and a stitch. Nice job. They're, they're surprisingly forgiving with, with checkpoints, and saving actually does remember what world you're on. But I think it... I forget if it reminds, remembers you at world 4.1 or 4.2, which is the actual issue that most people come into. Stage four took me multiple hours. Yeah, no, stage four is rough. It is definitely rough. Oh yeah, Kyle, by the way, we've we've actually finished the game before. So yeah, don't worry. I've definitely seen the end of this before. Like I said, we gotta we gotta play through uh, a stream playthrough up on YouTube. Okay, oh, well, for saying I got a playthrough there, I definitely don't remember what happened there. I must have missed something. Yeah. Oh! So, it's two pieces of wood with a girder in the middle. I've been hitting the girder. The wood I can break by jumping into. I was just jumping into the wrong spot, basically. That's what was happening. So I can do this. And then fall into a pit. <laughs> nice. Maybe don't do that exactly. Let me do exactly what I was talking about. Are we out of time right now? We got 10 minutes left of this segment. Ah! Damn, we've already been on this stage for a minute. Come on, this isn't even the hard shit. Come on, John. So was this game actually retail, or was this something like they gave out like on a mail order with like Pepsi or something? Yeah, retail. Really? Yeah. And it is, I believe, Japanese exclusive, despite having oh. all that English voice acting. There we go, checkpoint. Finally. Not missing that. Jump too early, though. Yeah. Yeah. 
I love the dude every time that just goes, yeah. No. That was abrupt. <laughs> just a little <laughs> spun, or, uh, sideshow Bob moment. <laughs> yeah, they almost said the wrong Bob there. Oh. Out of the way. Out of the way, sir. Oh, we're in so much trouble. We got 20 seconds left. Spoo boost it, you can do it. I'm trying. We must get Pepsi to these people. Holy shit. No, I jumped oh, way too early. I got Aww. to the end and jumped too fucking early. Ugh. What a bummer. Oh, we had extra lives. Don't worry, we're fine. Oh, that's gonna... <laughs> bumping, gonna into people, bumping into people eats your controls, so... No, it didn't take my boost again! Fuck. Alright, we're gonna do the whole thing over if we screw this up. Oh, dang. Well, we still gotta do the escape sequence, too, with no lives, which sucks. Ooh. Although, if we if we beat the stage, we'll get a couple extra lives. Every 30 cans we've picked up is an extra life. So that's why I'm trying to at least get 60 cans before we end the stage. Oh, no. Beefed it! Quite literally. Yeah. It's every 25 cans, is it? Continue. Good news is it did remember we're on 2-2. Two, two. Downside is we're back to three lives and have to do the entire stage over again, so. It could be worse, but this isn't really that bad in the grand scheme of things. I disagree with that one, though. that time. God, he jumped so high in that room. Ah, I knew it. Okay. We're back here already. All right, just gotta avoid that shovel we slammed into last time. Don't wanna sideshow Bob it again. All right, and we're back to the checkpoint we, we died on. Nice. Right, well, if it's every 25, let's get the 75 then, at least get three more one-ups. It didn't take my boost again! What the fuck? That is weird. It's that cooldown thing I was telling you about. I gotta make sure I don't... I save my boost for that last jump. Yes. 
How many continues do you get? Unlimited continues. So it's it's a very beatable game simply because of that. Okay. So low on time though. God damn it. We need the boost to get the jumps, but if we do them too close together, we can't make the final jump. It's so frustrating. Oh, and then there's that. And we're gonna push it. Hey, Arika, how's it going? He, God, ah! Oh! Why is there a cooldown on the dash? And the other dirty thing is the game starts you on the game start screen, as in start over. So you have to make sure to go down and continue, otherwise you just restart the whole fucking game. That's dirty. Yeah. I mean, the game's only four stages. So that's why they do it. So I assume if you actually hit start, it just erases your progress. Uh, I forget if you can go back to continue and fix it, but otherwise, yeah, it, it definitely makes you start over. I think there's a stage select or something, naturally. I also don't know if any, oop, uh oh. Ooh, keep sliding there, buddy. I'm gonna get hit by this second one, aren't I? No, flip through. I don't know if any people notice this as well. It doesn't matter how much time you get to a checkpoint with, each checkpoint has a predetermined amount of time they give you. So if I die at a checkpoint and I've gotten there really fast, they will take away the extra time. Mm. Which that is actually dirty. But I assume they just did that because they wanted to make sure in case you got there with no time, you just didn't weren't fucked. And didn't account for people actually getting there fast. PS1 is fuck game. All right, fine, you're right. PS1 is fuck game. Yeah, so when he when he slows down but his head is still down, he cannot take another dash. Yeah, so we're here with 30 seconds right now, but when we die and go back to that checkpoint, we're going to drop down to I think 20. No, I fucked up. I did the dash too early. It's going to say you were on a good rhythm with it. Uh, it's getting in my head, man. It's getting in my head. I thought we were gonna do a lot better. I don't remember screwing up stage two that much. But I do remember seeing that sewer a lot, so maybe I was misremembering. You're fine. You got it. There we go. We were just out of jump range that entire time. You never make that jump. That's the oh, stupid thing about serious? it. Are you serious? Yes, I'm we just bullshit. weren't jumping far enough to miss. We were oh, missing get. too early. Fucked, are you kidding me? Come on. It's stupid, it's really fucking oh. stupid. It's such a dick move. This game is full of dick moves, that's the thing. <laughs> but now we have hit a opposing cola brand truck. And now we have to dodge it. Or sorry, it's a pizza oh. truck. Yeah, with the fancy little elegant font and red, red color. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's, that's it's pizza. It's pizza. Mm-hmm. Remember, this was the, was it still the '90s? Yeah. Was it the Cold War? Yes, Very few PS1 games made it past the '90s. Oh shit, oh shit, no, we're so, no, we're not even remotely close, what am I thinking here? I do remember this escape actually being kind of tricky, too.
Oh, thank God. Nice. John, if you manage to collect every single can in the level, you'll earn four extra lives, but also a fifth extra life for collecting all the cans in the level. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> God, I want chips. Pepsi for TV game. <laughs> there it is, folks. That's the good one. Pepsi for TV game. Never forget. Say the line, Bart. Pepsi Man, a plane full of passengers had to make an emergency landing in the desert. We were on our way there when the helicopter broke down. Fortunately, no one was hurt or killed. But in the middle of nowhere, right in the middle of the desert, and they are all exhausted. Another helicopter is on the way, but it looks like it's going to take some time. Isn't there anything we can do to help them until that helicopter arrives? Yes, I can deliver Pepsi. Pepsi Welcome to the desert. Oh, once we're done running. You know, desert music. We oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, those are actually insta kill. My bad. He runs on oncoming traffic. Hey, what actually hit me just then? Was that the? Tumble did I actually beam. get stopped by the tumbleweeds? Because I they didn't stop me earlier. God. Jeez. Yeah, it's it's not an easy game, dude. All right, so chat. Question for you guys: Do we go do one last game for Cookie, or do we push through and try to beat the rest of Pepsi Man? Keeping in mind, we've already done this before on stream, and there's already a lot of it. No. Oh, actually, we didn't die. I'm honestly seeing a mix of answers. I think we're going to need to pull honestly, on this I've seen one. one honestly, I see Cookie a lot. I am now. At the beginning, it was a very mixed bag. Yeah, honestly, I'm seeing Cookie. Now it's Pepsi. Pepsi, new! I to remember, there's a tell for every, the way these girders are gonna go. Well, I guess if I'm this far back, it also is easy. What's it looking like? I'm not looking at the moment. I'm too busy Pepsi manning uh, it up. Hold on, I think we got a pull going. Whoa! It's pretty prominent on the one, one more, more game. game. Yeah, most people yeah. are putting one more game. Not surprised, I guess. Damn bikers! How dare you stop Pepsi Man in true Pepsi justice? Give me a minute to just see if I can wrap this stage up at least. Oh, that wasn't a, a biker that time. Oh god! Stop at this gas station. Get some Pepsi. <laughs> oh, thank God they still had some. I 
Alright, 90% voted one more game. So yeah, we're gonna get one more game in. New record. Alright. Well, since I had to... I can't not use my actual cartridge. Well, let's do this... Or my actual disc, rather. Let's do this the sensible way. Alright, there we go. Let's Safe go state. To, yeah, it made sense. Let's go to the cookie. One last cookie for the night means uh, one last roll of the games. Mitch and well, Trey, what do you got? Well, I was going to say, I'm not going to put a vote in because I'm actually going to cut out. I'm I'm falling asleep sitting here. So. That's fair. You guys have a good night. Thank you so much for having me, John. Always fun. Always good, dude. Always good to hear from you. Take it easy. Yep. You take it easy, too. Catch you later. Bye, Mitch. Well, later. Trey, that just leaves you. Trey, what do you got for me? I will. I heard you say the game earlier. Axiom Verge. Sure. Why the hell not? That's a great game. Uh, I'll pick it for Switch since I have that copy the closest. Axiom Verge in the following five games. Game number one. Cool spot for the Super Nintendo right after Pepsi, man. What the f <laughs> Who is oh. rigging these cookies? <laughs> this is another soft drink game we've beaten on stream, just to say that. Literally the, the cookie just fucking Deep, did you do that? Deep, did you fucking do that? <laughs> Uh, game number two, Blazion, the Bio Cyborg Challenge for Super Nintendo. It's a shmup. At this point, I'm just expecting Yo Noi to show up. Oh, don't. I swear to fuck. I swear to fuck. Will, a wonderful world on Switch. Game number four. Absolutely not. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, re-roll. Tetris for the Game Boy. And last but not least for this absolutely bizarre cookie night. The Maxi 15 for the NES. 15 NES games in one. Trust me, making a rig cookie has been tempting. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> All right. We got six games. Based on pure happenstance, I'm pretty sure I know what wins, but let's see. Oh, come on. Come on, Chad. Don't don't be... I mean, I'm voting for Axiom Verge. I fucking love Axiom Verge, but... He thought we could uh, hide the fact which one he's voting no, for. No, I ain't, I ain't fucking hiding that. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm excited for that second game. All right, same here, actually. Come on, Chad. Don't, don't, don't give in to the temptation this time. Uh... They might not actually be. Oh, nope, nope, they are. There we go. Cool spot. Currently in the lead. Let me put the link up on screen here first. Currently in the lead. 84 votes. 34% of the vote. Axiom Verge, 80. Vower. It's actually a race between the two. 33% of the vote. Come Tetris on. for the Game Come Boy, on. 62 votes. 20% of the vote. Will, a wonderful world, 15 votes. 4.5%. Blazion, the Bio Cyborg Challenge, 12 votes. 3%. Maxi 15, 12 votes. 3%. 365 votes clock so far. Axiom Verge leads over Cool Spot, 148 to 126. It is close. Yes, come uh, on. Come. One minute on the clock. Stop! Axiom Verge was a very solid Metroidvania. I, I kind of enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a, a really good, it's a really good Metroidvania. I had like one or two spots, though, I kind of had trouble with. Yeah, sadly, we're uh, even if we do play Axiom Verge, we're not going to get to any of the really cool shit, but it's still a, a really interesting game. 172 to 150 with probably 40 seconds left. This is actually gonna be a bit of a nail biter. They're still pretty far apart percentage wise, but vote wise, they're only 20 votes apart. 39 to 34 right now percentage wise, 175 to 155. Oh, cool spots catching up. Down to 18. Axiom Verge pushes a little bit. 17 vote lead. Still 3% though. Not much left to the race. Robocop's rolling in his car. And takes it. Woo. Axiom Verge is the winner.
Is Axiom Verge easier than a Hollow Knight? Yeah. You don't have to go recollect your souls or anything like that. And you get a lot of different weapons in Axiom Verge. Oh yeah, shit ton. Alright, Axiom Verge it is. Let's drop some eggs. Go to break. We'll try to keep the break short. Art block and last game. Oh, right. <laughs> I was like, why is the sub list so big? Right, Shy Arctic Fox with the crazy gift sub bomb. Shy Arctic Fox, a hey, Shy Arctic Fox rather, with the big old 50 gift sub bomb. Mondo Food for 10, Somber Mink 91 for 76, Sword Pile for 10, Philip Ho 39 for 66, The Great Deox for 3, Inukun 7 for 54, and Hebrew Lantern for 12. Thanks for subbing, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Uh, hang on a second. They're all videos. Okay. Cool Al with the top hats. Watch John's forgotten GIF. My what now? Check this out. Someone's streaming TV out here. Now, what is that? Oh, I know what that is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the meds gif I forgot was below the screen. <laughs> it's the gif of meds from the April Fool's Smash Brothers tournament. It's been running there since April 1st, and no one has noticed, not even me. <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks of meds, how random. Gokai with Gokai makes more late night bad decisions. Pepsi for mangoes. Finally, no, mangoes can drink Pepsi. This. It is 1.35 in the morning. I am not drinking a soda at 1.35 in the morning. Good choice. I'm drinking Coke with coffee at 1 in the morning. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you got played. The band Princess... switch. Oh, no. Princess Skyler with Jeffrey's betrayal. Okay. I bonked so many people. I gotta go downstairs and lay down. Oh, hey, Jeffrey, what- What are you watching? Dude, really, what are you looking at? No. No. Jeffrey! Jeffrey, Jeffrey you don't even have why? eyes! Why have you done this? This- Or eye sockets, for that matter. This. You bop it upon yourself! Well, Jeffrey's dead. I mean, he already was. He's a skeleton. He's deader. De even more dead. All right, we're going to go to break. When we come back from break, last game of the night, Axiom Verge. See you guys in a bit. All right, let me, let me try to get everything together pretty fast on this one. I do have to get the cartridge ready, because I have this physically. Eat, sleep, break the streak. Gotta eat, sleep, break the streak. Actually, did you ever pick up the Wii U version of Axiom Verge? The Wii U one? No. I've got the Switch one, the PS4 one, and maybe the Steam one? I might only have the two. I just have I just got the Switch version, and then I picked up the Wii U version. So I had so I've had zero reason to open up the Wii U version of Axiom Verge. Isn't that a rare collector's item at this point? Or is it a digital download? Uh, I think it w it's probably a rare collector collector's item at this point. Let me double check. Um, yeah. It's completed to like about 90 bucks. Yeah, that's not bad. 
But then if you still have it open it up, it's about getting closer to 200. Ooh, okay, that's a bit more. How similar is Axiom Verge to Metroid? Heard that was a big influence. Uh, it's more like Metroid 1 visually. But the, the sprite work is is definitely more detailed than, say, that. You'll, you'll understand when we get into it. And then there will be things you will not understand because of how that game works. <laughs> <laughs> that is also true. That is extremely true. But yeah, it's... For, in terms of Metroidvanias, it's actually really good. Uh, Veil vale Leaf says, The six bingo spaces I am missing are being... Uh, one, being banned on accident. Two, raiding John. Three, telling a bad joke, uh, my computer dies. Four, John being counter-raided at the same time as he raids. Five, giving John another heart attack like his wedding stream. And six is the freebie. I like how the heart attack wedding stream is definitely because of all the reuse from that happening. <laughs> also, how are you missing the freebie? That's supposed to actually be marked in. <laughs> now, are you personally supposed to be causing John the heart attack, or is it just needs to happen? I hope no one's causing the heart attack on purpose for their bingo card. Uh, oops. No, not that. Not that button. Not that button. Yes, that button. Pepsi... <laughs> makes me laugh every time. Pepsi Sub-Zero says, Pepsi Man! <laughs> takes a bit for that sound effect to load every time, but I love it. Udiptes says, this. The Egg Pac Mod team has... Just had horrible flashbacks from when we shuffler raced Pepsi Man. Here's two bucks a peach, please. Who's here's two bucks a piece, please make the pain end. Well, we're on last game, you're good. Yuki Mizuno says, fun Pepsi Man fact, uh Ko Kotaro Yuchikoshi, the writer for the Zero Escape series, worked on Pepsi Man. If you oh go to his God, Wikipedia what? page, you can see that the first game he worked on was this game. He was the 3D modeler. Didn't 999 lose to Pepsi Man? Or no, that was that was around before, I think. But holy shit, no. amazing. No, that yeah, 999 lost to Pepsi Man. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. You keep bringing up these weird ass coincidences. Dude, I still can't believe we've rolled Cool Spot after Pepsi Man was played. Also, shout out to Still gifting a sub to Pepsi Simp. I mean, you're also talking about when you had mentioned Uno last week, and then it coming up on Cookie, like, literally, like, two cookies later. Fair point. Fair point. All right. Let's go to Art Block, and then let's go play some motherfucking Axiom Verge! Starting here... ...with the stills from that, uh, that John Versus intro that they showed. So about that poll... Oh, I'll just get it over with, Jen. So a week ago, Negative Pro DM'd me asking for a John versus round to do the Guilty Gear Strive fight intro. But then my brain goes brrr and wanted to draw the whole intro. So one storyboard, multiple redo, and bouncing ideas later, an egg was created. Hope you all like it. It's nice. I like I like Jen's intro here, the, just the electrocution and the glitch sword. Nice. And my glitching into the room. All nice touches. Hell yeah. You two did an amazing job on this. Thank you, Philip, and, and Negative for this. Next up, from Noir, Kermit. Buff Kermit eating the sandwich. Kermit isn't just enjoying a sandwich. What do you mean he looks different? He's on that Subway diet, which apparently gives you abs. Subway definitely does not give you abs. You might do it to Kermit, though. Thanks, Noir. Next up, from Jumney. A Hornet Rosa Doodle. Luckily, Hornet already had no pants, just this large covering cape. I'm giving you that look, bud. <laughs> I like how the crack in the in the helmet too also lets the hair shock stand out. Nice touch. 
And even, even the nail has a star on it. Nicely done, Jumney, as always. Shout out to the tag poorly covering cape as well. <laughs> Next up, from Princess Skylar, crabs. Crab, crab, hand, hand. This has relevance and I'm sure you saw it by now. Also, John, real quick, I apologize if my old dumb egg throwing memes got really out of hand. It's okay, just getting eggs everywhere. Probably shouldn't have to clean up after every egg video you do. Next up from Loving Soccer Cat, everyone else enjoying John's streams. Me, missing everything past midnight because internship and tiredness and personal projects. I mean, sleep is important, Sakura, don't worry. Hello, it's I, the dead artist. Firstly, it makes me happy that you remember me. I didn't think you uh, I didn't think you'd think of me when it came to Sonic style alt jobs because I thought I wasn't really unique. Secondly, where have I been? Well, I've been on an internship now. Have been waiting on one since July of last year, being between word of COVID, not having vaccines till two months ago, and then my parents being unsupportive, manipulative fucks, and making me depressed. But I'm sad I'm missing everything. Streams usually start at 10 p.m. or later in my time zone. I arrive home for the most at the most at 7.30 p.m., but I can only stay up till midnight if I want to get up early, which means I'm missing everything. I was upset I was I missed Raging Blast, one of my favorite games, and even today, when it could have worked on art, I did some for myself instead, because I needed it. Yeah, that's fine. You needed it, so don't sweat it. You don't have to keep submitting art, Sakura. That doesn't... You don't lose relevancy or, like, disappear because you need personal time. Don't sweat it. Also, if you allow me an event, you can skip if you need to. The process of getting my degree and having an internship in two months, doing a physical project, write an essay about it, present and defend it, and then do an exam, and my parents being manipulating me mentally, don't waste this chance we never had, and emotionally, you'll do it for me, right? Oh, that kind of manipulation. Ew. To do night classes to get another degree, which would require having a job, and to do this whole process again. So yeah, I'll most likely appear every Saturday here at best. I'm not meant for these types of jobs. I really would honestly like to have what you have, John, but I'll be fine. Wish me luck, have a good night, and good stream. I'm gonna be real with you, Sakura. Like, at this point, this career I have is basically one of those, if you weren't there at the right time, it's a struggle to get to it. Like, most of the mod team is working on, like, a couple of them have hit partner, but they've had to slave away to get that, so. It was a lot easier when I started. So that's one of the main reasons I still am around. But, yeah, no, it's... It took a while to get to the point where I can even be as comfortable as I am now. So that's, unfortunately... I wish I could say, try it, chase your dreams, but you gotta be realistic with it, too. It's it's tough. Hopefully things work out for you, Sakura. Plano Salazar, thank you for the raid. How about we do some countermeasures? Why are they not playing automatically today? Plano Salazar, thank you so much for the raid. We're gonna be, we just finished playing Pepsi Man and we're about to play Axiom Verge, but we're gonna finish up a couple minutes of Art Block and then we'll get to it. Art Block continues with this. Since we're throwing around Beef Roo merchandise ideas, I thought I'd throw in an idea. Sam, I'm not making a golden idol. I am not doing that. I may not be a practicing Christian. I am not making a golden idol. <laughs> 
Now, I know his idea little... might seem a little bit excessive, but you know, we can make it work. I just think a lot of people would really be interested in a giant golden statue of Bifru to build within the town square and bow to three times a day. We can make compromises here and there, but all in all, I think it's pretty doable and would be very... Knock, knock. Oh, hey, I think Moses just came back from Mount Sinai. I can't wait to show him my idea. <laughs> and now we can just do little Bifuru figures. And love... one out of every 100, it will be a golden one. I love that this is actually like a bit from The Simpsons, too. They did this exact same thing. Like, oh, hey, Moses, how's it going? <laughs> Thou shall not make golden idols. Ah, fuck. Thanks, Sam. Next up, from Hypercoal, here's Bug John, inspired by John playing Hollow Knight tonight. Rocking a beanie and egg shirt and bags under the eyes. Tired glasses, tried glasses originally, but didn't like the look. Also, my throat's not doing great. I think Uno from last week didn't help. Trying to rest my voice for now. By the way, sorry about the performance mode in Warriors. I only heard about it, so I didn't expect that reaction. It's fine. My eyes will be fine. Also, thanks for playing Hollow Knight tonight. John, possibly my favorite Metroidvania. It's pretty damn close. I've honestly got grown extremely fond of the genre over the past few years. Now, if only I could beat Godmaster. No worries, Cole. I, I kind of want to play it. I'm in the mood for a good Metroidvania right now, but I'm playing through Final Fantasy X for work, so I have to actually do that. My job here is done. You didn't do anything. Do I need to say anything? Also, I do like Rowan and Liana. <laughs> Thanks, Monsari. Thanks, Tuxedo Marth. Next up, from my poppycock. Here's a quick sketch I made of Wolfboy and Negative Pro at, as workout bros at the Buffton Cave. This idea came about from a conversation with the always wonderful W during another stream. Can't remember what exactly it was about, but here we are. Probably, probably buff dudes. My guess is that. Thanks, Poppycock. Tuxedo Marth is here. Tuxedo Marth? Okay. You're okay? Thanks, Waluigi. Fire Emblem Warriors players, the millisecond they boot up the game for the first time. I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> As an epic gamer, my favorite Fire Emblem characters are Anime Personality Trope 1, Anime Personality Trope number 2, and Dirt. Water without ice. From Rosie. Ooh, it's poofy. It's sparkly and poofy. You can definitely tell I haven't used Clip Studio Paint in months, lol. It's a Lowland Pertune. Thank you, Rosie. Andy, I hope you're here and enjoying these. And I guess Tiger to a lesser extent, too, since they made the design originally. Next up, from Kid Ark Storm. So Hollow Knight was not what I was expecting tonight. So as a quick doodle, have a Hollow Knight bagel styled after that circus troupe. Also, sorry, John, you're being dragged for the adventure as a minion. Enjoy. Aww. Oh. Also, well, Fire Emblem was on stream, so art time round two inbound. <laughs> it's okay, kid art, thanks. I hope you know that you're a great inspiration and helped me in my video game burnout I was in. Your video game burnout? How did I help with that? Just pitching, just showing off random games, or? Andy says, please tag me on Twitter if you post these. I think Rosie already posted that one, Andy, so check on my retweets if you haven't seen it, or Rosie's Twitter. From Grease Lightning. I am a harmacist. This encapsulates, encapsulates a good amount of Lissa's character. Warriors is pretty basic with its roster, but then again, Fire Emblem Heroes, the mobile game, has some pretty big character favoritism when it comes to alt outfits. The current highlights are Lynn and Camilla at seven apiece. You two can spend 25 plus dollars to get Lynn in a bikini on a Pegasus. I'm sorry, what? Okay. And Camilla as she was about to hop into the bath. Hot spring Camilla. To be fair, I like Lynn too. I assume we're talking Lindus, so. This already sounds like something they they did on Fire Emblem Heroes. This is exactly what they're talking about. That's Fire Emblem Heroes. Oh, okay. Then yes, that is, I believe it. Oh, you helped me oh. help my brother by showing me Hollow Knight and getting me back into a game I abandoned years ago. Ah, that makes sense. I'll enjoy it. Thank you, Grease. Uh, my alarm's going off, so let's get to some gameplay, and then we're gonna have a big old art block at the end. Axiom Verge, let's go! My controller was off, shit. <laughs> Curse you, technology! I'll write the volumes up too, because when we were doing Fire Emblem, it was quiet. Ah, do I even remember how to play this game? 
This is oh, oh, hello. I need you. you. I need you. Mm -hmm. mm, shaking my fist. Thank you, Shiretic Fox, for another gift sub bomb. Well, friend. Mm -hmm. you people again. How many is that? Somewhere. That was 25 just then. 75 so far tonight. Camilla literally goes into a battle in a bath towel and a bucket. She just really wanted, she just really needed that shower. Or that, that bath, I guess, rather. Okay. Uh, oops. No, 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 go back to ring. Ring's actually pretty good. Now we're good. This is one of those games where B is select and A is back, so it's throwing me off. New Mexico, 2005. Chaos Eater, goddammit. Look at your left. Thanks, Hammond. Starting the pulse now. What? Thank you for the gifts up on Chaos Eater. If only it would work this time. Well, friend, I look forward to meeting you people again. That's weird. The beamlet was completely distorted. Trace, there's a problem. What's that sound? As the building collapsed on top of me, I knew it was all over. My life, my goals, all fruitless. But if this were truly the end, if I'd simply died and stayed that way, well, let's just say that everything would have been a lot different. Trace. Wake up, Trace. Ugh, what happened? <coughs> Trace, there is gun in next room. Shy, why? <laughs> God damn I knew it. That, I knew that number was off. You must get it. Wait, well, what's friend, going on? Where are you? I look forward to meeting you people again. Hello? Where am I? Do 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 do. Shy, my God, Shiretic Fox, thank you for another 25 gift sub bombed it, me even it out to 100. Jesus Christ, I appreciate it so much, guys. Thank you all so much for being so generous. Lately, I've been feeling really crunched working on YouTube stuff and everything, and just feel like I need to take another break. But I'm just really glad you guys are so supportive of all the dumb shit I do. It makes it all worth it, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, thank you guys so much. Oh, We've... look at you getting all mushy. I mean, I can not, if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> Axiom Disruptor, a high-tech biomechanoid weapon. Use with Y, lock position with L. Oh, there's that good baseline. Fuck yeah. Is this the gun that lady mentioned? Or did I just imagine her? Sorry, I'm very weak. You must go now, before he finds you. Before who finds me? What's going on? I guess she's gone again. Alright. Welcome to Axiom Verge. <laughs> Fu <laughs> Fuck you, John. Stop being mushy. Alright, fine. I'll be an asshole. Jesus Christ, guys. Fuck! John, fuck you, have hugs. Man, you know that's a rare thing when Camille's trying to give you the hugs. I just... Yeah, everyone, hearts and hugs in the chat. I just... That's... I, all I want to see is hearts and hugs. Bam them. So if you've never seen Axiom Verge before... <laughs> God damn it. Alright, well I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking play through the game normally while you're all dropping hugs in the shit. <laughs> yes. If you've never seen Axe and Verge before, it is very in heavily inspired by Metroid, as you can probably tell right away. There's a lot of exploration, a lot of hidden secrets, a lot of cool power-ups. Uh and a lot of like trippy alien 
designs. Look, fuck you, take our love. God damn it. I'm so glad we don't have the chant feature because that's going to be using that right now. <laughs> Alright, we can't do that yet. The dumb shit is worth it. Your streams are giving me motivation to keep working on my art and editing as well as my big secret sires uh, series I'm working on. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Thanks, guys. I will say this. I'm glad that, like, I'll use this as an example. Donkey Kong Country was a series I was actually really worried about. I'm actually glad the reception has been more positive than I expected. So it's, I like when I get to do silly shit like that. Even if it's, like, very against what I normally do, I'm just glad that, like, you guys will let me do that. Even if it's, even if it's like, not people's personal taste. Like, just getting to experiment and do weird shit is, is like, half the fun of this job. Yeah, I still gotta see episode 5, but yeah, I've been enjoying that series. It's been, been a, a crazy little ride. I think episode nice 5 may be my favorite episode because of how much shit we managed to kind of get in there. Uh, but I'm curious how people are gonna feel about the finale when that goes up next week. Ah, shit, there's glitches this way. We can't go. You're giving me an excuse for my horrible sleep schedule. <laughs> Well, I've definitely ruined people's sleep schedules. I'm not gonna deny that. I mean, yes. Shit, I'm gonna drop off, huh? There we go, a little bit of health. So, you haven't played Axiom Verge before, or uh, Axiom Verge yet, right? No, I've completed the game. Oh, okay, then. You kidding? I, I played this game at E3. I completed this shit the minute it came out. <laughs> Axiom Verge is great. I'm excited for the second game. So for those who don't know, this was actually all made like by one dude. Dude, actually, Bob, yeah, this is Bob not... Hap, I think was his name? Like, because I think the studio is also called Bob Hap Studios. Thomas Hap. Thomas Hap. Okay, so I have the first name wrong. All right, new power-up. Nova. Firing once launches a large projectile. Firing again causes it to detonate. So, we got a, a basically a grenade launcher that splits into six shots. Hap got sort of fucked by one of his first publishers, didn't he? Something like that. Uh, yes. I, forget the, I get the, forget the full story, but the basic thing is he had to quit the studio he was working for originally because he uh, because of his son. Because his son had a uh, I can't remember what it is exactly, but it's a medical condition that he basically focused on instead. Yeah, so we got Raid. Who's Raid? Herringstone! Yo, how's it going? Herringstone, thank you for the Raid. Let's get another one in there, for good measure! Oh yeah, this one froze. Oops. Let's try that again. Yo, how's it going, folks? Herringstone, thank you for the raid. Last, We're playing Last Game of the Night, which is, of course, the excellent Axiom Verge. Hopefully your stream is good. Jeff, are you fucking serious? <laughs> this is 
Hey man, this is the place to be right now. Apparently. Hi, Space Hamster. Hi, Jeff. Well, I mean, I get the rest of my voice. I'm not complaining. Space Hamster, Jeff, how's it going, buddy? Thanks for the raid, appreciate it. As I was saying before <laughs> before we jump back to the counter missions video, we're playing the last game of the night for Fortune Cookie, which is Axiom Verge, an excellent Metroidvania. Uh, we got about 20 minutes-ish left on the game. Well, left on the gameplay, and then we're gonna wrap up with an R block, but hang out with us meanwhile. Chill, enjoy the weird monstrosities we are about to see. I thought there was a weird, I thought there was a quick way to switch. Open weapon select first. Oh Wasn't no, it ah, the, there uh... is quick select. Yes, yes, it's all coming back to me now. There we go. Yes, give me more health. Excellent. God, I'm just I'm just like zoning out because I'm just hearing the, the bass, the bass line for this track. This song is so solid. But I'm also waiting for us to get to that zone where they just have a chant going in the background. I don't even know we're gonna get there oh, tonight. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if we are too, but I know what you're talking about. Hey, uh... Anyone who's played through this game knows that it. it's so memorable. For how much you just hear it. You hear the start of it every fucking time you walk into that zone. But let the pixels flow. Oh shit. Oh, that was a mistake. Should've dealt with them first. Die, we're gonna die, don't wanna die. Yeah, but I do remember health was kind of a bitch to get. Yeah, especially at the start, health health's a bit rough to get. Well, unless you destroy those things and they give you a shit ton. Sometimes. I think all this is for also like a part of a health extension too? Like I don't Speaking of which. Size note. Permanently increases projectile size for weapons. That's what it is. Alright, so our shots are a little bit bigger. Do you know the name of the track? Off the top of my head, no, unfortunately. It'll be one of the first tracks on the on the soundtrack for Axiom Verge, though. Since it's like one of the first songs in the game. Uh, 
I don't think I can get that yet, but I forget what power up I need to actually get that. Yeah, no, nothing's breaking. Well, uh, I think I rem might remember, but we don't got it. Yeah, it's gonna be a while before we get that. At least we're not probably gonna get that tonight. Oh, hell no. Not much I can be sure of. Map, there we go. <laughs> Set reminder! I never used that enough, and that's clearly like a nice, just little quality of life thing Metroidvania's got. Yeah. Just being able to set pens to like, oh right, I gotta go back here at some point. Also, maps in general were the nice quality of life they had. That too, yes. In your opinion, without spoiling anything, do you feel that the ending of Blaster Master Zero Three was a satisfying end for Jason and Eve's story? Do you think there could have been room to improve? Um, uh, it's hard to say that without spoiling anything. Uh, I wasn't. I didn't dig the ending for the most part. I wish they had gone in a different direction, but um, it is an ending. I'm not gonna say anything because so people can experience it for themselves. Crap, I'm trapped. Demon. Whoa, hey, you can talk. Listen, I'm the lost and demon. Aethos says say kill. Here is the first boss, a weird fleshy metallic beast. I don't even know if it actually has an actual name. It does, they all have names. Fuck if I remember what it is, but they all have names. Yeah, I probably won't be touching Zero Three until my my copy gets mailed to me. I will say this: Zero Three, like I loved playing Zero Three. The gameplay was really fun. It is definitely harder than oh, I forgot what the cool explosion they do in this game. It's de it definitely felt harder. It's definitely harder than one, and I almost want to say it's harder than two, but it's been so long since I played two, I don't quite remember. All right, all that work to unlock. Oh wait, is this actually what I think it is? The laser drill, a high-powered drill capable of cutting through rock. I feel it doesn't okay. advance the mechanics as much as Zero Two did. Uh, I like the changes they made to the Gaia system. I like the changes they made to the weapon system. It felt like a good compromise between one and two, to be honest. In, in a number of aspects. Oh, that's how we get the item. Power node, permanently increases weapon and item damage. Uh, yeah, we actually got this drill a lot sooner than I expected. I didn't realize reason, it was the first. Yeah, I thought it was a different move altogether. Uh, I figured it was the drill, I just, I don't know why, I just didn't think it was this early as a pickup. Save. won't be as bad when we get more health or better weapons. More glitches. Let's 
that's actually where I'm supposed to go? That's weird. The bottom path was the way to go. Nope! More glitches. One problem with the drill is that since you know you can dig through stuff with it, now you're like in the habit of like, oh, can I dig through this? Can I dig through this? And at least the ground flashes if you're on the right or wrong path, but it's just like you start habitually digging every wall to see if there's anything you can work with. Yeah, that's true. rooms for something else entirely. Metroidvanias can sometimes give you this lost sensation you can't find in any other type of game types. Yeah, that's that's a Metroidvania. Yeah. That's pretty much its bread and, entire bread and butter. Basically drops you off and like, go explore and hopefully you'll find your way. Honestly, I think it's just, it's a, usually a satisfying ga game loop. Permanently increased health. Yeah, no, it, it like Metroidvania's do exploration incredibly well. That's why they're so fun. Save points. I like that effect the top half has when it just spins downward. Oh yeah, no, it's really good. The fact that like so much of this game is just so engrossing and atmospheric and like the sprite work my it's not always my cup of tea, but a lot of it is actually like really solid. The dude did an amazing job on uh, so much of this game. That's why I'm excited for the second one, the sequel. What's the release date on that? I think it was originally it, last it year. It keeps but getting then. moved from what I remember. Last I heard was August, but I think it's been bumped to 22 now. I might be wrong on that. In fact, I hope I am wrong. But... Now I gotta look. I'm pretty sure it got moved and bumped to 22. So upside's still listening for this year. Like I said, if I'm, I'm wrong, I'm... I'll, I'll gladly accept being wrong. Although if I look on Nintendo's website, they have it to be determined. But I don't know if it's just wasn't updated yet or I cannot tell if I went the right way or the wrong way. I just know that I'm moving a lot on the map. We found more glitches, so we're definitely not going this way. Oh, we definitely did go the right way. Yeah, I've looked. It's still saying to me sometime this year. So... I hope so.
Oops, backtracking. Uh, I thought I actually needed to stay in that area just then. Did I not? Did it give me the option to move down? Oh no, there's two entrances to that one room. Okay, never mind. Is it just me or does this game use the same sound effects as Galaga? Yeah, it's got that sound, that crunchiness to it. The shots do sound a lot like it, so. You can see where you're coming from Shit, on that. I, I never realized that. But yeah, now that he's caught it up, he has a point. All right, time to meet our mysterious character. I believe so. Trace. My name is El Snova. Are you the voice I've been hearing? Yes, we are connected through Mind Machine. I need you to fix Power Filter. I'm dying. Power Filter? Uh, I guess I can try. Where is it? Not near. I'm sorry. I need rest now. Bye. Hey, wait. Where are we? This is definitely not good. But we got a new ability. What's our new toy? The Kilver fires a short range burst of electricity. Basically, shotgun. Short range, but uh, good for everything else. It does go through walls. Problem is right now we've got like there we go. It should be the most powerful weapon I have at the moment, but the range, as you can tell, is not the best. Alright, this should be where we were. Yep, there we go. Can we not make yes. that? Yes. There we go. Oh, this fuckers. Yeah, they drop a lot of health though, at least. I assume some of the flicker's intentional? Yes. Uh, they do the glitching effect a lot in this game. Ah, uh, fuck, I can't do that yet. Can't do that for a long time, I don't think. Probably not about ha till halfway. Ish, yeah. What this game does really well is the feeling of being on an alien planet. I love the fact that it just it feels so odd. Kind of like exploring some kind of... I forget what they... An H.R. Geiger-esque world? Yeah, yeah. The giant ladies also have that feel of... Uh, I think it's a Geeker or a Geiger? Of that that kind of art. I assume it's Geiger. But just kind of like the weird like flesh monstros monstrosities with like the... Technology. Oh, I guess... Back into the rights. Oh, I guess it is Giger. Oh, so I was actually right? Okay. But yeah, no, for those who don't know who H.R. Giger is, um, the thing you probably know them the best for is the design of the alien from the Aliens movies. That's probably their best known work in pop culture. Xenomorph. The Xenomorph, yeah. Uh, well, there's 
really only one way to go, I guess. Back up. Oh, don't get me started on Dread. I'm so excited for Dread. And I'm so happy, like, Dread's looking like it's been getting, like, a lot of, like, positive traction. I'm not gonna so lie, really... when you said Dread, I thought Judge Dread, and I'm like, oh shit, did they announce Dread 2 finally? And no. <laughs> no, you meant Metroid, not Judge Dread. Sorry, John. I got really fucking like... excited for a sequel to Dread, which will never happen at this rate, which makes me so fucking sad. No, you're refer- uh, I forget the actor who played Dread, but you're referring to- Paul Urban, that, I That Dread. Yes, Carl Urban. Carl Urban. You're yeah, sorry, Carl Urban. Shit. Where the fuck? Because oh, you're referring to that Judge Dredd movie, right? Yeah, of course. Went the wrong way. I actually was going the correct way earlier. Cole, you have no idea about the what? glitchiness. Oh no, it, it plays the glitchiness up a lot. You eventually get a way to deal with those glitches, and if anything, that makes the glitching effect stronger. That's the one downside to the game, is it definitely does do a lot of photosensitive effects. So I would warn people who are interested in the game about that. I also guess the glitchiness how you handle it, it's like way closer to end game. No, no, you get you get it sooner than that. Really? Yeah. I would say at latest one third of the game. Oh shit, yeah, I, I think you're right actually. I don't know why, I thought it was something else that you had that dealt with some of the glitches. Health node fragment, one out of five. Collect combine five to permanently increase your health. Right, so I can't go up, because that needs something else. Wait, but this is glitching over here, isn't it? Yeah, so I can't do this yet. I think I forget where to go. Oh, hey, that store. I remember, remember Cole oh. saying something that that looks good, and then everybody they came out. Everyone's been everybody praising that to... game lately. I'm excited to see how it actually is. I think there was a door you missed at the bottom of one of the shafts. Maybe. That one directly below me is glitched, so I can't go through that. And the other one I can't crawl through, so... I feel like I have to go back to the other zone. Actually, can I look at the map? Yeah, next map. Uh... Yeah, I think I can get through one of those now. Well, we're at time anyway, so... I'm not gonna linger on this too much longer. Let's at least save. What's that red box on map one? That was the boss fight room. Ooh, no, you're right. It does look like I actually missed something. Shit. Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, let's go back down there, then. I see what you're talking about.
And I forget how much time... How, how easily so much time you can get lost just playing Metroidvania is. Yeah. I'm on my health. Yeah, okay, no, this is what I fucked up. Alright. The zombie room. Fuck these guys. I don't think I can get that yet, right? That requires something else. Corpses, bigger pile of corpses, medium pile of corpses, huge pile of corpses, even bigger pile of corpses. Technically, this is the biggest pile of corpses. I don't think there's any technically about it there. God damn it, I'm doing that thing again where I need to stop the stream, but I'm like, I just want to keep playing. Oh, just just like... one. Well, just we do have another minute. boss fight coming up, so let's do the boss fight and then we'll we'll stop. Now, which one's this one? Uh, I think I remember this one. So LP win? I would love to LP Axiom Verge, but I gotta remember a lot of shit about this game if I'm gonna dive into it. Oh yeah, this game's got a lot. Oh hey! Oh crap, an even bigger one. Demon. Look, I mean no harm. Please, can we just talk it out? Talk. Yeah, okay. So my name is Trace, and I have no idea how I got here, but... Demon. Eighth of those say, kill. Your way then. What was the? There's a gimmick with this one. There's a way to do this one very easily. I'm trying to remember what the fuck it is. like a sweet spot you could stand on and fight him at, but that might be with a later weapon. I'm thinking of. I might be thinking of a later boss. Good job, Cole. I'm proud of you. Cole just bought Axiom Verge. Nice. Good choice, Cole. Selling good video games tonight, fuck yeah. Axiom, like having... Axiom Verge, Hollow yeah. Knight, and Senran Kagura. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Peach Peach to splash you. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. You're, you're selling Cole all these good games, but eventually he's gonna be like, John, stop, I can't keep buying all these games you, you're playing. He won't buy the boob game, though, he says. Coward. Although, to, admittedly, I also have the boob game. Although, I, I was given it to unwillingly. Ah, uh, yes. Unwillingly. Twist that rubber arm. Oh, yeah! We get it right here! Oh, is this...? Yeah! It's the address disruptor. Corrupts or decorrupts weaker blocks and enemies. Say hello oh, to my yes. wiggly beam. The wiggly beam glitches items in the room or de-glitches them so you can make progress. It is the literal de facto glitching gun.
and now we'll never get through any of the art now because now everyone's gonna make a glitching gun. Shoot that. Of course I missed. Shit. You're not gonna... Thank you. Admittedly, I did buy Peach Ball willingly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, where's the nearest save point to where I need to be? So the glitching gun can actually, like, fuck with pretty much everything. So we can make enemies stop walking around. Uh, certain ones turn into more helpful forms if you glitch them. Certain ones can't even damage you anymore. And then there's actual glitching areas. Trace, turn back. This place is artifact. Like some kind of dimensional rift? What if there's something I need in here? No, it is dangerous. Flotsam, jetsam, caused by breach. Is there radiation or something in here? Well, that's not exactly reassuring. So these are randomized rooms in the game as well. You will bump into like a finite amount of them, but their location is somewhat random. But they usually hold really good shit if you can get through it. And the real problem is that we may be too weak to do this. Because we did actually get this really early. Oh yeah, right, there's also speedrun mode where they're all in predetermined spots. I forgot about that. I'm just gonna put that on too, just to make that easier. Rooms aren't required for 100%. Wait, these aren't required for 100%? Uh oh, I said... No, Cole was asking if they are out, and I was thinking that they they were. Because they have, like... Sorry. Yeah, there, there's shit in here you can collect. So I thought they were for 100%. Don't they have, like, the health extension shards here or something? I forget what it is. I, I was thinking it was like another weapon type. Um, I think the final one of them has that. Because you get like the best weapon in the game in the final glitched room, which I think is in a predetermined spot. At least I think that's where you get that weapon. But as you can see, the map is... Uh, Kind of everywhere. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's go try right. We are in trouble. And we circle back. Sure enough, we did. There was an upper path we could take too, though. And still this lower path. The items you get in the glitch areas aren't counted to 100% because the super hard ones have one of three random weapons in it. Ew. Keep in mind, I haven't touched this game since, like, what, 2015 it came out, I think? 2016? 
so I'll, I have forgotten a lot about it. There it is. Range node permanently increases weapon range where applicable. So now any shots that are small are better. Also, it helps the shotgun a lot. This thing is huge by the end of the game. Let's find a save point and then let's get the hell out of dodge. This is probably the fastest way back up. I think there's just the one item in these rooms, right? I would assume so, but, but this, I haven't played this game in years. Yeah, because there's still two rooms we didn't go into, but I think we should wrap up for the night, basically. Downside is, these rooms aren't on your actual map. So I'll never remember that's there. Because if you notice the map, it actually goes into a spot that we already connected the wall on. Set the reminder? Ah, good idea. Oh, I have to go back to the square before I do that, though. Hang on. Oh, shit. And I might have fucked myself over here. I don't think I can make it back up there. Well, let's get as high as possible on the map as we can. That's pretty close. This was what he was talking about earlier, folks. Yep. We gotta end the fucking stream, but I'm just like, let's keep digging! Size note, permanently increases projectile size for weapons. Uh-oh, each glitch world has two items. An upgrade and a health fragment. Ah, fuck, I knew there was something else. Oh well, I'm trying to find the exit anyways, or the uh, near save point. Hey, the nearest save point. How convenient. Alright, in that time alone, we found... Uh, two new guns, two upgrades, two full health node increases one small piece, one full shot power node, two size nodes, and one uh, range node. And laser drill, the address disruptor, and the axiom disruptor, the nova, and the kilver. We haven't found any notes yet, and we covered an okay piece of the map. I highly recommend Axiom Verge. It's really cool, really atmospheric. It's a really good Metroidvania. The story fucking goes places. Look at your It's one of those play it's one of those games where it's like the story goes places, and I don't know if it's actually physically possible to spoil the game because of the places it goes. That's the best way to put it. I highly recommend it. But I also recommend let's uh, wrap things up.
Is it a Kingdom Hearts situation? Uh... It's both easier and harder to follow than Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Still gifting us up to Simp for John, because of course it's apparently a count. A Shy Arctic Fox with the gift sub bombs and saw alongside with Chaos Eater 66. Y'all are crazy. Thank you all so much. Uh, M, other Metroid, and Gamer Mooney with the gift subs as well. Pure White Latios with a new sub. Ash Star 99 for 11. Mexican Dave 777 for 30. And Great Gaming Guru for 30. Alongside one last sneaky Shy Arctic Fox gift sub bomb. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Uh, by which I mean no one, because we're caught up. Egg. You will give me an egg. The classic. We're caught up on Dono, so let's just go hop directly into Art Block and wrap up for the night, shall we? How far back, back is Art Block? Art Block is probably on page three again. No, we're still on page two, actually. Okay. All right, Art Block starts... <laughs> ...with another picture of negative? <laughs> negative, why do you have so many pieces on Art Block tonight? Despite, I don't think you've drawn any of them, either! Uh, from Wolfboy. So, I was up late in the Banana Bunch server with... Uh... Chimp Kuza one night, and we started talking about that stupid Yoshi meme. I could not find it on Google until literally searching for a stupid Yoshi meme. And now we got Brihi Blast... Briha Blast Tiger Brew. Negative approved? He kind of looks like he's from the Extremely Goofy movie for some reason. I like how even Negative himself is like, why? <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, someone asked schedule for the week? Uh, schedule for the week. Sunday. Uh, new video, it's a one-shot LP. Monday, game clearing. We're continuing Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Tuesday, mm, why do I feel like something's going on? Oh, disc only. I actually remember for once. Look at that! <laughs> disc only. Yeah, disc only on Tuesday. I even had to reschedule something else today because of disc only, and I still forgot. Wednesday! Uh, you know what I haven't done in a while? A whatever Wednesday, so it'll probably be a whatever Wednesday. Thursday! Top down perspective over on that channel. Friday, absolutely nothing. Oh, Thursday is also the ending of Donkey Kong Country. There will be a bonus video, but the actual main LP does end next week. Unless we have to delay it. Uh, and Saturday is back to fortune cookie. Ask the schedule for the week. Uh, poof. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but let's have a, a Corrin John who gives no fucks except the fact that she's a cool dragon. Man, a kitty. Fuck the war and all. Let her vibe as dragon girl. Hell yeah, dragons. Fuck yeah. Dragons. Luna says, meanwhile, uh, tons and tons of rain, and I'm about to be 26 on August 3rd. Well, fuck. Well, happy early birthday, Luna. Thank you for the corn, John. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Next up from Cobalt Art. The hoodie has arrived. I didn't grab a hoodie the first time around. I was getting into my apartment in a new job. With how they sound so comfy, I think I'll get one. Even if the pastels aren't really my colors. Well, for those of you that were concerned, I did clean my stove top after my egg. Okay, good, Cobalt. And yeah, uh, hoodies will probably be offered again in a week. They are low supply, though, because we weren't sure how many extra to get. Uh, I believe it is 10 of the more popular sizes, which I think were XL and, and large or 2XL, like somewhere in that range. Every other size, I think we only got five of, so it's a low print, because I didn't want them to be stuck with any hoodies we weren't sure if we we're going to sell. If we run out really fast and people still want some, I can look into doing another order. But that will depend on how this goes, etc., etc. And I'm stuffy again. Hang on a second. And 
Next up, from Junko, it's Rosa John. As you're reading this right now, John, today, August 1st, marks one year since I started posting stuff here on the Buru. Hey, happy anniversary to the Buru for you. So I decided to remake my first Buru post of Rosa John here. Link to the original version of the first post. Hell yeah, Junko. Let's show the original one too, for, for references sake. Ah, oh, you've made some great progress in the year, Junko. Hell yeah. Nicely done. And Rosa even got a bust up. Excellent. Fantastic. Next up, the letter B. When you said you will be forced to watch Sesame Street, I thought of something like this. I'm just shaking my head. <laughs> this stream brought to you by the letter B. Next up from Rosie. <laughs> I just love the shades. And the giant hand she can beat people up with. Thanks, Rosie. Miss R. Miss Rosa John. Thanks for bad chech pun. <laughs> Diddy, my boy, where's Donks? The DKC playthrough has been great. This moment was so funny, I had to draw it. So, fun fact I learned after that episode was recorded. Uh, that exact phrase, where's Donks, was supposed to be in the SNES version. There's a bunch of cut dialogue, and that's one of the pieces. Most of the cut dialogue made it into the uh, the Game Boy Color version. That and some of it was accidentally glitched out, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, no, that specific line was supposed to be in the SNES one. What a bummer that we didn't get it. Interesting. It's all on the cutting room floor, so. <laughs> oh, no. Man, Kurt is packing some water. A potential secret character? He'd be too powerful. Let's be real. These boobies were funded by donations from viewers like you. Thank you. Why are we at 30 FPS? It's a stable frame rate that does no, not overtax that you need to change it to 60. But the graphics are clear and the animations are smooth. Just change it to 60. All right, all right. But you do realize the increased frame rate will come at half the resolution? What? The young never truly consider the cost. I think my favorite part of making this was the, that the Bit Crush ate the portrait borders. <laughs> I didn't even notice that part. Thanks, Fire Seal. Next up, do you understand? Well, do you? No, I don't. Not at all. Thank you, Peter Person. Next up from Soul Rock is that? It is Tharja. Glad Fire Emblem Warriors got played tonight, so here's my favorite character, Tharja. I really wanted to draw Rosa cosplaying as her, but Senra Kagura popped up, so I have one more thing to draw. P.S. Which Fire Emblem games have you played? Uh, the first one we got in North America was that the Burning Blade? I forget if that one's or Binding Blade. I forget what it's called, but it, otherwise it's just called Fire Emblem over here. Uh, I played a little bit of Path of Radiance. I played a f decent chunk of Awakening, and I think that that's Sacred Stones for some reason. No, Sacred Stones is the one after that. Okay. Blazing Blade is the okay the subtitle for that one. Okay. Yeah, so I played Lin's game, I played uh, Ike's game a little bit, I played Krom's game, uh, and I, that's it. As much as I like Fire Emblem, it's, I need to be in the right mood for tactics games. Thank you, Soul Rock. Next up, Bikini Water Fight, backfiring. And then Femi learned not to have a water gun fight with a woman with gravity powers. I do feel, well, there's, they weren't allowed to use their shinobi art, so I feel like Rosa probably couldn't use her gravity powers, but, eh, she probably would. Let's be real. Thank you, Demi Sero. It's technically not a ninja art. I guess that's true, and everyone else was using actual weapons, so. Rosa's boobs have their own gravitational field. I mean, it ain't gonna curve it behind her, though. Ike has two games. I know. I mean, I, sorry, I meant Ike's first game. Yeah, you're right. So I didn't I didn't count Radiant Dawn. I knew I knew someone would make a gif of it. Thank you, only a chatter. Perfect. From Blonde Lombax, it's the beach episode. Considering the franchise, I had to make something, so having a meeting between my favorite Senra and Kagura girl, also my third favorite video game character of all time, easily befriending the alt I based off of her on an outing to the seaside. Oh, never mind the critters in the background, that was fully expected to happen. 
Hijani and Ninto. Sorry, Hibari and Ninto, I see there. Okay, cute. Now we have things that Hibari and Hijani. There you go. Cool. Thank you, Lombax. Next up from Ice Finch. So after seeing you play Hollow Knight, I remember that I had made this years ago. Funny enough, four years ago, a week from today. I had to do a double take at the name, because I'm like, wait, wait. Oh, no, wait, no, this is just from a, a, another card. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I was like, uh, that's not the character's name. But it makes more sense. It looks cool, though, Ice Finch, hell yeah. Made this years ago, four years ago, a week from today. All right, last page. Picklotron XD. Oh my god, you did it. Rosa as Mast Marth or Lucina, even though the... Uh, oh my god. Lahong Lagong Lagongaroos make the disguise a little less useful. Also, her feet are accurate to the Fire Emblem Awakening, where they're always stuck in the ground in battles. Anyways, after I finish Age of Calamity, I might get Warriors, especially since I have only played all three Fates in Awakening. Also, Awakening is special to me since I am attempting to complete the support log, including all protagonists, Robin, marriage options. Oh my god, that's a lot. Good luck. Uh, yeah, no, Warriors games have a lot of content in them, although I think Warriors had the, Fire Emblem Warriors had the least amount out of the last few recent ones. So, but good luck, you're gonna be playing for a while if you're gonna do everything. Also, yeah, um, I do feel if Rosa was cosplaying as, or were trying to be in Lucina's role, they would have figured out that that wasn't Martha a lot faster. <laughs> Just a hunch. I've been trying 100% uh, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition for like two years now. Yeah, no, that game is beefy. From Junko, work in progress. Just bringing out my degenerate side of me to draw something related to San Kagura Peach Beach Splash and all that jazz. So here's Joanne, ready for all this action. But wait, won't she dissolve the water in the water since she's an Inkling alt? Let's say it's a glitch that she can survive it, since she's part me. Sure. Thanks, Junko. I like how you also say this is your degenerate side when you literally did a complete nude <laughs> shot yesterday, like on Wednesday's stream. So I, I think you're fine, Junko. This oh, fully cl this fully clothed in a bikini woman, too degenerate. It's a little after four, so I think I'm gonna have to bounce now. That's fair, it's super late. Thanks for being on, dude. I'll wrap up for the no night, problem. I'm solo. Oh my god, Smite, why were you still up? Smite was up. No raps, it's game time. Well, you just missed Axiom Verge, my dude, I'm sorry. Hi, y'all. Night, Trey. All right, this one's for you, Smite. Is what I would say if it actually played. Smite, thank you for the raid. Were you doing another damage shuffler, or were you raiding X6 still? I assumed you are already done X6. Um, we are actually wrapping up for the night. We're just closing up on Art Block, so we're going to be here for like another 10, 15 minutes, maybe a little less, but then we're going to raid as well if you want to hang out and get thrown to another target. Oh, you, did you actually end up liking X6? I'm surprised. Did you stop playing as X and switch to Zero when you could? Because that would explain a lot. 
It's nice to meet you. If you don't mind, could you tell me the secret of drawing the hourglass figures of the women in one piece, especially the boobs? Thank you. Yes, hello. This is the special SBS drawing lesson. Just think of the female figure as three circles and one X, and now goodbye. And this is the only figure you draw. Your female readers will send you many criticisms. Try to remain strong and dedicated. I assume this was sarcastic. So, One Piece volumes have a question and answer segment with Oda, the series creator. The women in the series have a distinct look, and I figured it was applicable to share here given everything. Now you too can draw busty ladies. Finally, the skill I've always needed. I give it minus 170 or something, it's that good. Ooh, yeah, that's a high score. A high negative score. Yeah, One Piece Anatomy is... Special, let's say. It's its its own distinct style. And we'll leave it at that. From Angels in the Window. So I had to stop because of my wrist, but this was what I had been working on the whole stream. You guys talked about Boba Tea, and I figured I would try to make an alt of your favorite banana strawberry pink lady. I completely missed if you said green apple or green tea, Boba, so I just made them green. Green apple. It was green apple. Uh, I still have a ways to go for this, and really want to add much more to this, as it feels very simple at the moment. And I wasn't going to finish the face until I figured out all I wanted to do for the body to better make the headdress part. Cute. I like where you're going with it. I'm excited to see the end result. Thanks, angels. But yeah, uh, rest your rest your wrists so you don't hurt yourself. Next up. Ooh, look at this. From Tactician Geek. Since you're playing since you played Fire Emblem Warriors tonight, I decided to draw John Tay cosplaying as Olivia from Fire Emblem Awakening, who is one of the DLC characters for the game. There's actually an interesting story that deals with Olivia getting into the game. Her slot was originally gonna be given to Gaius, who Mitch was asking about, as he is one of the most popular Awakening characters. However, the devs could not think of how to give him a unique moveset, and so decided to add Olivia instead, since as a dancer, it would be easier to think of a unique moveset for her. And to be fair, Olivia is one of the most fun characters to play as. Well, there you go. I do kind of wish they had gotten Gaius in, though. Now that I remember who he is. <laughs> Thanks, Tactician. Next up from Zero J. Because Peach Peach Splash is apparently so similar to most Gundam combat games, now I imagine what it uh, looked like for them to cross over somewhat with a girl based on, what else? The normal Gundam. I I would love if they snuck that in there. That would be hilarious. Thanks, Zero. From Soul Rock. H2O. I'm out of boob energy for a Senran Kagura sketch, so here's Yuki from 100% Orange Juice participating in the PBS tournament with her water gun. Why Yuki? Because she has a gun, and I really like her vanilla theme song. Fair enough. Thanks, Saul Rock. Shirt cut meme. Side boob. Inner side boob. Boob window. Under boob. And free space. I just realized I never posted my shirt cut meme to the Buru in order for the characters are my OC, Cardia from a TRG fanfic. I'm writing Cat Masse. Rosa John in the gotcha style. Luca and the original picture of Juliet. Cool. Thanks, Fire Kitty. Next up from Andy. Oh my god. <laughs> You're going back to Rain Barf. It's been a bit. Mostly humanized Car uh, Car Carmelita Fox from the recent Sly Cooper game clearing. Been a while since I've done a rainbow picture, but it's not the most dynamic pose or anything since I have no energy today. Also notice I'm hearing a lot of ideas and plans for possible beef root backpacks and lunchboxes, but you know what I'm hearing a startling lack of? <sighs> Rosa body pillows. I'm not giving up. I feel... I feel... <laughs> Here's the problem. Here's the problem with that. We could make that. We're already doing the booby mouse pad. But the problem is... There's the, there's the stupid part of my brain that's like, how much of her is going to be visible? <laughs> Based on the bigger meme, but I was trying to drop that. So I don't know. That depends on what you want. True. Also, I feel, I actually feel, in my heart of hearts, it would be an absolute sin if Rosa got a, got a body pillow before Reese did. I feel Reese's horse horse mom avatar kind of deserves it more. Reese might Reese, who is an avid collector of body pillows. 
By avid, I mean she has like three. Uh, would probably she would probably be upset. She would buy it. She'd probably be upset. So maybe we have maybe we have to make both. I'm talking myself into something stupid again. I need to stop this. Andy, did I even read your base? I did. Okay, right. That's what led to this. Thanks, Andy. From Peter Persum, once a fellow scientist on the team that made Proton turned evil by greed of never getting any credit for it, found out how the main scientist, the one fused with Proton Egg, turned himself into an egg and tried to transform into a more powerful food item. Then a cat came into his room and knocked over a cookie jar. This turned him into the Cookie Nader, a powerful half cookie, half man hybrid with the powers of limb manipulation, super strength, cool sunglasses with a red dot on it and a cool, slick hair that never moves. A scientist turned bounty hunter, that is the Cookieinator introduction. I would really like to give these scientists real names like having Proton Egg be an alt John, but I suck with names, so I don't know the first name in your head. Boom, that's their name. I mean, Cookieinator works since you've got the Terminator dot and everything. Thanks, Peter. Hey, John, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla, because I'm boring. Or cookies and cream, so I'm less boring. Make both and sell them as a set. Oh my god. I don't know if I can handle the question of, hey, who in our community is willing to draw a body pillow design for Rosa and Reese? The problem is, I think it might be the opposite where too many people apply. Yeah, I see it. I, yeah, I, Andy, I fucking knew you were gonna apply, and I knew Jumny would too. I'm looking at their names coming up that I'm absolutely not surprised by immediately volunteering. From Rhyme, so to fulfill an old promise I had with Wolf, I've drawn Beef, uh, Beeforu and Beefaru, Beefaru's family. I did want to doodle them both a little closer to how the little beef looks, but still keeping their respective designs. Cute. Well done, Rhyme. And I forgot, I actually forgot about the extended Beefaru family that Wolf had designed, so there you go. Next up, more Sonic sprites. He spin. He's gonna throw up if he keeps spinning like that. Why not have multiple Rosa John body pillows? Do we have that much of a market for it though? Cause it's, it's gonna cost to make. Next up, God, tonight was buff night apparently. From my poppycock, Oyster John and Manta Ray Jules taking a rest and enjoying the sun on a tiny tropical island. And here's another sketch that was thought up by W as we were looking at alts a while ago. Uh, thought it'd be nice to post one summary theme drawing as we go from July to August. And you know, beachy water gun fights seemed appropriate. Thank you, Poppycock. Good old manly jewels and oyster John. Oh, sorry, manta ray jewels. It actually, it actually works really well with the wordplay. Buttery. I'm a dude. <laughs> I told myself I'd stop drawing cursed stuff for your stream. I told myself. I genuinely said it. But I did it instead. I gave into the temptations of man. Pepsi, more like Peepsy, am I right, chat? So this is an actual character that exists. Pepsi Woman is an actual thing that was in the actual ads. People were sharing the commercial earlier. It is Pepsi Man with giant tits. You know, as and as a female character, so. So this is technically canon. To Pepsi. Thanks, Buttery. Yeah, no, that is real. That's 100% real. From Eternal Fire Seal. So there's some cool meaning behind Elsa Nova choosing the name Rasalka for her race. It's a name used for a female various stories. It's a name used for a female various stories water dwelling spirit in the Eastern European folklore. There's a lot of different tales from different times and regions, but from what I've seen, there are two main versions of the Rasalka. One is the cursed soul of a woman committed suicide or was murdered in water and is compelled to drown all men who approach her carelessly. The other is the spirit of fertility or purity uh, who works to provide clean water for the land and who drowns men who approach her disrespectfully. So if you're a dude, you should probably stay away from any weird Russian lakes. Yeah, no, she, we had already, she already said her name. She already said Elsa Nova, but I don't remember, Rasalka was definitely not mentioned. I think that's after you turn on the power and go back to her that she mentions Rasalka. 
Or might even be later, so that part's a little different, but yeah. Next up... Double raid! Oh my god, it's so bright and vivid, it's so intense! What does it mean? Wow, I haven't seen a double rainbow meme in a while. From Plano Salazar, double raid across the sky! Today was a busy day for me, but I'm glad I got to get in a raid on you, John. My first one in my first 12-hour livestream. Some words of encouragement on the last bit of the stream. You inspired me, John, since I was in middle school. Currently in 10 years of practice in multimedia production. Yo! And now I work for a couple of Twitch streamers as an editor. Thank you, John. Hell yeah, Plano! Get that bread, fuck yeah! Next up, from Purple Fire Kitty. The title really says it all. I found this outfit design on Google and thought of Rosa. The drawing doesn't look right to me, but I still want to pose it because I see it having its own charm. That's a cute design. Hey, thank you, Purple Fire Kitty. Next up, from Rhyme. Is that a peach? Yeah, I found it along the shore. You think it's safe to eat? No, peaches don't grow on beaches. There's not even any trees. Oh boy, peach, beach, splash. Can't wait for all the peaches. I love that fruit. Oh, wrong peaches. No, I think you got the right one here, technically. Also, I, I know this is not the first time you've... I think this might be the first time you've drawn full-body pawn pawn. Nice touch on the pentagram <laughs> bikini. That's actually a really good design for her. Well done on that. Hell yeah. Thanks, Rod. Next up, it's the Rosa John bra. While we were talking about merch specifically, how some of us would love to see bras made, here's a Rosa John design. It's the hoodie star uh, or teal on a teal base. I do plan on making more of these. As a female, I would wear this. I still stand. I don't think I'm the best one to do this. I also don't know if the merch store we work with is able to do this, considering how different the size charts are for bras. So I feel like, even if I was cool with selling them, which I'm still kind of iffy on, considering, uh, the actual design of size, comfort, cup, etc., I think that's maybe out of the scope of the company we work with. Thanks, Purple. And it looks like we're ending with the draw pile before refresh check at least. Draw pile 93, Envy. Why are we doing the seven deadly sins? Envy edition. Everyone knows Rosa John and Jonte, but tonight's draw pile is themed around giving lesser known alt Johns a chance to shine. Noir, Kyupo, Disillusion, Private Butter, Elegant Raven, Mew, Theta, Chaos, Nasu, Ink, Skylar, Phelina, who did the background? Oh, Phelina and Eudiptes. Skylar says, all I did was the background. Aha, I did want to draw something for this, but I had no energy because I've been struggling with my emotional issues. We'll definitely be taking a break for a bit after I complete my own art piece. Or an ode art piece. Maybe I'll draw what I wanted to draw some other time. Take the break. Nasu Blue, how do you make a title that fits the theme of lesser known alt Johns? Well, if you're me, you create a title made of alt Johns. Meet Alphanumeric John. Pride month to wrath month, and then figured we'd knock them all out. Ah, eh, that makes sense. Uh, Nasi Blue. Oh, I already did that one. Theta. With tonight's theme being based around lesser known alts, I figured to give some love to one of my favorite alts I've made, uh, Ziana. Noir. Ash Asha John is jelly, and I had created this alt. Miyu. Glacia John and Silva Rosa John, just five, and don't mind them. Chaos Agent. Try as she might, Jen might never leave the shadow of her newer com uh, contemporaries. She may or may not be still upset about the poll. I think she is. Disillusion. Hailing from the planet Charon, Caronian John returns to try and take over the world. Or maybe blow himself up a hundred times first. Who knows? Ink stains. Just a little doodle of Fez John with a worm on a string John peeking in on the pile from above. Felina. I know Soccer Cat has been feeling down, so I decided to draw her Johniverse related Toho OC Hana. Minus two glasses because I didn't have time, but it's the thought that counts. Elegant Raven. Just a portrait of Camille's Noir John and all two's design felt very suited for the way I tend to work. Kiupo. I've returned, yay! Drew some of the least known alts, all just sad and envious that others got the spotlight. Cat John took it the hardest, but no worries. The roof fell on her after she broke that. She's not very smart. Udipta is lesser known John, it's time to bring back an alt from the very first draw pile. Behold, Lima Bean John. And with that, we've done six of the seven sins. Next up is, oh, oh no. Faye, get Pon Pon on the phone, oh no. Lust.
Or I'm gonna string John. Fun show. Electron Gen, who's still very mad. <laughs> the worst part is... <laughs> half, half of them are lesser known alt, so I'm gonna forget some of them. I didn't even remember we had a Fez, John. <laughs> Not popular, you say, as she breaks the house. Lima Bean John. This was Ziara, right? And this was, uh, Soccer Cat's OC, or their, sorry, not OC. Shit, you even wrote it down here too, where was it? Uh, bum, 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 brain is melting. Hannah, there we go, it was Hannah. I just wanted souls. Noir John actually works really good in your style, Elegant. Carol John, Lima Bean, Brick John. Asha John's very upset. Bunch of the evolutions just chilling out and having a great time. And Alphabet John, soon will be our time to shine. Well done, everybody. If you want to join in the draw pile, exclamation art discord will get you access to the art discord. You do not need to be a sub to access it. And there's many fun, talented people in there. Feel free to hang out there. We, of course, also have the sub discord as well. If you were gifted a sub tonight and all the gift subs, that happen as well. Uh, you can access our Discord as well there. Just link your Twitch account on your Discord and you should get access. Are we done, so Nope, three last Oh my god, another negative, what is going on? From W, wanted to post my own art, so here's negative as one of the employees at the Buffton Cave. Negative, you are very loved apparently, dude. From Volk, uh... Hi, John. Heard you played Shovel Knight on Sunday. I'm in the UK, as I only ever catch your streams when I wake up. I drew this a few weeks ago and just wanted to share it. Thanks for the key thanks for the community you have created and entertainment you provide. Oh, thank you, Volk. Thank you for the lovely... Uh, I almost said Shovel Knight. That's how tired I am. Hollow Knight. And the actual last picture I have here, and this is where I'd put the countermeasures if they'd play. I feel absolutely positive that I made this before, but I can't find it. I found it. I regret nothing. Did you actually make it before? That's hilarious. Now we're done. Let's fucking go to sleep. Even if it's daytime for you, go to sleep. What's our raid message, folks? Pepsi for TV game. Tuxedo Marth is pretty good. I am not doing grip softly to squirt. Absolutely not. I'm shooting that one down right now. A lot of people want Pepsi for TV game. I think we'll give them Pepsi for TV game. Big Titty Water Gun Gundam. As entertaining as that might be, I feel we should probably go with Pepsi for TV game. Normally at this point, I think I would go find a new target. So I feel like we've raided a lot of people here recently, but I want to go to bed. So I'm going to raid our boy Patty, who's currently playing a Banjo Kazooie ROM hack. The Jiggies of Time. Let's go give him some love. Oops, I didn't mean to use the art block one again. for TV game. Looks like we got some, uh, those John Raiders. It's the only motherfucker that raids without an alert. <laughs> I enjoy it, Patty. revel in his raids. Yeah. I enjoy <laughs> yeah. it. I savor it. Go, my pets. Take over the chat room. Well, I prefer saying my pretties instead, but sure. What's up, everybody? Hey, John. All right, go give Patty some love. 
I am, buddy. I hope you're doing good. I'm going to bed. Bye, everybody. I'll see you on YouTube tomorrow and on stream now, Monday for more Sly Pepsi Cooper. For TV Not everybody. That sounds like. So I wasn't actually going to say anything for the outro, but I actually noticed just as we were raiding there, uh, we raided someone who has actually been streaming today almost as long as we have. XSplit says we've been alive for seven hours and one minute. Patty's at six hours, 54 minutes. And somehow he sounds way more awake than I do. <laughs> think it's time to get in shape. Night, everybody. Or sleep. Maybe. Maybe sleep. I think I need sleep. Sleep.